is. There it is. Let's play some musica. Musica from the top. Here we go. All right. Uh, let's close this guy out. Oh, yeah. All right. Look at that lobby there. So, you see the prop bed thing? I set it up. We've got 14 entries for 500 bucks a player. And this time I did it a little different. This time I made it so like it's gonna ha pay 15% of the field. So maybe like the top three or something like that. Just a little for, you know, cause you can do winner take all, you can do standard payout, you can do all these kind of things when you set up the prop bets. Really cool idea. 14 of the 195 are in there. A little morning coffee. I've also got, and I'll take a second here. Let me get set up. Wait till you guys, for you guys to trickle in a little bit. Three, six, All right, I can't, I gotta get off Twitter. I've been on, yesterday I spent the day on Twitter. I spent the day on Twitter. I put two posts up, basically, and got haters from both sides coming at me. Just screwing around all day. Hmm. All right, now that we're in here, um, let's uh, get the day started. So what we're doing today is the 5K, 6 max. We get bonus chips because we are registering on time. You see when I scroll down there under bonus chips, click that here. So you start on time, you get an extra 10% of your starting stack. So as you can see, the players have 55,000 to start rather than 50, 275 big blinds. Nice little bonus for those on-time arrivals. In addition, one of the cool things during this GG series is we have continental free rolls. What the heck is a continental free roll? All right, well, when you play a bracelet event, if somebody from your region, you know, your part of the world, in my case, the Americas, you know, South America, North America, Mexico, Canada, all those places, when one of those players win, we get seated in a free roll it's a small buy-in i mean it's a small amount of money it's not like crazy big but it's kind of fun and because terrence chan our boy from that poker podcast won the, the limit holding bracelet i am entered into said free roll so i don't know that we're going to spend much of time or attention on that because really want to focus on the 5k six max with the big prize money but you know when we if we make the final table and win that one we'll, we'll, we'll scroll over there too it's a quickie the whole thing should take about three hours to finish that's what it says. Estimated. Estimated. Generally, so yeah, when you click on, let's see here, where is, on this one here. Can, so here, when you play these tournaments, they'll give you a rough idea of how long you're going to be here, right? This 5K, uh, I believe it's, is it a two day? 10 hours and 33 minutes? 10 hours and 33 minutes? Is it, This is a two day event, yeah. So day one, we'll play. Through 30 levels, 7 or 8 o'clock tonight, 3 minutes to begin, let's see, are you guys with me yet? 14 seconds, you will be. So the first 5 minutes of this, I just chat to myself because I know that you guys are not seeing this until, you know, you know what I mean. Uh, it's weird, the future, the past. Alright, so in this last longer, got a fun group of players, Felipe Ramos. Anatoly Filetov, 
Kev Martin, Nicholas Asted, ooh, big, big baller, Nevon Chang, Ha Ko Jehu, Nick Maimon, Jessica Tussles, Brass Aces, Artur Martirosian, Victor Malinovsky, Kotelnikov, Daniel Dvorez. We got some tough cookies. Oh, no, that's the actual just player players. Never mind. All right. Okay. In the last longer, we've got 16 right now. we got Patrick Leonard, Sven Anderson, Symmetri, Symmetri, Felipe Ramos, Kevin Martin, Madonna, Al Capone 1, Linus Julstrom, R. Sabich, Shabishchenko. we got Ryan Reese, the Beast, Jesse Lonis. you got yours truly. And then you got Yu Yu Long. And they do it based on... Oh, you can't see it, can you? Oh, no, because it's a pop-up. But anyway, that's who's in the loss longer. 17 players right now. Fun little prize pool. 8,500 in there. Why not? It's a cool thing because it's all handled within the site. Okay? And in addition to that, you know, there's no rake on it. But they handle it all for you. So that's kind of a nice little thing, don't you think? I think so. I think so. Rocking the tank top today. We're showing off the guns. Well, there's not really much. But I did work out yesterday. Did hit the gym. Yeah, the, the poker, it's a poker tank top. Poker is war. You can get these also at Contender's Clothing. We could do some tricep pushes while we're here. You know, just whoosh. <laughs> Poker is war. You can get those at Contender's Clothing. We got tank tops. We got t-shirts. We got all, we got underwear. We got everything you're going to need. You know what I'm saying? All the things. One minute we register. What's up, Jace? 11 years old, huh? Shout out for Jace. What's up, Mark Erskine? Peter said, don't punt today. I might. I'm all for punting, if it punting makes sense. I do know that, Paul. I, I did mention that I am in the 10K limit free roll, but it's actually no limit. tell you a little bit in a bit about my day yesterday it was interesting to say the least i'll explain later we'll wait till you know we get rolling hmm. take my seat don't mind if i do all right let's move this table over here go like this set up said table Alright, let's go to this. Done. And then let's go to the table. 5K6 max. Not that one, but this one. Aha! And there it is. I also have a, like I said, I have the uh, other free roll deal. Bryn Kenny, Terrence Chan at my table in that one. I'm not going to set that one up because whatever, it's... It's a who cares, right? For now. I mean, we're looking for the big money. This is a spot where some of you were able to, in the staking uh, software, you were able to buy a piece of the action. All right. Hopefully that table size is good. All right. Who do we got here? Who do we got here? Who do we got here? All right. Let's find out. We got eight deuce, so that one's easy. 18 players ended up playing in the last longer. Not too shabby. Should I set up the other table? Nah. Hmm. Most of the guys are sitting out. Most of the guys are sitting out for the 5K right now at that table. It's just me and Terrence. <laughs> we could chop them up, win that money, honey. Ace Queen suited. This will be a hand that we play. Alright, Ace Queen suited. Let's go to. Let's just, actually, he came in for three and a half. I'm just going to flat this one. Three ways. I'm going to check. 
Four jacks I made on the other spot. I made four jacks in the hand against Terrence. Four jacks. <laughs> All right. All right, so he opened big. He's betting only quarter pot. I have another player behind. Hmm. I'm looking to really just chop here. I'm going to just fold. It might be a little weak, wimpy, but let's see. Who's this guy? What is he doing? It's an interesting open. 4.2 million in earnings. Came with a huge open. Okay, I feel better about it now that the big blind called. Right? Because essentially what I'm hoping there is to just chop. Oh, we got a bet and a raise here. Oh, huh? big, big, big situation. Big situation. Bet and a raise. Must be some kings out here. There's a king. And there's sevens full. Wow, he made sevens full. Huh. I think over here I might just be busting Terrence. I might be busting Terrence at the other table. Oh, no, he folded. Hold on, I'm telling Terrence. Hmm. All right. Okay. Get so so that hand. It was a good thing I didn't bet or didn't call right with the the ace queen suited. I guess I could have three bet, but that was interesting. You just come in for three point five with the king three suited. All right. Didn't expect to see that. Right. That's kind of a. Loose open. King three suited from, where was he? Yeah, it was under the gun plus one. Opening three and a half X, huh? Of course I'm gonna probably win this stupid free roll, right? <laughs> it's not stupid, but you know. I really just wanna be focusing here. Let's see. So I am two tabling right now. I'm only going to show you one. Focus on one. I'm also in that, but that's that's probably where my attention will be a little bit distracted. A little bit, little bit, not much. Some people don't don't even show up for the free roll. So at our table, we've got four people sitting out. So it's a nice little added bonus for those that do show up. Free money, you know. Come and get it if you want it. Dun, 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 yeah, so we're seven-handed at our table, and three of us are here. Me, Terrence, and I love reg life. This is at the other table. Should I even set it up? Nah. Thank you, no treat, no surrender. Appreciate it. Appreciate the love. So some of you have. You bought in the lobby in the staking option. You bought 25% of my action at half a percent max. So I will be doing my best to win you guys some money. Win y'all some money. I'm going to go around the table here in just a moment. Give you sort of an idea of who we're dealing with at this table here. This is the Robbie. This is the this is the hand that's known as the Robbie. It's actually this exact combo. Jack of clubs, four of hearts. I'm going to check the Robbie. I'm not crazy like, oh, I got the Robbie. I got to put 200 big blinds in like everybody else, you know. So, wow, he's overbetting the flop. This is really bizarre. Over betting the flop. So here's the problem with our hand. We do not have range advantage. 
And there's a lot of problems with turns and rivers. I'm just going to fold now. This guy's really playing big ball poker, huh? Patrick Brooks from Mexico. Okay, buddy. I got plans for you, Patrick Brooks. Very nice, very nice so far. All right, I'm got nine. We got aces here. This time we're gonna. Okay, so he's open big, so we're gonna re-raise big. We're very very deep. All right. He folded. Okay. Out of position. That's actually not that big. You'd be surprised. So, if someone opens for three x and you're out of position, you can make it fifteen, right? So I made it like fifteen and a half. He made it thirteen. He made it a three and a half. So his open size is very big. Nothing wrong with that. This deep, probably fine. Probably good, actually. You know, it doesn't matter. This is the great thing about poker. You can choose what your ace size is and whatever makes sense for you, and you can make it work. You don't have to stick to what everybody else says. So no hate there. Who's this? Hold on, I got a hockey trade going on. Silly little hockey trade. Ha! For my fantasy. With Magically Delicious, one of the teams. What, day, what year is it now? What year is it? 23... What's the year? What year is it? 2023, right? So let's do... Alright, what do we got here? Check, check. Okay, yep, that works. Do a quarter in 27, 28, right? What is it, 23, 24, 24, 25, 25, 26, 27, 28? Dun, dun, dun. I'm making a hockey trade. So we got we do a fun league. It's called the Alternative Hockey League. And in our league, uh, you can trade future cap space. Um, you know, you have, you have players you're going to drop, and then they, other people can trade for them. So this guy, he's asking me for, because he can't be at the draft this year, so he's asking me for Sidney Crosby and Mason Shaw. And he's going to give me a 25 units of thing in, in a few years. Because I'm dropping them anyway. They're too expensive. All right. What do we got here? All right. We were very, very deep. We're three-handed. Uh, I mean, we have the ace of spades working. I'm going to check. When you're multi-way, you're going to be c-betting less. Because with two players in a hand, there's just more likely somebody has something, right? So you, you know, if let's say, for example, six people call on this board. Well, you know, you don't just bet. This bird's still here, bro. I got nothing left for you. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, we got a huge over... Everybody's doing the over bets, really. Okay. That's cool. I will wait. I will wait patiently. For my situation to arise, seven it's suited. Okay, how you like this action? You probably won't like this action, but I'm doing it. Limpin' is pimpin'. Where's my t-shirt at? Where's my limpin' is pimpin' t-shirt? I got one over here. Hold on. Oh. It's in the bedroom, that limpin' is pimpin' t-shirt. Okay. Yeah, but I got a limpin'. I got limpin' is pimpin' t-shirts. I'm just not wearing one. Okay, so I'm limping with the 7-8 suited. 280 pick lines deep. People are like, whoa, whoa, what you doing, son? What you doing, son? What you doing, son? Why you limping, bro? 
Why are you limping under the gun? Why ain't you raising, bro? Because I'm limping, yo. That's a good flop, potentially. If we bet quarter pot, we will likely get peels from a four, a five, any pair of deuces or threes, right? We will get plenty of peels, but we will do it. We have backdoor hearts here. Seven or eight, eight, probably good. We also have, oddly enough, I have range advantage because I have ace, two suit, ace, three suit, ace, four suit, ace, five suit. I also have pocket aces, pocket kings. Okay, now we've got a large, let's see. All right, now we're gonna go over bet like everybody else is doing. Blufski. Bluff the blue, the blue, See, I have ace king, I have king king, I have. Uh... Yeah, see, it works. It just works, man. Limping is pimping. Oh, well, these are fat right now. What the hell? Not like in a good way. All right? <laughs> I did some arms yesterday. What do I got going on over here? Limping is pimping, you know? Limping, when you limp and you limp a wide range of stuff, you could represent a whole bunch of things. Whole bunch of things. You put the pressure on them. See what I did there? You see what I did there, right? I didn't have nothing. Eight high. I'm like, all right, this guy has, even just if he has an ace, he's going to be under a lot of heat because I'm over betting turn and then we might go bombs to the wall on the river. If he has four or five, oh well, you know? But I could have a set of deuces, I could have a set of threes, I could have ace three, I could have ace deuce, I could have ace king, I could have king king, I could have, think about it, right? I could have all that stuff, man. One of the great things about limping is it allows you to have such a, it allows you to represent an incredibly wide range. I'll be right back. Any hands? Any hands? I miss any hands? Nope. Okay. Limping is pimping. You guys are gonna be like, what are you doing, man? You could have raised. Bird, I gave you food already. You want more? Is that a different bird? No, it's the same fucking guy. All right, I'll give him some more. Fuck these guys. They never let up. I gave him like 10 french fries already. There's a bird right here. I'm just saying, every day he comes here because he knows. He knows we feed him. Gave him all my remaining french fries. All right. Let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Fold here. Okay, the trade is done. So I'm getting Crosby and Shaw for a quarter, which is small enough. It is what it is. I, I'm folding. I'm not keeping those players anyway. All right. Let me see if I can figure it out. Well, we got ace nine, we got limping his pimping. All right, that's cool, that's cool. I'm just gonna fold, all right. I got a flip versus Terrence, nines against ace king on the other side. Of course I'm gonna win this, because it's a small amount of money. <laughs> yeah, nines holding against Terrence's ace king on the other table, I'm not showing you, because whatevs. Nine, three nines, I win. Okay, I have the chip lead in that there shindig. Maybe I will, I'll open up the table. Oh my God, Black Crow came, sorry buddy. Food's gone already. You got one fry, nice. Oh yeah, Joshua Matthews folding, how about that? Oh yeah, step into a Slim Jim, oh yeah. Who's that, anyone know? 
Randy Macho Macho Man. I was a big Macho Man fan. Oh, yeah. Do 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 do. All right, pair of threes. Pair of threes. We going back to the limping school. Limping, limping, limping. See, being under the gun, right? Under the gun is not. Oh wait, he limped. I limped behind him. I thought I was under the gun. It doesn't matter. I would have limped anyway. What would have happened with that ace nine? I didn't even look. That ace nine. What happened? Oh my god, I would have flopped three fucking nines, but I wouldn't have won much money, right? Oh, I think that, what had happened before the flop? Let's see. Small blind raised. I wouldn't have even played the ace nine, right? I would have just folded. So, whatever. And we got threes. Boom, 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 boom. What is this, a small bet? I'm just gonna get out of the way. I like this Patrick book, so I like how he's playing here. He's doing some limping. He's doing some big raising. It's fun. I like when people try to do things outside the box of just the standard, you know? All right, why not just... Let's just... Okay, I'll, I'll open up a second table just for fun. Let's go. Table two. Table two. There it is. Okay, so there you can see we're table two. This is the free roll. All right? So now I can toggle back and forth. Queen four over here. Okay, so let's see. We got five, we got six. All right, so here, this is the... <laughs> I'm chip leader with 24 left. This is the free roll, thanks to Terrence Chan, chip leader. But we're gonna focus here on the 5K6 max. So if there's any like really cool hands like there was just a minute ago, I will show you, otherwise, chill. Okay, let me go into the website I need to go to. And accept a trade. Boom, boom, boom. Transactions. Trade transactions. I don't see it. Where do I look? Huh. Nine four of clubs in the big blind. Uh, because of stack depths, okay, this is a fine defend in general, but because of stack depths, I'm not so happy about playing this deep. So what I will do is I will play a little nitty and I'll fold the 9-4 suited, because it's going to be difficult to face 3 over bets on flop, turn, and lever with a much weaker hands, and my opponent's range is going to be under the gun, so it's, it is what it is. What do we got? Two sixes here? Okay, this is a good hand to take a flop with. If we are flopping a six against big heat on an eight six deuce flop or something like this, we can win big chips just by check call, check call, check, 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 you trap me. Check, 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 he trapped me. Three ways you're out of position against two players. I'm going to continue to play careful on a big stack of chips here. And you're going to check. Check the sixes. The sixes could be good, right? But it's also very difficult for me to represent too many hands in this situation. So what I'll do is I'll check. The pre-flop Razor can still have king or can have seven, can have lots of very good hands. And I have a player behind me, Bert Stevens, who can do many bad things to me. So I'm going to fold a pair of sixes.
Boom, 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 boom. Oh, here it is. Hold on, bro. Relax. What we have? Under the gun raising. With ace eight suited with spades. All right, I will take the flop with this stack there. Maybe we will make ace high flush. My opponent has king jack of spades, and the flop will come to spades. River a spade. We win a big pot. We win a big pot against king high flush. That's the uh, opportunity. Oh shit, not ideal. A big size raise from Ognian. Dimov, five million in earnings. Nah. All right. Uh, uh, all right, fold. Transactions. I got so many things going on here. What do we got here? All right, what do I click? Transactions. Trade transactions. My trades. Let me ask Bob. King seven suited, going to fold. Let me see here. What? Why can't I accept this trade? What's going on? Check with Bob. Someone said the banner is not right. Why not? 5k, 6 max, no limit hold'em. It is right. Yes. Well, here's the thing. Acon 725. The thing is, this guy with limping and 3.5xing, that can absolutely be still GTO. It, just because you're raising different sizes doesn't mean it's not GTO because you can create GTO sizing from very different places if you do the work. James F, the volume's fine, it's you. Just saying. Okay. So, well, let me see if I can figure this out. Do, 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 do. Can do it on here let me see what is my password for that let me see hl mm -mm 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 -mm. let me try let me try on this uh here desktop i'm gonna do something well i'm gonna try and accept this trade i got going on in hockey small little itty bitty trade but let's go okay alternative hockey league.com Folding that one. Okay. AlternativeHockeyLeague.com. Oh, I am logged in. Let's see. Trade transactions. My trades. Active details. Sidney Crosby, Mason Shaw, 
for 25 cents it's accepted accept okay now i can close i didn't know i was already logged in how cool that's wild trade down so what this guy did right he can't be at the draft so he needs to fill his team with players the way that our ter our league works is if you don't have a player signed for the season they become a free agent and they ask for they, they require an increase in salary so Sidney crosby was already an expensive player he moves up to like crazy expensive territory so uh we're not keeping him anyway so because we're not keeping him we uh we're gonna drop him anyway and Mason Shaw, I wasn't going to keep, drop him anyway. So he wants those two players, even at that price. So he's going to give me a quarter in cap space in 2027-28. I said, I'll take it for there. What is going on with this fucker today? 2027-28. Ronaldo Herrera, you're so wrong. Just saying. You're so wrong. I could go into real detail. You think I'm playing way too passive. What you don't realize is... Because it's six max, everyone goes. Some people think you have to go really bonkers. Oh, six max! You gotta walk. You gotta fucking raise, raise, pop, 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 seven bet, nine bet, ten bet, twelve bet. No, 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 no. Especially not at the stack depth. We're 170 big blinds deep. Pa Patience, my friend. Relax. There's no rush. No rush to get to the finish line. You know, we have 52k. We don't need to go cuckoo. There's no point in going cuckoo when there's that much behind. You can play a little tranquilo, relaxado, cansado. See. You don't have to go crazy, crazy. You can relax, enjoy the day, and see how it plays out. All right, why did I get so hyped for that? This thing's actually slower than I thought. Du -du 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 -du. Can you rebuy in this event? Asks George Isakon. Yes, you can. There are two rebuys available. However, I sold pieces within the client to you guys, and that's only for the first bullet. Do 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 do. You're right about that, Jacob Sweeble. I was busy trying to make a hockey deal, which I just did. There's the small little hockey deal. Basically, I'm just getting something for free in the hockey deal. It's very, I'm getting the minimum you can give somebody. So what we do is this. In our league, each season, everyone is given a 60.00 cap 60 million 60 dollars whatever you want to call it right everyone is given a cap to buy their team now what i can do is in future year you can sell cap right so let's say next year now this guy gives me a dollar worth of cap so he has 59 i have 61 so this year going into the draft my team has a 75 dollar cap because i've traded for luxury i've traded for it in past years it's a cool league. It's the coolest league in the entire world, I promise you. Huge fan. Take a look here. What's going on over this This here? This is the free roll we're looking at right now. This is a little free roll. 23 left. Yours truly second in chips. Big deal. I mean, first prize. I'm going to, of course, win this one because it's 2500 for first, right? <laughs> ah, man. Fold that. Rahul Gupta, you had king seven suited. You couldn't, you could have played this one hand. It was under the gun, okay? So generally speaking, if you look at GTL charts, it wouldn't be in there. King seven suited, you're supposed to play a little tighter from under the gun. But because, turn off, yeah. Um, but because, because, because. All right, so we've been limping as pimping. I'm going to continue limping as pimping with a very nice, strong hand. Over here, we got two queens. We're going to go ahead and raise that up. Back to here. King Jack suited. We are doing limping and pimping under the gun. Now we've got a flush draw and king high. But the problem with this board 
This one's a little more dangerous because the blinds can absolutely represent this deuce because the ranges are much wider. So limping changes everything, right? If I would have raised coming in, well, the small blind's unlikely to have a deuce, big blind still. But now we have two players in here that a whole bunch of hands in their range have a deuce. So this is one I'm going to play cautiously despite having the flush draw. I'm going to actually check this back if they check to me. Limpin is pimpin', yo. And then if I make a flush, you know, we're good to go. On the other hand, we got three queens over here. Three-way pot. I'll take it. Okay, they both checked to me. I don't want to be check-raised. I really do not. So, I have the best hand a lot, too, with king-jack-high. I only lose to a queen, a deuce, some ace-highs. Returns a four. Now, against a very large bet, like an overbet or something like that, we'll just fold. I know you guys are like, oh, how weak is D-Negs? Because I know limping is pimping, bro. I know how to limp and pimp. Y'all don't pimp and... I'm going to get the shirt. Show y'all. Got limp and his pimping shirts. Well, now there's no point in betting here on this floor. Okay. Now we've got queens and deuces with a king high. That could be good. Now we have a little bit of concern about that four on the turn because that's another card we can't beat. Is Louis Fari going to bet? There's not much out here, right? There's just like peanut. So we'll just check it and hopefully uh, queens and deuces with a king is, 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 is the winner. Seven high, ten high. Okay, we'll just take it. Whatever. No harm, no foul. But notice like... If, if I bet this flop, one of these guys may have just said, you know what, I'm going to check raise the flop, and I'm going to put you to the test, D-Negs. Well, we avoided the trap. We took down a little itty-bitty pot. And this is a spot, actually, where both players would have folded pre-flop. So I maxed it by winning an extra half bet. Oh, how genius. Limping is pimping, yo. Limp. I'm going to get the T-shirt. Whatever, I should put the limping is pimping. All right, let's go. This is what we're doing today. Limping is pimping. This is a nice little sweatshirt here. I'm going to tell you what happened to my other one yesterday. So, all right, while we're all here and we're enjoying the stream, yesterday I walked around the city of Vancouver and I think I went to the wrong part of town at one point. And uh, I, there's just people on the sidewalk. It reminded me of like a San Francisco vibe. Just doing crack. Just like a whole bunch of people looking dirty and decrepit and doing crack. I'm like, all right, I think I'm in the wrong part of town. So I don't know, had me thinking, whatever. So then last night, Amanda and I, we, were, we just went over there to the Cactus Club, which is right up here. It's a nice little restaurant. We were going to go there. And I was wearing a The Nuts hoodie, which is my new collection on Contenders Clothing. I was wearing a nice black hoodie, comfy, because it was a little cold. We were going to sit on the patio. And some guy comes up to us and he's, I don't know how to explain it, but he's not okay. He's got something going on. And he's like, hey, hey, can I get a good And he was trying to talk to us, and I couldn't really understand him too well, whatever. And then he's like, so I'm like, all right, I took some money out of my pocket. I figure he needs some money. And I'm, I'm handing him some money. And he's like, no, 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 I, I don't want your money. I don't want your money. I, I need your help. And he's like, it's really cold. I want, I need a hoodie like that, you know? And I was like looking at Amanda going, well, this is, I mean, we're sitting outside. I got a T-shirt on. But, uh, like, I didn't want my money, he says. So I literally... This is, I mean, you know what this is the saying? I literally took the shirt off my back. So I took off my hoodie, a nice, beautiful nuts hoodie, and I gave it to this gentleman. Um, and then he mentioned he was trying to catch a, a bus to home or whatever. And he said he needed, like, he's $25 short for that. So we took care of that as well. But, like, originally he's like, I don't want the money. You know, then we gave him some money. But I also just, like... Gave him the sh I gave him the shirt off my back. I gave him the hoodie off my back. So it's interesting. I don't know. Like, what do you do in that spot? I was thinking, like, I kind of like the hoodie. I really like the hoodie. But I can get more of those hoodies. One of the other options was, like, just give him money to go buy a hoodie. Like, up at the hotel. But I don't even know if the store was open. So instead, I just took off the hoodie off, off of me. And I gave it to this man. You know, he looked legit. I'm like... He you know, like sometimes you can, you know, sometimes people are scammers out there, right? And they're just pretending that they are, you know, dealing with stuff. He didn't look like he was a drug addict. He looked more like he was dealing with some sort of mental illness and other physical stuff. So, yeah, so you, if you see a random guy in Vancouver walking around the street in the nuts hoodie, know that was one that was on my on my back and I gave it to that gentleman. That was last night. 
Would you have done the same thing? Giving him your hoodie? Mm. Felt like the right thing to do. Amanda's very, like, incredibly empathetic towards homeless people because for a while she lived in downtown LA and she was, like, right next to Skid Row. And she would see those people every day and chat with them and, you know, try to help. And we had a good discussion at dinner just about how to address, like, it's not an easy problem, how to address the homeless problem in different parts of the world, specifically in the United States. I mean, there, like I said, there was some here in Vancouver, but, like, the U.S. is, you know, a very wealthy country overall, and uh, it also has a problem in a lot of major cities with homelessness. Like, you look at what's happening in San Francisco, downtown L.A., you know. Vegas seems to have a handle on it for the most part, but you ask yourself, like, what is, what is, what is, what is the way to fix that? I have ideas, but it would require a lot of money, more money than I got. But uh, it's not an easy problem to fix because what you're dealing with is you're dealing with a lot of people on the streets are dealing with two things. Prim primarily, the number one thing they're dealing with is some form of mental illness, right? Now, that mental illness can also uh, show itself in, uh, you know, with drugs and alcohol, right? Because if you're dealing with some sort of mental illness and you're on the street and, you know, you're living in misery, Drugs and alcohol is an escape, right? It kind of allows you to um, just escape what you're dealing with. Like, imagine if you were homeless. Like, man, you'd probably want to drink, wouldn't you? Like, I mean, you know, there's not much, if there's no hope or whatever. So my idea is grandiose. And it would take, like, if, if I was a billionaire, like, you know, some of these billionaires, I would be like, all right, let's see what we can do with 250 million, okay? I know that's a crazy number. We still go 250 million. Build some facilities that do two things, right? Number one, it is a drug rehabilitation center, okay? Number two, it's a shelter. Number three, it gives people food, right? Now, some people are far gone. It's not going to matter. They're just, you know, they're never going to recoup it. But is even if you got 20% of those people back on their feet, off the streets, well, mainly off the streets, because, like, forget about property values and all that stuff, but you literally just destroy downtown when you just let this happen. Like, when you see with San Francisco, like, stores are leaving, Companies can't serve. What the hell? You people just walk in, take whatever the fuck they want, and just leave, and then shit on the sidewalk. It's like you don't want to be around that, you know? It's not. It's not. It's not nice. So, I would try to find a large plot of land, and I would get. I would work with you know police or whatever, and say like, bring them, bring them here, take them to these areas, and do our best to rehabilitate. Now, like I said. It's, an, it's a difficult task. But you look at this. Most countries, most like flourishing countries, they don't have this kind of problem. So you have to ask yourself why. Also, I think too in Los Angeles specifically, there's too many people there. Not enough housing and too many people go there with a dream. I'm going to be a big actor or whatever. And then they end up on the street or I don't know. Anyway. Hmm. Stand up. Stand up. So anyway. I thought about doing it on a smaller scale. I had an idea. Um, I had an idea just to do it on a small scale where like you sort of pick 10 families. Like I could afford to help 10 families and do the same sort of thing on a smaller scale with them and maybe film it and create a documentary and then try to grow it and build a foundation around that. I had this idea a long time ago and I'm not implemented it up until this point but i think it could be idea and what, what i'd be looking for i'd be looking for families where the kids it's not their fault right six seven year old it's not their fault whatever you want to judge the the parents about the lives that they chose and you shouldn't be because you don't know what it was you don't know, you don't know the reason they're even there but what i would do is look to um look to uh find families that i think are like most likely to be redeemable or like that we can turn their life around in a year or two with help the bus line is a scam you guys are saying I don't think he was a crackhead the guy Oh, everyone's saying, I need a hoodie. <laughs> yeah, 
Don't want your money, just want your hoodie. Now can I have some money? <laughs> That's kind of funny, actually. Now that I think about it. Yeah, here's the thing, right? Even if the guy's lying, like anybody doing that, like they, they need that hoodie and that money more than I do, right? So whatever. Like if he's going to use it for drugs, so whatever. I always say that to people like, oh, they're just going to use the money on drugs. I'm like, listen, if I was on the street, man, I'd probably want some too, bro. I think it was GTO 2, Playmaker, from a GTO perspective, karma-wise. Huh. It wasn't a bus ticket. I don't know if it was like for a, a ferry or I don't, know. I don't know. I couldn't really understand him too well. Well, you don't know it was a scam. You weren't there. You you didn't see the guy. Ah, oh, we did, right? My wife is very good at reading people and also understanding mental illness on a deep level. She studies that sort of thing, and she she thought he was legit. So, you're judging based on like, you know, sheer numbers and probability, but we're judging based on the actual person. So, hmm. There we go. We got Ace Queen. We will be three betting this one. With this stack depths, we are going to go decent size too. Decent size up to 10.2. What do you want to do? Ognian Dimov, you're calling. Okay, he's calling the rays, and this is a flop that connects with a good amount of calling range. 10 jacks, 9 tens, pocket pairs, many different scenarios. I'm going to just check in this situation. Being out of position is tough, you know? It's not ideal. Like, you kind of, that's why you're, you're making your rage stars lizers. You want raise sizes larger. All right, now that's a good card for us. The king is a very good card for us because we hit the ace king, right? Now we're going to go big bomb. We're going to go big. Two thirds pot. That's a so range wise, because we three bet pre, we have all the ace king. He doesn't. He should not have ace king. He can have some king queen king jacks, but we block king queen as well. He called. All right, fuck. That's a very bad card. Fuznik. Fuznik. Can we bluff now? Boom. Da, da, da. Well, if he can call on a king nine eight four board rainbow, right? Ace queen's no good. The question is, can we represent queen jack or better than a king? I don't think so, so I'm gonna have to just give up on this one. Giving up, giving up, take your money, you win. White flag, buddy. Dude, dude, dude. We can't win, there's just no hand we beat. He's not calling with the turn with ace jack. Or... It's like, it's... unless he has like what? No, there's no hand, literally no hand that he checks back flop, calls turn with where we're, we're, we're the best hand. It's impossible. Yeah, see, impossible. Just, there's no hand. No hand. Calls the three bet, 894. Calls the king turn for two thirds. Right? Huh. A different river card? We might have blasted off. Right? A different river we might have blasted off. B Hall 73 says, was homeless for a bit as a kid. Daniel Lemay's perspective is so good. I wish I had anything similar to that when I was dealing with these problems. The truth is that resources are so limited in most areas for the amount of homeless people there are that your options are wait all day in hopes of getting a serving of food at a kitchen or panhandle. It isn't ideal. Yeah. No, you don't. Leonardo Gomez, drug addiction is a health problem. It doesn't only exist because of social inequities. It, 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 the number one reason for it, the number one reason for it is untreated mental illness. And I'm, I was asking Amanda, I'm like, how did it happen in LA? Like, w when did this happen where, you know, it just was overrun by this? And she said in the 80s, a lot of people that were institutionalized or, you know, getting treatment in hospitals were just let out on the streets. Like, what do you expect? A bunch of people that need to be on medication, you know, they need help. They're not, now they're just on the street. Like, what do you want them to do? Like, 
I think there's a lot there's a lack of empathy for people that are homeless that is more extreme than I would have imagined in terms of like oh they should just get up and get out there buddy you know it feels so hopeless like there's just not a lot of resources not a lot of opportunity it's not as easy as you think you don't just just toss the toss these people aside and not care I don't know at least that's the way I see it okay so here we go this is just gonna be a jam there's really no four bet size what are we gonna make it? 17 and full? No, we're just gonna stick it in. He's only got 38 bigs, right? Okay, what does he have? Okay. It's a diamond. Oh! Holy smokes! How did that happen? Wow, we got lucky there, didn't we? Oh, wow. I'm going to say I'm so good. <laughs> I'm so good. <laughs> okay, we got a 7-8 suited. 2.4. Let's get frisky. Let's make it 7 with a little 7-8 suited action. Do, 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 do. Jizlud Lin Hades asks, does the small ball technique still work nowadays? Yeah, to a certain degree, of course. Oh, fuck. What is this now? Well, well, we're deep enough. I believe we're deep enough to go ahead and make this call. We are deep enough to take a flop. There is two pair. That's not a great spot. Although Jack is a card that's more in my range than his. Well, is that true? Yeah, yeah, I think it is. He's not four betting a lot of jack combos. But we can have some jack 10 suited, jack queen suited, king jack suited. Okay, take control of his hand by betting quarter pot. It would be really dreamy to just pick it up right here, wouldn't it? Just dreamy. Oh, baby, hello. Eat some of that, buddy. Ha, ha, ha. 7-8 suited, called the 4-bet, bingo, bango, bongo. Back to limpin' his pimpin', shall we? Boom. Under the gun, limpin', limpin', limpin'. Hmm. Limpin' is pimpin'. Limping is pimping. Bottom. Bottom, bottom. I'm going to bet one chip. Small ball. Limping is pimping. Small ball. Here we go. As I said, limping is pimping. So, this is going to be interesting. We're actually just going to check this card. He peels his flop. He might have a worse heart. Don't mind. We have a 10 draw to hit a straight. Queen jack high could be good. If not, he's not. Pro I'm not planning on just going bonkers. I'm just going to check. There we go. Now we get the heart. And now if he has a heart, like the nine of hearts or something like that, we're going to get paid. If he peeled with the heart, we're going to get paid. He probably doesn't put me on a lot of offsuit combos. Right? That limp under the gun. But guess what, buddy? I have one. So two-thirds pot. If he raises, we're still calling. We lose now to seven nine of hearts, seven four of hearts, and the ace of hearts. But, uh... Well, can he ever check raise here from under the gun? From, he can't really... I mean, so unlikely he has the aces. All right, I told you, we got paid. He had king four. No heart. Limping is pimping. Look at all these extra chips we're limping. What is this going on here? It feels fat. It's like no definition. You should see when I was ripped a few years ago. I had major definition. I was, I got down, I went from when I was married, 176. And then we went through COVID. And I was like, all right, let's just get ripped. I got down to 138.6 and was ripped like a fighter. So cool. All right, this could be a three-bet spot. This could be a three-bet squeezy deezy. Oh yeah, this is definitely a squeezy deezy. All right. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna take a flop. 
It's definitely a combo you can squeeze with, but I'm just going to take a flop. Chickened out. Chickened out. But it was a good squeeze spot. Very small bet. All right, it's bet and call. Like so, against bet and call, don't really like peeling. I don't want to peel against two players out of position. Queen might still not be good. He could have king queen, king queen jack. I'm just gonna fold here. But a boom, 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 boom. So we shall see. I want to see what they had. Like just results or not being results or anything. But I'm curious if the squeeze would have got through. All right. Well. We got a big bet again. An ace on the river. So probably we did not win. Good chance he had an ace, even though the ace came. For him to barrel into four people. Um, again, your bluff frequency is going to be lower when you have more players. This free roll, continental free roll, has a lot of play in it. Too much. Independent Patriot. I wasn't talking about the United States. I was talking about other countries. Anon Adom. Yeah, betting ace queen uh, for me was a bluff. I was bluffing. I was setting up a big river bluff. A lot of chat. A lot of chat. I got to catch up. You talk about stuff like that. So what do we got here? We got I'm gonna have a raise from Le Bouton. Le Bouton. I, you know, I do some. I'm notice what I've been doing in this tournament so far is we're, is we're doing a lot of under the gun limps, late position under, the, you know, on the button, opening here, have a little bit of fold equity. I have a hand that I can call a three bet with. In position, in position, avec un dame neuf. We will. Call the three bet on position, and we have flop the flush draw, and we also blocking the queen jack and the jack nine of hearts because we have the queen nine of hearts. All right? All right? He's going to bet small, most likely. Most likely, we shall see a small bet from him, quarter part. He's checking. So you will get the quarter part from me, bro. Hope he doesn't check raise. That won't be. That will be annoying. Baby, he's calling. Okay. Do we go ham and go go boom boom boom, or do we take the free card, baby? Da -da 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 -da. I'm gonna check and maybe we can set up some river bluffs with this blind too. Oh, there's a heart. We don't need to worry about river bluffs. And all night long, want you all night. The question is for size. He's betting third pot. I want more. Raise. Raise with the flush. If you have the ace I flush or king I flush, you're going to take all my money, buddy. That's It is what it is. Croatia, huh? Could he have the ace high flush or the king high flush? Yes. Mm, he has the ace of hearts, maybe. He's thinking about doing some stuff. He's tanking. Is he tanking to call or to jam? That's the question. Could he have a worse flush? Jack 10 of hearts is about it. The only flush, if he has a flush, would be is like Jack 10 of hearts or 7 8 of hearts. But would he play 7 8 of hearts like that? All right, he folded. Sweet. All right, I can't <laughs> ship it. Break time. All right. We'll take it.
Hmm. Still got two minutes left. All right. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Let's see. Command L. There we have it. How should we take a look at the prop bet? So, of the prop bet, we had 18 players. Two are out. Sabichenko and Al Capone is out. Yours truly sitting third in that, third place in that. In this main one, we're 20 of 252. Nice stack. What do we start with? 50 or up to 92. Got lucky with the got lucky with the queens against the kings. Boom, 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 boom. One minute. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, what's going on here? We're doing good. We're doing good, eh? Long way to go, but it's early and a nice start. Time to focus in now. We've got the chit chat out of the way. I gotta look around the table. Let's take a look at Bert Stevens. Bert Stevens has 10 million in winnings right here on GG Poker. Solid. Volios has 245,000. Let's play this hand first and we'll move on. I'm going to go ahead and raise this one up. Ognion Dimov has 5 million in earnings. C. Segebrecht has 3.3 million in earnings. And Luis Faria has 1 million. All right, so we've raised it up under the gun plus one with a couple of sevens. We've been called. We're going to come with quarter pot ish the reason we're betting the sevens a lot of times i check these ace to you know ace high boards is because sevens could use a little bit of uh equity denial against like queen jack jack 10 hands you want to sort of get rid of those and now i think uh it's tough to play at this depth i think i'm just going to check and evaluate Check and eval evaluate. One big blind. Interesting. That's interesting. This is, we're not folding. Just gonna go ahead and call. He might have sixes. It's like all we're hoping for, really. Tens. Okay, that's fine. I don't mind losing a really small one. He bets one on the turn. It's fine. Can't fold the sevens. Damage could have been much worse. Interesting size he chose. 
with the tens. Nice hand, Burt Stevens. Straight out of Mexico. Got a hand over here in the mini main. Oh no, well, that's not the mini main. Oh, this is the free roll. Whatever. We're not going to change the name of it, but that that's when you were saying the banner's wrong. Okay. Yeah, this is just the continental free roll. Uh, 22 left. Base 10. It's first prize is $2,500. Just a fun little thing they do when you play the World Series Book of Bracelet events. As I was saying before, depending where you're from, the Americas, for example, is where we are, which is North America, South America. They, they cut up the... What are the four? Um, I don't know. But anyway, that's where we are. And so Terrence Chan won the Limit Hold'em, which enters every one of us that um, played in it a chance at a free roll. So there's an extra 10000 on the line. First prize is 2500 And they're like eight-minute blinds. The whole thing should take about three hours. We'll check in every once in a while. Gonna lay this one down. Lay down a monster. Queen five of hearts. Let's see. This one is going to be a limp. Oh no, shit. Good thing I noticed. Huh, I saw 1.7, what's that? I didn't see the raise originally from Ogni and Dimov. Don't want to defend that. Seven Dewey. No, thank you. Nice hand, Bert Stevens there with the tens. Just flatting, calling the flop, of course. Black. What you will notice about six max is you do see, like chip disparity happen much quicker. A lot more action, a lot more pots being played. So if you look at the V pips, right? What is a V pip? V pip is the number in front of everybody. You see, in front of me, I've got that ball that says 33, like that fireball. That means I'm hot. But all, the 33 represents the number of hands that I've played, or the percentage of hands that I've played. You see, Bert Stevens in here with 43 percent. Voltas at 30, you got 35, 33, and then you got Luis Faria. Um, small sample, but, you know, 17%. It's on the lower side, to say the least. When you're six max, you just have to play more pots. There's a little too much play in the continental free rolls considering the amount of money it's for because right now in that thing if you see there's 58 big blinds average Henrique says if they have example 1 million in earnings how much they might have profit from that amount maybe none you know like if you spent 1.5 million in buy-ins and have a million in earnings, you'd be down. Other things you can do is you can take a look deeper into, look, this right now we're looking at Ognan's 
stats. He's got two GG Millions wins, three World GG World Festivals. You take a look at his stats a little more in depth. I will be coming with another Limpity Lomp Lomp. Limpity Lomp Lomp. In an easy life. All right, a lot of ways to proceed here. And I'm going to choose the safe route. Let's see, what was a flop? 269, okay. Wasn't a flop we were going to be able to do much with. Limping, y'all. Limping is pimping. We're pimping. We're limping, pimping, dodging, wadging, madging, modging. All our oh, you know what? It's twelve ten. Start. It's time to start looking at food. Time to start looking at food. Making an easy life. Queen deuce against under the gun. That'll be a, a fold ski. Taking an easy life. Boom, 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 boom. Taking an easy life. All right, ace king. Let's uh, see how the proceedings go. The proceedings. That's a word Nick Shulman uses a lot. Poker is War is another shirt we got. You can find that at Contender's Clothing. Poker is War. It isn't really, but... Mm -hmm. 7.9, if the 4-bet comes, we put it in. Burt Stevens is getting frisky, maybe. Oh, shit. That's potentially problematic. Is there a four bet size? Nope. Well, this is grip it and rip it time. Grip it, rip it, voopsie, voopsie. Oh, he's thinking, that's good. Thinking is good. Thinking is good. We like thinking. We definitely like thinking. Thinking means no aces, no kings, no queens. Could be a pair, but very well could be like ace-queen suited. Right? I'm going to put him on ace-queen suited and say, let's go. Does he have jacks or tens here? I think he just calls with the jacks. Tens. He called? Ace Queen suited! Ha <laughs> ha! I told you! Told you I know what he's got! Okay, holy shit. Hold. Hold. Holy shit. No queen, no spade. Diamond. Woo! <laughs> Let's go, D eggs. Oh, baby, what a fucking hand. We needed that. That was a big pot, yo. That's gonna move us way up. We are third in chips out of 96 players. Heaps. I told you, six max. Shit gets wild. Shit gets wild playing six max. Wow. Woo hoo. Told you, you had ace queen suited after he starts tanking. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, baby. Top three stack. Things are going well. Woo. Woo. Six max. Someone asked, six mans means the average hand is weaker, I guess? Yeah, I'd say that's true. Um, the issue is, you know, each hand you play, you're paying more to see the flop. 
or you're, you're paying more because you're paying a big and a small blind every six hands rather than every eight or nine hands. So it forces the action. You're also, you have less players to deal with. We're going to come to the raise. We have, you have less players to deal with um, behind you often, right? So when you're on the button, right, you raise more often. Well, you're on the button more often, percentage-wise. What was the flop here? Anything? Jack. Okay. We are sitting pretty here. One, two, five-handed. I'm going to go ahead and raise again. Five-handed with the old ace-nine. Sitting on a big old, big old heap of chips. It's early, but we can definitely get away with this one. All right, we're going to fold now. Ace nine up suit, out of position, five handed. Go ahead, Ognion. You will bluff me, it's fine. Take Zimani, honey. In the last longer of 18 players, we're second in chips. Oh, wow, the chip leader is Sven Anderson. He's got more than me, and I'm third in chips. Huh, wild. Hmm. 3.5 is the raise with the queen jack in position. En position. All right. We can call a limp raise with this hand, depending on the size. If he jams, of course, we fold. But uh, if he makes 12, we will call. Ah, 15. Fuck. Hey, na, da, 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 da. I had a feeling this was coming. This could be a lot of like ace littles and all right, whatever, buddy. Let's 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 see what you're doing. Let's see what you're working with. Okay, I got open ended and I got a backdoor flush draw. I'm gonna hit a straight because we're running hot. Honey, uh, the ace littles got there. If he has kings, he's not gonna love this flop, but he probably has a decent amount of ace something here. Wow, he's betting half pot. Wow, this is wild. Lewis is playing different than I would have expected. We're getting three to one. All right, let's just go. Just put it in. Maybe he folds. I'm not gonna fold. We're not folding, so we're pushing the pedal to the metal. He's thinking, that's good. That's good. See, we don't want to really necessarily call 16 and there's 52 out there. He bets 28. On the turn, we'd be like getting a bad price. But here on this flop, we get it in. Not so bad. Backdoor spades. We block flush draws that he might have. Listen, if he has kings, queens, well, aces, if he has kings, queens, or jacks, he's just going to fold a lot. I think with an ace, he just calls. So he doesn't have an ace. Does not have an ace. What does he have? Kings. He must have kings. Must have kings. Da -da 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 -da. Must have two kings. You got two kings, Luis Faria? Luis Faria has two kings. All right. That was sick. I would have made a queen, but... And then the spade got there. Maybe he had two kings. Whatever it was, we win. <laughs> hey now, honey. Da 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 in my car. Da da da. Oh, we are balling right now. We be balling. Da 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 da. Hey now, honey. This is a good start, ladies and gentlemen. We're very happy with this one. A lot different than we did in the flip and go. Oh, split food. I've got to look at food. Who's Giraffe Ganger? Is that, what is his name on that? Let me see. I think I know that name. I don't think he likes me. He, I think I've been blocked on Twitter. Pretty sure. Oh, that is him. Burt Stevens. 
I busted you. You don't like me, and I busted you. Ha 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 yeah, let's go. <laughs> I'm silly. I'm so silly. What do we got? My favorite hand? My favorite hand. 10 7. Double suited. It's not often you get a chance to play it. And this time I'm not. But watch. Two pair and a flop. Boom. No, I would have missed. Okay. Open the game, open the game, raising late position. So our V Pip is getting up there, thirty six percent. You see Volios at forty one. Over here on the right, we've got three five. This is the uh, free roll thingy. Check, check, three fives. We're going to go big size on turn. This one I don't really care much about, but we're just goofing around. The banner is wrong. I know, I know, but don't worry about it. It's fine. Go ahead and raise me, bro. Oh, well, you are. Raise your back. Raise your right back. How you like that? Raise your right back. A little clickety clack. You want to click? You want to min click me? I'll min click you. You min click me? I'll min click you. Put it all in, and I'll call you. Let's go, Dark Lion. Who is you? Oh, you folded. Cool. I figured you might. All right. What are we doing in that one? There were Nineteen left. This is. I can't believe how. There's just too much play in those. You know? Because you think about people bought in for a $2,500 buy-in tournament. So first prize in it is $2,500. I would suggest making the structures a little faster for those. So, you know, yeah, that's just my opinion. But well, maybe people like it. Hmm. Didn't I say we were looking at food? Let's take a look. Can't go wrong with that chickpea place. I'm gonna look right at chickpea. The schnitzel im rice bowl. Chickpea tapas. Boom, 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 boom. Chickpea, what is the chickpea tapas? What do we got? Hummus. There is hummus. Let's see, what is the burrito situation? Marinated cucumbers. Mmm. Oh, this is all the tapas, I see. Okay, maybe we get a little tapas. It's a whole bunch. They got the chickpea fries. Hummus. Hatsiliam, sauteed eggplant, mmm. Labani, house salad, baba ganoush, red beet salad, Moroccan carrots, marinated cucumbers, mmm. Pickled veggies, all kinds of stuff. Boom, 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 boom. Eh, we are both quite deep. I'm going, I could three bet this one. I'm gonna just call. And check. Can check call, can check raise. Again, small sizing. I'm just going to call. Check once again. Boom, 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 boom. This is an interesting spot. We could potentially check raise with the king of hearts. And then if a heart comes, roll off another bluff. Because then everything would get there. He's overbetting turn. Nah, can't do it anymore. 
What was there? Oh, okay, here's five. Over here, we got a flip. Six is against ace queen. There's the ace. Again, don't really care too much about this one. It is what it is, whatever. If we're going to lose flips, I'd rather lose them over there. All right, let's fold one here. Taking a look at chickpea. Hmm. Hmm. Crispy battered smoked tofu coated with a unique blend of Toscana spices and crunchy gluten-free crumbs accompanied by sliced yam and avocado. This dish is the schnitz. <laughs> fried right now. I think I'm gonna have a hummus plate. What was I looking at here? Not free, gluten free, without the pita. No. What else does it come with, though? Just that? I don't even know. I didn't even know who Bert was until just now because I had to look him up. <laughs> I win. Okay. Sabich Humus Plate. I don't know. Salad. That's the salad, too. Raisy Daisy. I'm going to have the chick steak salad. I've been three bet. So, one of the things in Six Max, you know, you three bets are wider, four bets are wider, calls have to be wider, too. I'm just going to take a flop with him. It's all right, flop. We got a spade working. Obviously, it's not good if he has the ace of the king, but otherwise, we could have the best hand here, too. He can have ace nine suited. He can have, like, ace three of hearts, you know, whatever it is. We're going to check call a very small bet, most likely. What the fuck? How do you bet big here, buddy? What is that play? What are you, what are you doing here? I see. Volios going big, huh? Well, guess what, Volios? You're, you're not you're not getting away with it just yet. All right, now what? You, you have the ace of spade, do you? If you do, I don't believe you. I don't think you do. I don't see how you're betting big like that with the ace of spades ever. When he goes two-thirds pot, I really just don't think he has the ace of spades. So, like... Okay, so now what? The question is, do we value bet? Or check... And hope that he tries to move me off the hand. Check and hope he tries to move me off it. He gave up. King Jack high. Okay. Yeah. King Jack of hearts. He just went monster monster bangster on that flop. I was like, bro, I don't buy this shit. I don't buy it at all. I don't buy what you sell it, bro. I don't buy it. Give me my money. Dang.
Did not buy what he was selling. I don't know Bert Stevens, Patrick B. I knew the giraffe ganger guy, and I just remember he would say a lot of bad shit to me on Twitter. So that's all I know. I don't think I met him. I don't know. He might be a nice guy. I don't know. You know, could be a bad read. Whatever it is, it is what it is. You know, I'm just telling you the truth. <laughs> all right, we're going back to chick, chick steak salad. Let's do that. All right, we got three nines on the other side. I'm gonna check. Trep. Check, 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 trep. Bit small. Cool. Check. Radoja, Radoja, Radoja. What you doing, Radoja? Better bet big now. You better bet big. Go big, 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 big. Better big. Better big. Better big. You check. Okay. I bet the big. I bet the big for you. I bet the big for you. What you did, fold? What you did, fold? Okay. What you did, fold? Okay. Hmm. Okay. Back to work. I'm very bad at deciding what to eat, but I think I got it. Chickpea tapas. Do I want anything? I'll get some hummus. Why not? Pita on the side. Yeah, why not? Let's get that. Let's check a look, see what's happening over here. <laughs> Poor this guy. I have the nuts every hand against them. What the hell? 7-4, top set. Okay. Small bet. I got the flush draw too. Wow, what a board. Crypto going small, small for value. If you raise me and you have queen 10, you will get my chips and I don't care. Give me, give me, give me, give me the money, money. Give me, give me, give me, give me all your money. Give me, give me, give me, give me all your money. I'm gonna throw an egg at him. Oh, wrong person. Just sending it over to Reg Life. Beating him up. See that? Boom, boom. I don't know why I went to him. I meant to put. <laughs> silly, silly. We got all the fun little bells and whistles right here at GG Poker. Okay, view cart. Chick steak salad. Hummus plate. Small. Go to checkout. No thanks. Priority. We order priority. Priority. Order. What? I hear Amanda. What the hell is going on? What do I hear my wife? How, how weird is that? She must be awake. Did you hear what I was saying to you? What were you saying? Fuck you. You said fuck you to me? Yeah. Fuck I you. Oh no, I didn't hear you. I'm just ordering food right now. It's going really good. Oh I'm yeah? Three out of 257. I had queens against kings. Queen on the river. Had ace king against ace queen. It held. So. It did? Yeah. I'm also playing this like the f continental free roll. Why are you bored of what I'm saying? Kidding. Jesus. What? Update settings to track your food. Not now. Okay. I can't even see right now. These lashes are in my eyes. The lashes are in your eyes? 
Dude, there's this continental free roll. There's 11 players left. I'm third in that. But it's $2,500 for first. So, of course, I'm going to win that. <laughs> Why? The 2500 What are we going to do with that? That won't pay for your lashes. My food is arriving at 1.10 p.m. Okay. We're going to have to use the U.S. money because we don't have any Canadian. You didn't go to the bank. Yep. Yeah. There's one we there. Didn't go to the bank. Well, you can go now if you want. Fuck you. you can go run to the bank. No. She said, fuck you again. Absolutely not. You heard that, right? That's abuse. I think that's verbal abuse. That she said the F you to me three times now. Right? She does this to me every day. Every oh, do you see? Does it feel hot? Does it feel... Oh, fucking, it's nothing. Let me... Oh, move your hand. There's something right there. There's something weird right here. What is it? I don't know. That's just a white spot. Here, let me take a picture. I don't know. Maybe you should show the people and they can decide <laughs> what it is. It like oh, it means this and that. Wait, I was looking up last night a lot of the homeless stuff in LA. Yeah? Right now, I was talking about it on the. Right now, there's 79,000. 79,000 homeless people in LA. And? And? Number one cause? What do you think? Mental illness. No. What? Lack of housing. Lack of housing. Number hmm. two, mental illness. Number two, mental illness. Three, drug addiction. Three, drug addiction. Okay, so, but the housing crisis? Why don't you come here so people can hear you? Can they not? Hey, man, the mic is over here. Just come over here. Like, oh, the mic. Stand right here. Yeah, you want to talk? You want to chat? Let's chat. Chat with you. I know, but the, the um, people get to hear. Your stories. The housing crisis is number one problem in LA for homeless. Yeah. That yeah, there's not there enough. Are so many stories. No place for them to live. Okay, so they're doing this cool program. Mm hmm. I should show it to you. They're doing this cool program. I'd like to be involved. Where they, um, the city is buying motels. Okay. Old motels. Okay. Um, they're trying to buy them so that it's cheaper for the city. But mm -hmm. most. Some of the hotels, they're having to pay like $125 a night per room, which is too much. Too much okay. For these old hotels, they're doing it anyway. And they're housing people in them um, temporarily, just to try to help them, right? But they're failing because they don't have doctors, dentists. They don't have anything to, anything to help them. They're just putting them in these rooms. Right, and then they're just there. They're just in a room, and they don't have their a license yet. They don't have papers. They don't have anything. Yeah. So... They've cleaned up one area by putting them in the motels. It's it's working, except they don't have enough resources to, yeah. to keep it. To yeah, keep it it's not good enough to just put them there. We need to figure out a way to, to, to get clean them up. Yeah, yeah. To get them better. Um, there's this one woman that was, she's 53 years old, interior designer, lived in LA most of her life, had a seizure, was hospitalized. She was so behind on rent from being in the hospital, they said, you can't come back. Homeless. Mm. And she's been homeless for a few years now. She's a normal looking lady. Got her veneers punched out on the oh. street, raped. Um, and now all that she said, all that's left in her mouth are like stubs of nerve endings that are just like, you know, and so much pain. But they got wow. her into one of these motels because she's like just lays there crying all day because of the pain and the mental yeah. health and everything's wrong with her. Nobody's treating so, it. No one's, but she is, but she said it's such a blessing to have like hot water and to lay in a bed. I mean, a lot of the stories aren't just like, oh, this guy's addicted to drugs, he's on the street. Yeah. They're real people that have real problems. Even if they were just drug addicts, it doesn't matter to me. Understood, yeah. Anyway, I'll have to show you some of that when you do the program. Over here, we did a little bluefski, bluefski, bluefski. <laughs> Over bet jam the river with two threes. Hello, on the bubble. Not like we care. Whatever. Boomski. I only showed you after he folded. Cause... How many people are Gen Z that follow you, you think? 
I don't know. I don't I don't ask them the gen. But there's a lot more of them now. Like a lot of people because of YouTube and stuff. Second in chips over here. Out of 250. In the last longer, we've lost one, two, three, four, five, six. Kev Martin gone. Patrick Leonard's gone. Jesse Lone is gone. I'm chip leader of that because I'm also basically chip leader of this thing, this entire thing. I'll let you talk about that. I was going to talk about periods anyways. You're going to talk about, should, should we go from homeless people yeah. with teeth, no teeth, to period blood, Gen to, Z to, people. to eyelashes? You know? Gen Z people. Uh huh. Stupid movement. I can't stand them. What's this movement? They're doing this free bleed movement. Oh, like free not, bleed? They're not wearing anything down there. They're just going to stay home and bleed freely and not wear tampons or pads. And people are like, so what are you doing? Right? Are you just ruining all your clothes? Or like, and then just going to, like, clean it up or what? Yeah, they're, when we walk around the house, we just pull the towel down there. And it's like, <laughs> I hate you. I hate you. What's the big deal? Like, they want to push back against corporate tampons? Yeah. Okay. Gen Z, man. They want Oh, they're going to have hairy armpits and hairy legs and all that, too? Totally. Got to have that, right? It's natural to bleed freely. It's like, no, it's not. Like you, you think even, though, like, in the old days, people put stuff there. Women didn't just walk around and bleed down their legs. Yeah, I mean, if they did, they couldn't help it, at least. Yeah. Like, now we have solutions to that. Right. Right? Yeah. You don't have to do that. It's messy, and it's fucking disgusting to bleed down your legs, number one. I agree. It's not just for you, for everybody. It's not clean. It is not. It is not clean. Totally aligned, babe. Oh, yeah? All finally, these. Something. What do you mean, finally? We're aligned on 99% of things. You just. <laughs> okay, we got information from Mr. Ballsbog just now. Oh. I'll take that call. Hold on. I got Queens over here. Hold on. One second. This fuck it. Who cares? It's on. The... Oh, we're in the money in this one. I, what did I do? I raised big. Like I said, I'm not really too worried about that. One away from the final table. Ooh. Final table. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. I'll find me. The 10th. What day is today? The 5th? Is it? I'm going home. Okay. Send in a wire from Portland to the contest today. In two days, title company for closing. Nice. Woo! Okay, sweet. He said, I'm guessing they have it on the 10th. So the tenth is. Time to go. Hold on. You want to go home? Hmm? Tenth. That's Sunday. What are you talking about on the tenth? What does it matter if it's Sunday? I don't know. I just figure like banks don't send stuff on Sundays, right? Is that what's happening? The banks. Uh, well, we got to do the banking stuff. That's how you buy a house. We're buying the Shut house. Up. You, you, you. I know, but I thought that was like I thought you meant we were talking about the guy, not the bank. What guy? Oh, that, no, no, no. The money is there. We are set. Oh, but you have to be there. For what? What do I have to be there for? Nut flush draw here. Okay, I'm at the final table that... Silly thing. That's fun. Mm hmm. 2,500 for first. Still, it's fun to win. Interesting spot now. With the nut flush draw, he check calls flop. That's going to be a queen or a four, a decent amount. I'm going to go with a two thirds pot bet with the nut flush draw. Obviously, against a large check raise, I'm going to have to fold against Ong Young Dimov. All right, we win it right there. We missed the flush, but we win the pot. Amanda is amazing. Why? I don't know. Someone just said Amanda is amazing. Thank you. I know. Tell her yeah. she cannot save everyone. She knows that. I know. I don't. But yeah, I know. She does. But here's the thing. It's like, okay, you can't save everyone, but if you could try to save a hundred people and you save three, is that worth it? I would like to try. I think that's worth it. Like, obviously, the percentages, like what the idea that I was telling them about, that you know, with ten families, 
if three or four of those families, like, you know, we got them on the right path, that's worth it to me. So you got the funny, fun little final table. Look at that. Ooh, looks cool. All the money on the table and all the things. What's that? What do we got here? A6 folding. Michael Watson, second in chips. Where does it show the... I'm four out of ten in that one. Nine left. Dun, dun, dun. Big $2,500 up top. I'll take it. Why not? We'll take it. A win's a win, babe. It's not a bracelet, though. We don't get a bracelet for that. Does that make you sad? Crying. Yeah, she's crying. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a believer in the idea that I have, you know, done right. So the things we would hire is number, I mean, this is crazy but to say, but we would hire nutritionists, psychologists, um, Actual medical doctors uh, re people care. that are recruiters, like There's that, that were job, job recruiters kind of people. There's sick people too, you know that. I do have a, you know, we do have a friend by the way, who's doing this for, for people that are just out of jail mm -hmm. and they have nothing. That's a big population of the homeless too, by the way. Yeah. For like, sure. yeah. You know, so he's what he does. He does this situation where he gets them into, like, decent twenty-five dollar an hour paying jobs, where they work on those high poles for um, cell phone companies, and the cell phone companies get a deal for hiring them, because they are, you know, whatever. They get a, like a, a reward from the government or something. We got jacks against queens here at the final table. Oh well, he's only got four bigs. Who cares? These are the ones we want to lose if we have to lose. All right, let's see. slow roll there man he's really slow rolling it okay here we defended the big blind with ace four against Ognyon who raised in the cutoff flop an ace this is just going to be a nice little check and call another check another check this is a tough spot if he overbets. He did. Fuck. Tough spot because there's two flush draws. Four straights. There's lots of straight draws. He's got 36 back. Putting the heat on us. Could be drawing completely dead. I'm actually going to fold here for a couple reasons. All right. We would have had aces and fives with a 10 kicker. Um... The problem is a lot of river cards. We can't really just, like, we call the turn, right, to see what comes, and then a really bad river card comes. We can't even call the jam because we sort of have to make the commitment there. If we're calling turn, we're going with it. Um, and, yeah, you can't just always... Uh, how do I explain this? You know, against overbets on the turn, you have to fold some good hands sometimes, especially on a dynamic board like that out of position. And listen, if I... So let's say I just did call. Right? Now the river's a five, I check. He just goes all in, I have to call now, right? And he has ace 10, ace nine, pocket nines, pocket tens, ace five, ace jack, ace queen. I lose to all of it, right? So overall, that's that's a, there's a lesson in that one, guys. Against an overbet on turn, you can fold top pair with no kicker, no live kicker. I promise. Look at that, look that one up. Let's look that one up, GTO. I'm gonna look it up actually. Okay, we're gonna look that one up and see what GTO says. We're gonna look that one up later. Okay, babe? What? What? Yeah, she doesn't care. What? What? Sometimes you forget, like, real doctors, too. Yeah, I know. People who have diabetes and shit and are treated. I know. Let's see who this hand it's was. Over there. Forgot to run. Uh, Bum, 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 bum. I got I got so much going on here. 2.5. Let's raise. Jack nine suited. Okay, honey. I'm trying to write the details of a hand. I'm playing two tables. The three bet and Michael Watson over here with Ace ten. Okay, hold on. Let me check that flop. What do we got here? Jack nine of clubs against the big blind. We're gonna go small. Boom. 
Am I in the right table? Yeah. Okay. Shit, where the fuck? Okay, that's a big card. So, this is a spot where we can now overbet. This is a similar situation to the one we just faced. Dynamic board, right? So we put the heat on him. If he just has an ace or just a queen, he's like in a tough spot. It was a big turn card for us. Tublovsky. Where was my hand history? Oh, too much going on. All right. Maybe I should just take a picture of it. Yeah, I'll take a picture of it. Take a picture of the screen. Was this the one? No, that was the wrong hand. Ace four hand. Take a picture of the screen, Daniel. You can do it later. That's an easier way to do it than write down all the frickin' beats. Yeah, duh. Screenshot. Okay. Seven left in the big free roll. Over here in the free roll, I limp called with queen six of diamonds against the big blind chip leader. He raised. I'm like, okay, cool. I have a flush now. He's betting big. Call. Check. Brian Kaufman, ace on the river. I'm going to check raise. He's got to bet this ace if he's bluffing. Ah, he gave up. We had nothing. Whatever. Bum, 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 bum. Nine, ten of diamonds. Okay. I want to win this free roll already so that we can just focus on one table. I don't like this two table and stuff. 2.2 2 now because Pascal was a little shorter. Volios. Down to 65 bigs. Yours truly is balling. Gonna go with a small 27% C bet. Boom, 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 boom. Take it down. Take it down. Boom, do, 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 Final table action. Bum, 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 bum. Too many things going on. Business. I got house stuff. I got this stuff. I got that stuff. What am I doing here? I'm raising. I don't know. Queen 10. Whatever. What are you, you going to do? Raising the final table. Raisy daisy on this their final table thingy. Whatever. No gamble, no future. Do you and Amanda ever fight? You seem to get along so well. We really don't fight. We, huh? Hardly ever. Like, we don't really fight. Once in a blue moon. Like, compared to normal couples, we don't fight. We don't fight. She bicker. Bicker, yeah. She bickers every sentence she does is a bicker. Like, right now. Watch. She's going, no, I don't. You do. Did I hear it? Not yet. You bicker. I don't bicker. You bicker. That's what you'd say. You bicker. I'm, I'm a bitch. She just called me a bitch. She told me to fuck you three times and called me a bitch. Ooh. Oh, Nelly. In the old days. Psh. Well, I don't know. <laughs> One minute till break and then I got to pee. Hopefully food's on its way. Amanda's going to get it for us at the door. 
Okay, I think it's break time after this one. Jack Nine suited in the biggity biggity in the biggity blindy. Biggity biggity blind. Biggity biggity blind. Biggity 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 blind. Jack Nine suited in the blind. That's what we got. Hurry up, I gotta pee. Why you tank in this spot? Could three bet this one? Not gonna. Okay. Ace, ace, ten, two clubs. Gonna check. Change my mind. I was gonna check raise flop. Now we're just gonna check call. I'm gonna do something fun. No, I'm gonna check again. I keep changing my mind. What am I doing? I'm like, I just keep wanting to do something and then I don't. And then all of a sudden, I might check raise this turn. Might be a check raise turn, yeah. Or fucking fold, how about that? Wouldn't that be wild if I just fold? Actually, <laughs> look at this. We found the play. We found a different play. Spade came, did not hit. Break time. You guys are like, why'd you fold, bro? You had a full truck. Because Ace Ace King 10, bro. What am I trying to catch? You know what I'm saying, babe? comes in 12 minutes or 15 minutes, I'm asking you to go get it and give me this. Oh, well, I mean, from the door. Yeah. yeah. Go and get it. Oh. Oh, Ass. That's what you get. That's what you get for being out of line. People drinking at the pool right now. How much time I got? Four minutes? got a minute. Let's fix that second banner just for funsies. Table two, event banner two. What do I got as options? What's this? Event banner, what's that? Let's see. Nope, Russian cash, flip and go, it's not that. That's not a good banner. No, nope, not that one. What's this? No, nope, don't need that. Uh, 
That's no, that's no good. How about no banner? Let's see. Alright, let's see what that looks like. No banner. Close that for a second. Yeah, we'll just leave it like that, I think. Okay. Two minutes. Two minutes. Fourth in chips, yo. And I'm second in the fucking last longer with 18 people. How many left in the last longer? There were 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, 12 left. 12 of 18. Top three will get paid in the last longer. The way that I set it up. Okay, let's take the banner down. Command L. <laughs> Resume over here. Le final, le table final. say dans le free roll. C'est ça. And it's avec toi. All right. Don't the big blind. Seven remaining. Put it all in. I don't care. It's fine. Do what you do. How much we plan for here? Seven left. Look at that. Big prize money. Big, big prize money. Whatever. It's fun. Still fun, you know. It's free. It's a free roll. Might as well take it. It's free. Still on break at the 5K6 max. Nice prize pool building over there, eh? Oh, yeah. We got the uh, first place. Looks like 323000 right now. And still plenty of time for more entries to rebuys, new players, all the things. 100%. He lives in Vancouver now? No, I don't live in Vancouver. I am here just to play these. And then we go back to our home in Las Vegas, Nevada. Fold. Andy Gabs, if you sent me an uncut sheet of cards, would you sign them? Send them back from the man cave. A man I can sign to. Yeah. Yeah. Ask uh, on Twitter, at DN Assistant. Or at X, whatever the fuck you call it nowadays. Limpity dimpity. Limping is pimping. From the small blizzind. Queen high rates to be the best hand. I will try it one time for one dollar. One dollar, one dollar, one dollar, one dollar with the queen high. One dollar with the queen high. One dollar, one dollar, one dollar. Pascal Hartman, do you have a king or a seven? You do not. Sold to Dean Eggs in the small blind. We'll take it. How is the average stack still 58 bigs? It's too much play. Way too much play. Like, just way, way too much play in the um, free roll, right? We've been playing that since 11. Two hours. Well, I guess it said, they said it would take about three hours. Lay this one down. Why the fuck did you lay that down? Dinex, why the fuck did you lay that? How the fuck did you lay that down? A KGB rounders. If you don't know, you don't know, honky. See, I went honky. If you don't know, then you don't know, honky. What's our stack look like? 190k. 158 bigs. Right now says. 53 paid. 
top five stack in the room. We're going to go ahead on this featured table and raise it up with the King Jack. Pretty. I love the look of the final tables. So pretty with the rail and the WSOP poker and and we have the king and the jack. I'm gonna bet. Bet call all the way. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, he's just gonna fold a lot there. Easy peasy, easy game. Okay, let's do it again. Crazy daisy under the gunsy kingsy ninesy suitsy. Mm -hmm. Folding over there. I'm really excited to get this one over with so I can just focus solely on the 5k 6 max. I'm like, I know a lot of people, two table, three table, but for me, when I'm streaming, I'm trying to chat, I'm trying to entertain, be fun. It's difficult to do that when I'm multi-tabling as well. And then you got food coming, you know, all the things. Nothing doing in the other tournament. I'll, I'll flip back and forth, as you can see, just waiting. We got a small blind limp. We're going to do it. Crazy daisy, big little offsuit combos is a thing. It's a thing, ladies and gentlemen. It is a thing. And there's the queen. And here comes the check back trap back, queen nine four. Check back track back. Turn two thirds barrel. Boom. Oh, not barrel, but bet. Boom, boom. Oh, he's betting about half. Call. Six of spades connects with the flushes. He could have a flush. He could have two pair. I don't care. He went over folding. If he bets, we just go click call faster than he bets. Whatever. You have a queen. You beat me, you beat me. C'est la vie. Hmm? Oh, he's small betting, so we win for sure. Oh, ho, ho, ho. he hit the three deuces. Wow. Good for you. What do you want for my life? Take it. You know? It is what it is. Let's go back to the task at hand over there. What are you going to do? You know, the guy has a fucking set of deuces. Take my money. King Queenie. It's going to be a limp and then stick limp jam. Limp raise, actually. Just raise. Boom, boom. As I said, limp raise. If you have it, you have it. Whatever. What do I have? What do I have? I would add a queen. Give me my money. <laughs> 41 big blinds puts us five out of seven. Say thank you to the gentleman. But um bum bum bum. Yo, how's life, Dan? It's good, Shane Quayer. Gambit, Bambit. Yes, we have considered both those things. We're working on it. Working on it. Some people are saying we'd be good parents, babe. That's what they said, yeah. Why is 10-7 off one of your favorite hands? Because I've been very lucky with it in my life. When I used to play Limit Hold'em 10-20 as a teenager, I seemed to always win with that. And I called Ace Queen, we called that 2.7. I made up the name. And why was it called 2.7? Because I felt like I lost 2.7 million with that hand <laughs> playing 10-20. Vancouver, British Columbia. Oh, okay. Hello. Yes? What, what, what is the question? No, if you can just leave it at the front desk, they'll bring it up to me. You just... Yeah, you can just leave it at the front desk and tell them the room number or whatever, and they'll bring it up. Thank you. Bye. Uber guy. That's the first. They've never called before. 
Pam 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 pam. Pam 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 pam. What you're looking at right now on the screen is the final table of the free roll event that we played over here. We are playing the 5K 6 max. Going to make a small raise because of Pascal's shove stack. We do smaller raises when the, if he had if they both had 100 big big blinds, I'd come in for 2.5. But because Pascal is uh, on the shorter side. We will come with a shorter raise and save 0.3 of a big blind as we fold. The 10-5 suited. Dans le bouton. Oh, ouais, un flush draw. We would have had. Salut, Daniel. David Flavio Aziz. Same situation here with the 8-6 suited. Hey, babe. Door. Okay, well, either way. No, I don't care. I know he's here anyway. He just called. Over here, we're gonna raise, cause why not? Oh, your food is here? Congrats. She ordered room service, I went with chickpea. We order the same thing every day, except you ordered chickpea. Place. I love this chickpea place. We're gonna go the small bet here on the 6-6 six, six deuce against the eight big blind stack. He's folding, take it down, boom, would've hit a jack. Well, he's, he just dropped it off. Whatever. Yeah, there, call, answer that. They're bringing it. Let's win this. Let's finish this freaking free roll thingy. I want to be all focused. 5K6 max. Tough cookies. Way too deep. Come in for a 2.2. You order the same sandwich again? I'm going to check call this flop. Could actually do a couple other things too. Could you? No. Check call. Check call. Check call. Yep. Ognian Dimov called my end of the gun race from the button. And now he will see bet sometimes. Sometimes with nothing. Sometimes with ace. It is the same Amanda off the big game. It is that one. You are right, Clint Vincent. All right. He checked back flop. I'm going to go with another check call on turn this time. 10 jack. I think he bets on the flop. Now we're going to go for value. Really thin value. If he raises, we will call. All right, he folded. He had nada. None of that, buddy. He couldn't even call one freaking chip. One freaking chip the guy couldn't call. Hey, yo, one chip. Over here, we're going to gamble. Because why not? It's fun. Just go all in. Whatever. King Jack suited. What do you got? My money's got 9-10 suited. Okay, let's see. There's Jack. I think he's pretty dead. Oh, he's got spades now. Okay, we win that one. 
Over here, we've got a raise and a three bet. We have ace, jack, and the big. Wow, good four bet this one. But I'm going to fold the ace, jack here. I'm gonna fold this ace, jack. Off suit, ooh, what a whiffed bad. Whiffed bad. Six remain over here in the final table of the prestigious WSOP Continental Free Roll. Did you use that money I put on the table for your guy? Oh, I must have put it back on the table then. Oh, you have it. Okay. Let's play. Let's play over here. A little loosey-goosey, gamble-schmamble, why not? Play some pots. A little of this, a little of that. One, two, three, we're third in chips. Okay, there's the ace. We're going to bet small again. Boom, 27%. Bet. Bet. Top pair, top pair, pair of aces over here at the final table. He has called. Going to check back. Little Trzapski. Deuce is a good card for us in case he had 5-6. But if he has a 6 ace 5 he still beats us. Either way. Who's the best poker player of all time and why? Asks Matthew Rivick. I think that's Phil Ivey. I'm going to call this bet. See what he's got. 8-7? That's no good. I have an ace. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think over there? Hey, ooh, ooh, ship it. Ship it. Come on. What are you talking about? 7-8, bro. All right, ace deuce. Fold that one. Do you think Alan Kessler is the best poker player of all time? I'm going with Phil Ivey. She goes with my, what Amanda says Alan Kessler, I say Phil Ivey. I think it's close. We should put up a poll. Is that the door? I thought I heard a knock. You heard a knock? I could be wrong. No, why did you say a knock? No. I thought I heard a knock. I'm sorry. What do you want me to tell you? Oh, you jump up, like you need to get up. I don't know. Because then they leave and they don't take their tip. They're too kind. Jack three suited. Okay, buddy. I'll call a little small little raise with you. Got the highest pair on the board there. Dun, 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 40% pot. Pot. Full pot. Full pot with the top, top, top pair. Full pot with the top, top pair, pair. Full pot. Full pot. Full pot with a top, top, pair, pair. What's he gonna do if he check raises me? I'm just fucked, right? Do, 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 do. Ba -da -bum -bum -bum. If he check raises, he can't be bluffing. Nope. Okay, we win. Let's get these blinds up over here. Come on, this thing's taking forever. Daniel looking younger than 20 years ago. Agreed. It's the glow up, my wife calls it. Phone, babe. He's probably outside the door, I bet. Got the do not disturb on or something. Pair of jacks. I'm gonna flat squeeze. Under the gun raise. Pretty deep stacked. There's a squeezer. We can do some damage. That's so weird. I just, what, because the privacy was off? Yeah. yeah, so you just call. You're like, oh, we want privacy. Don't knock on the door, but just call. All right, we are going to go for... We got blockers to the King Jack. Thanks, honey. He was still standing there. Yeah. So when we call an under-the-gun raise, we have a lot of hands that just smash this flop. So with the jacks, we're going to see bet. And in a lot of cases, we would have been barreling. 
blocking King Jack. Okay, let's go for 2.2 .2 over here. Two tabling. Eating the food. Where'd they put the hummus? No, oh, it's just small hummus. I wonder if he gave me pita for the hummus. He probably didn't. Okay. Over here, we got two fives. I'll just fold. That's it today. Here we go. Salad style with that chick steak thing. Looking good. Hey, six of hearts. We'll take flop. We'll continue on this board with the nut flush draw. Oh my gosh, so good. How do they do this? That's big, huh? All right. I got the nuts. How about you? I got the nuts. How about you? What do you got? Not the nuts. Because I have the nuts. Hmm. 4.3. Slow play. Expect him to value bet. King or better. Fold a lot of stuff if I check raise. So he just checks. What did he have? 10 high. All right. That works too. Like, obviously, if we check raise turn, he was not going to continue betting. So we pick up the maximum. Folding the 6 3, gonna get a fork over here. Oh, wow. This is yummy. This time we went with the salad underneath instead of the the rice. Hmm. This is excellent. Might as well taste our tiny hummus. Hummus. It's just 13 bigs? Damn. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah. Unfortunate. Yep. Unfortunate, but can't continue on that one. I, sh I said I, I ordered a pita. Mmm. Hummus is tasty, but it needs pita bread. Ooh, it's spicy. Damn. Mmm. Mmm going on over here okay hmm good flop for the big blind gonna lead 40% middle pair backdoor hearts bad turn card over here we're gonna raise 2.2 with the tens this is a check fold oh there's a seven huh Hmm. Do we bluff? Do we need to? I don't know. Not sure. Over here, we're just going to make a C bet with the tens. Over here. Small bet. Fold. Okay, over here we were called on the flop on ace a3 rainbow, even though it's small. Still worried about an ace. It could be an eight or a three, which is okay with us. There's a king. Not too worried about king highs. I think a lot of king highs fold the flop. So now it's really an eight, a three, very small bet. I'm gonna call and see what he's got. Eight, okay. Over here. Gonna three bet, get it in. Mm. 
over here against the limp. Gonna take a flop. It's a good one. Top pair. Were you with Amanda during the big game? Yep. Then we we were back together. We were together back then too. Then we broke for a while, and, you know. All right. Got a call. What does he got? Ace Jack. Cool. We need tank for that. And the fucking twenty five hundred free roll. Who cares, bro? There. That's what you get. Of course, I win all these. Over here, we're gonna check. Over here, does he hit? Does he hit? Does he hit? Nope, we win. Bye bye. Bye bye to the dark line. Over here, when check, check, turn on the fourth club board. Check. What do you have? 10 8, 10 9. Ha 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 My hand's better than yours. Take it. Small pot. Five remaining now in the free roll. We'll take flop, multi-way. All done here. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Dip a little of the chick steak into the hummus. Too bad this continental deal. Look at that. Five left. Look at that. Too bad that wasn't for a bracelet. These guys are grinding in the in the twenty in the free roll. I'm surprised. Yummy, yummy. Had two beers last night. Well, yeah, about two. I had a pale ale. It was like, meh. Switched to lager. I forgot I like lagers better. I forgot. I thought I liked pale ales, but I like lager. What are you doing over here? Defending. Check folding. Against the shorty. Mark Doja. Doja is a soldier coming at you from the button. Got backdoor stuff too. Could get funky if we're deeper, but versus the short stack, we'll just let him have it. Yeah, one big. And I'll just fold. Fine. Take it. Probably dead. I'm almost for sure it's supposed to peel against one. All right, we'll raise them now. Put the heat on Watson over there. We are? Hmm. Too bad. I ordered pita bread. I'm sure I did. Maybe I didn't click it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's go with 2.2.
Hmm. It's a decent flop. 40% is bet. Take it down. Ooh. Would have turned a flush draw. Against 2.2, uh, we will defend 8.7. This is going to be just a check and fold. Jack suited over here. Go ahead, min raise. Hmm. I've been re raised. I don't feel like folding. Let's go. Call. And come all this way. We'll clean Jack to fold. Half pot? Okay. I don't know. You win. Fuck. Ace. Bad turn. Hmm? Hmm. I think he's going to bluff me out. Nice bluff. Diamonds got there too. How about a pair of kings over here for old Dean eggs on the button? Um, it'll be a call. What do you got? Ace queen. All right. Fair hand. Fair hand. Fair hand to have. 86.5%, 93.18%, one card to fade. Want to be a club. It's a club. Oh, no. It's a, whatever. We win. Very nice. Things are going well today, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we're doing quite well. Still cruising, top four stack. <clears throat> Food's almost done. Point two. Take it down. Hmm. This was tasty, maybe a little less filling. Salad versus rice. Let's see over here. I'm gonna call it. We're gonna limp jam again. Fuck it. Nine, ten spades. Not this time. Okay. Let's bet the gut shop. Two overs in a gut shot. Try to get Jack Deuce out. Right? That's the goal. Get Jack Deuce to fold. He's raising. All right, buddy. Take it. Ah. What? I had nothing. 10 high.
Now we're getting to the nitty-gritty. I mean, 32 big blind average. Let's go. Let's get this game out of the muck. In the 5K6 max, a big slow hand is playing. Look, Ma, we did it. Hmm? As always, like a pro. Finish the food on the table. Mother always said. Mama always said. Eat what's on the plate. Right? That was good. But I think the rice is so good. Or at least if I should have had pita or something. You know? A little extra oomph. What do we got here? Nothing? Mm. All right. Let's get situated. Go back to this table. What do we got over here? Ace five on the button. Pascal, as you can see, is very short. We'll absolutely play against him. Four. His remaining stack. What's up, Reef? Reef Kugler? I'm the G, you say, huh? Reef Kugler with a shutout. Kugler? Kugler? I don't know how you like. Alrighty. We're coming with small again with the ace five high. I don't know to play this. How to play this? I don't know. I don't know how play. He check raised? Oh, fine. Take it. You win. Shout out Reef Kugler. Kugler, 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 Reef, Reef Kugler. I would say Kugler. But you, you know, you correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, okay. What's going on over here at the final table? Ace Queen against Ace King. Big double for the Ace King over there. Joe Exotic, 69. Boom, boom. What are we in last now? With 22 bigs? Oh my God. We are in fifth. What are we guaranteed? $900? 900 bucks for this free roll. Well, they said this one would take about three hours to finish. It's coming up on two hour, 39 minutes. Check out here. We're going to fold. Queen 8 offsuit. Go back to the look of this final table. 7-5 offsuit. Offsuit. Huh? Lucky sevens. One chip bet. Maybe he floats. Maybe he does some damage. Maybe try some things. Oh wow! <laughs> if he bets, I just call. I'm not even gonna bet. What the fuck's the point? I'll bet. Quarter pot. He has ace high. Yeah, we get a little, little extra value from the ace high. Why not? The ogly. Are you tired to talk so much after streams? Yes. I get tired after a while, but... Oh, 
I'll fold this one. Regardless. <clears throat> Tonio Tonios, are you betting on sports, NBA or NHL? I used to bet both, actually, but I used to bet hockey a lot, and I just sort of, it's just a lot of work. So I just do it for fun here and there, but I'm not really, I don't bet much. I do my fantasy hockey league, which is way more fun to me than betting. It's the most fun thing ever. Thank you, Mason Lee. I love you, too. Maybe. I don't know you, but imagine I would love you. You seem like a nice guy, right, Mason? All right, let's go back to the 5K6 max. We got a Jack-9 in the big against the Min Rays. That's going to be a defend all day, twice on Sunday. There's a, a top pair situation. Got a top pair situation brewing. Gonna be a call. Check. Over here at the final, we're raising the Jack 8 suited. And we got jammed on, so we're folding that one. Betting big again, huh? Okay, I don't love the situation, but I'm not folding the situation. Over here, we got an ace queen. Well, that's a really terrible, terrible card, an ace on the river. Because we did have ace, queen, king, queen, stuff. And then he just got there, right? So we block eight, nine, and queen, nine. Does he have it? Fuck, he has jack, queen. Okay, that's fine, too. I guess the ace saved us. The ace helped us, kind of. Over here, we got top two pairs. We're going to go small. And he just folds. Ace is full of queens. Ooh, too much hand. Overkill. This might be just a ship it in their face kind of thing. Yeah, why not? Let's just do it. It's the worst thing that happens, you know? I have an ace. Whatever. 26 bigs. No gamble, no future. All right, take it. Ace on the flop. What is the average stack now in this thing? 28 bigs. Okay. Pretty even Steven for the five of us. I'm going to lay this one down. You lay down monster. Six five suit. Race. I'm not broken. I just break into. <laughs> you ready, my dude? Uh, who sings this one? I like this one. Hold on. Swift. This is the one. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, Emmanuel Portelli. little bigger size. We got backdoor three straight, three flush. A lot of current turn cards we'll just go bombs with. Bombs a bombs a. If he raises, we're just done. <laughs> Obviously, we got six high. And he did raise. Boo. Lamo. Ah! I would have made a flush, bro. Why'd you do that to me, Joe Exotic? That was mean. Bogdan, see, I'm not live vlogging this. We're doing streams today. Um, vlog will be back for Bahamas. We will be doing the vlog. My man Daniel looking sexy. What's up? How we doing, you know? We're doing okay here. This looks, it used to be cut, you know? Ripped, ripped. Now we're more rounded, I guess. Currently weighing in at about 165. 165 pounds. Uh, no. Let's go back to this action right here. 
Let's do a little 2.2. We see Pascal is down to just two big blinds. Happily play an ace-10 against him. All right, we got Pascal all in. Over here, we're going to defend the 8-7 of hearts. And we're going to whiff there. Check. Okay, so I'm heads up against the big blind hand. We're going to go ahead and bet him out. I'm going to bet him out. It's a dry side pot, so we're pretty dry. Um, but we're ready to do fine against Pascal. Oh, he's check raising? All right, never mind. King Jack, yeah, makes sense. It's Ace 8. I would have beat Ace 8. Over here, we're just going to do a ship, because fuck it. Winner. A couple of jacks. We're getting some, some tickets here. No. Uh, uh, uh. Opening up on a 5-9 suited. Here we got three jacks, and we're up against the dealer. Well, we've been checking a lot of flops to him, so we're going to continue to do that. Especially with the hand this big. There's some queen 10, 9, 10. There's a lot of a lot of hands he can represent on this board. Little does he know that I'm I come prepared with all of it. Okay, he might bomb this turn with a lot of like two diamond. If he had like two diamonds on this flop, like queen nine of diamonds. King nine of diamonds, he's going to bet this turn. Maybe for overbet or big or whatever. Either way, we like the situation. Check on over. Do as you please, Ognyan, Dimov. He checked, huh? He checked, huh? Two-thirds bet. Hopefully he has an eight. I don't think he does, but I think he has nothing. Yeah, he has nothing. Oh, well. I mean, we had all the jacks. So we'd much rather have three fives there because then it's more likely he's flopped the jack and we got him dead. But beggars can't be choosers. Doing quite well in this here tournament. We're going to defend the seven line of clubs. It's going to be a check. This is not a bad check raise hand, but he's too short. He's the problem. Thank you, Richard Cochran. Thank you, Richard Cochran. Much appreciated. Okay, what is he betting? Small? Actually, I can check raise. Boom, we're going to do it. What do I got here? An eight. Obviously, if he does anything, we're done. Oh, that's a not a great card. Gonna give up. We took our stab. A lot of turn cards are fun to barrel, right? Four of clubs, five, six of clubs, a club, a pair, anything. All right, you win. I was only kidding. My man, I was only kidding. Did you take the money? Bluff gone wrong. Up over here, we had a fun little spot. Check called the flop from the big blind. We led minimum on the turn. And the worst card in the deck comes the ace. So cannot play there. Now we got jacks. Yeah, a lot of hands. We've been doing this to him. This is like the third time. Maybe he has a hand eventually. Nope. Three jacks. What the fuck? What a waste. Yeah, why do I look? Ace nine suited. All right, that's enough. This is enough to open and call off. Joe Exotic wants to go all in. I'm going to call. If you want to go all in, I'm going to call. We plan five-handed. I got a suited ace with some size. We got deuces over here. Can take flop. Over here, we are going to call it off, as I said. What does he have? Ace jack. Okay, whatever. It's fine. Okay, four. Chop it up. Deuce. 
We need a deuce four or nine. Let's see. That could be a four. No, it can't be because I think it's uh, on board. Was it ten? It's a nine. What the fuck am I thinking? Could have been a nine too. Yeah, never mind. All right, we're out of that one. Good riddance. Nine hundred bucks. Bam, 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 bam. Fifth place. Okay. Kind of glad we're done with that. Of all the tournaments to win, it's not. That's not the one we want to win. Right. Most deaf. What did I do to this fucking sand? I butchered this spot, didn't I? By not betting the flop. Oh! Hello. <laughs> Just check, check, check. Chick, chick, chick. You trip me, you make full house. Now let's hope nobody was slow playing ace queen or ace ace. Uh, quads. I don't know. Somebody bet I'm gonna raise, obviously. Seems like about enough. Infinity Cat might have like King Queen. Snapped with like a Queen. I do, I'm not worried about full houses from Infinity Cat to just call the two and a half. I think if he had value, he's just going to raise that player, not hope that I'm calling. So like if he jams here, we're calling fast. Right? You get what I'm saying? So if he bets forever, he's going to just raise. He's not going to call hoping to pick up 2.7 for me with any full house. So, his range is capped there, right? He can have, at most, an ace. It's an important concept to know when players are capped. So, by the situation, because of the way infinity cap play, check flop, check turn, calls river in a spot where I check twice, it doesn't look like I'm ever going to have anything, right? So, it's like you're not going to, ooh, I'm going to just call and, and wait for the button to raise. So when he just calls, we know, we know the best, he can't have a flush either, he probably raises those. The best he could have was three aces. That's it. That means it's a capped range, right? So the range is capped at three aces. There's other hands that are better that he cannot have. Capped. So this is the range of hands he could have. These top ones, not available to him. Cannot have. Hmm. Now let's focus in. What do we got going on over here? Let's close out the free roll. What's going on in these tournaments? What's tomorrow? Tomorrow? Probably Russian cash tomorrow. Where is Rocky right now? Rocky's right here. He's chilling over at Patty's place. See the picture? She just sends me pictures sometimes of how they're doing. There he is in the grass. That's Rocky. Get one of Apollo too. Eating it up. Yeah. They're having fun. They got play, play date friends. Sniffing around. You know. So tomorrow, I believe, will be just a Russian cash day. Do I stream that? Or just play that? Tomorrow's a Wednesday, right? That's what they wanted. Let me check. Let's check. Let's check. Let's check my notes. Dean Egg schedule. Tomorrow. Nine six. Nine eight. I think we're off Wednesday and Friday from tournaments. Yeah. 
800 ultra deep stack and then what is this 10 secret bounty plo that's fun on sunday and then we got millie maker day two and then finally the short deck championship so not a ton of tournaments left not a whole lot of tournaments you know what let's focus in on this one then and just win Late Ridge for another hour for the peeps. We are not worried about that because we're going all the way. Bullet one for the people. What's the prop bet looking like? Prop bet side bet. Ryan Reese busted. Remaining nine out of 18 remain in the prop bet that we did. Top three will make the money. Kind of a cool concept. Think about it. What other... Oh, break time. How about that? That's a cool concept too. A break. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. 
Get the blankie up. Check business stuff. Yeah, I think tomorrow is just Russian cash. So maybe we'll play a couple hours of PLO Russian cash because it's double D-Negs day, as I showed you on the thing there. Gives people a chance to win some money. Put a couple hours work in, if you will. Don't know if we'll stream it. We'll decide. I feel like, I don't know, more of a tourney streamer rather than cash, but... Nine four off suit. Nope. Lie with the lights on. So the new house. New house. All right. I'll give you a little info about my new house that we are moving into soon. Um, this guy in May, he listed the house for four point eight million dollars. Okay. Apparently his mom is not, not doing so hot, 92 years old, and they bought the house for those two, and he needs to get out of it. Because all of a sudden, from 4.8, he was listening to it at 3.8. All the, you know, a few months later, early August. So we saw 3.8. I'm like, wow, if you look at the comparing houses around that neighborhood, they're like seven, eight million. And I feel like the house itself is going for 3.8, but if you would have had that house in a different neighborhood that's more, you know, like the ridges or the summit in Las Vegas, that house is a seven, eight million dollar home easy, right? Because the location, location, location. However, we love the location too because Amanda likes being on the water. Yes, it's a little further drive to the, the casino, to the strip, about 35, 40 minutes versus 15, 20, which is what it is. It's not that big a deal um, for what we get. So what I did, because I'm not a real big finagler guy. You know, I'm not like one of those people that haggle over prices and stuff. So... My, I had my, you know, Christian handle it. He offered 3.6. You know, whatever. The guy came back 3.75. I could have went, oh, no, 3.7125. I just said, okay. I don't, that's it. That's good. We made an offer. You made a counter. Good enough. I don't need to go, you know, I don't need to rake the guy over the coals, especially with the situation that he has going on. And listen, I think the house is still a steal anyway. So we paid that. The furniture, Amanda loves it. She loves the furniture in that house. So what we're going to do so we're going to keep it. They, the, the housing company said for 110000 we can keep the furniture. I'm like, wow, the furniture is great. So all told, it'll be three point eight six. Um, we're paying cash money. Cash, no mortgage. Just pay the damn thing. Right? Tight is right. It. We're going to just pay the damn thing in cash. And then um, we're going to make a couple adjustments to furniture, like probably get a new bed. It is what it is. Then, in addition to all this, that's this is when the fun starts because we got to add some stuff. We got to have closets. She wants to build up closets. I like my own closet because I like to keep it organized and clean. She's a woman, so they do. They have. It's hard for me to clean her stuff. I don't know where the underwear goes with this, with the that. I can't. I can't keep up. There's weird women clothes. Men, simple. Tank top, t-shirt, pants. Got it. So we're gonna have a. We have to build out the closets. Second thing we're gonna do is. Got to set up the situation for the doggy door. Right now, they have a really good sitch with like a poop room, and then they got a front courtyard. What we're going to do is outside the back, I'm going to create like an automatic doggy door that senses when they're there, like a motion sensor doggy door. And I want to create like, we're going to put it off to the right, and I'm going to make a huge like dog house kind of thing with nice green grass, a little area they can maybe lay in some sun. I'm going to get like a fire hydrant. I'm going to get like bushes and things like that, put some plants in there so they can like smell things and pee and poop. So that's the idea. That's their own little dog house they're going to have, right? 
So hopefully they stay away from the furniture in the backyard and don't hike their legs on that. They like to hike, okay? So that's doggies covered. Next up, the piste de la résistance. In the backyard, it's a big backyard. The house is 7,000 square feet. A lot of it's not developed yet. In the backyard, I'm going to build a 1,000 square foot gym. For those that don't know what that looks like, the gym that I have now in, in one of the rooms in my house is 260. So four times bigger than that, which means we'll have my FT2 trainer, which has all the cables and Smith, Smith bar and all that stuff. It's a fantastic machine on its own. You don't even need anything else other than that. Then I've got my treadmill. I've got stair step. We've, we've got a elliptical and I've got a rower. That's what I have now. I'm going to add, and she has a tempo machine, which she hasn't used yet, but she's going to. Um, so then we're going to add to that a couple machines that I like. I'm going to get a, first of all, I'm going to get a pec deck. For those that don't know, a pec deck is where, you know, you pull like this and it also works as a rear delt. If you sit this way, you go like this, it's good for rear delts, right? So we're gonna add that machine. In addition, I'm gonna get a combo press, chest press, chest press machine that also works as a shoulder. So depending on your angle, right? So if you're, you're like here, you're gonna chest press. And then if you're here, it's, oh, sorry, you're gonna shoulder press. And then if you're here, it's gonna be a chest press. So those two machines, Probably also going to add a leg press machine because I actually like leg press. Deadlifts and squats, as you get older or whatever, like you can screw up your back, like if you do them wrong or whatever. Just a lot of stress. I always feel a little something, something when I do that. So, going to probably just get a leg press machine for that. Let's see, we got an offsuit ace. I'm going to. Probably what am I? If I'm gonna fold to this jam because Ace Two Soft just doesn't do very well against the limp jam range. Because if he has an Ace, it's gonna be a better Ace. If he has a pocket pair, it's probably better than Deuces. And we're only hoping he like he has King Queen King Jack. So I did the raise and I'm gonna fold to the jam. Okay, whatever. King would have got there too. So we don't beat any hands. It is what it is. Okay. So moving on the house stuff. So yeah, what else are we gonna have in the gym? We're gonna have a full weight rack, obviously, of free weights. I've got a hex bar already, which I really like. I like using a hex bar for shrugs, for shrugs, and then actually for back rows, kind of. Um, there's also a machine that they have here that I absolutely love. It is a pull-down machine where, but it comes, and it sort of comes like circular. So instead of like the, the machine coming down like this, it actually kind of circles and it really hits the, the lats. I like that machine a lot. That was this thing. All right, so what else are we gonna get? We'll get some like, boxes for box jumps, some uh, BOSU balls or whatever for balancing and different things, like a little, kind of a little yogi area with some mats. I'm not gonna put a bathroom in there because no need. Okay, lastly, well not lastly, but yeah. In addition to that, we're gonna build a casita with a bathroom and a bedroom and all that kind of stuff outside the back. Price-wise, the gym will cost about 150 and the casita, I'm hoping about the same-ish. So we're going to put about, let's say, 400000 more into the house. The thing with that is, is uh, with per building permits and, you know, getting, that can take a bit. Because putting the buildings up shouldn't take that, putting the, the gym up shouldn't take that long in itself. What else we got to do? I think that's the gist of it. We got to get another little guard for the stairs. We're going to need to get a doggy guard because these stairs are a little more dangerous than the ones we have at home anyway. And then we don't want them on stairs anyway, but like they're slippery and they go like this and this and there's holes they'll fall through. Like, so we got to block off that area. What else needs to be done? I'm going to become a member at the private course there called South Shore. So when will we move in? That's a good question because... Um, Oh, geez, people mad I'm paying 3.8 million for a Toronto house. There's, there's, I could have spent more, guys. It's like there's bigger houses. Um, so I'm going to become a member at South Shore, which will be nice. The golf course. We'll get back into golf. I have not been golfing. Oh, the other thing we're going to build. I, I'm dead serious. I'm going to build a little basketball court in the backyard too because I told you it's a big yard. And I'm going to put like a little circle, kind of like a half court thing, and I'm going to put the GG logo right here, like the GG logo. It's going to be on the floor there because we love GG and it's a cool logo and I think it's appropriate. It just works. Other thing we're going to do is there's like a wine room 
like a wine cellar, but it's not functional. They don't actually have it cooled. So I'm just going to get a chiller for that room. Keep it at, I don't know, 60, 60 degrees or something like that. And then I'll put some wine in there. That'd be nice. It'll be good for... Oh, upstairs too. Probably going to put a pool table. Because the, the way that this house works is the second floor is like the entertaining floor, which is a little strange for me. I usually, that's like main floor basement. Then we've going to... Maybe I'll get a poker table too for outdoors, like in the backyard there. The house also has a little seating area and a TV there, a little couches and stuff like that. The bedrooms open up to the back, all the doors. It's it's really gorgeous. When I'm done with the house, we'll do a tour, vlog, the whole thing. But when are we going to move in? When are we going to move in? We are going to move in. I got to play the rest of September. Then I got a couple series in October. November is pretty free, I think. So I'm targeting November. But most important thing for me before we move in is make sure the doggies are set up. Once they're set up, we can wait on the gym. We can wait on some of the other things. But the doggy stuff must be priority number one. So we've been three bed. Why the big blind? Ramiro Patron. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, relatively small three bed. Six max, we're never folding this hand. So the, the play is just a call. And now we're just in. We have a backdoor flush draw. We got top top. Last time we had this top top situation. It didn't work out. The guy had aces, but. Now it's interesting. There's a lot of ways in which we could play this. He's checking. I think betting makes sense. If we bet, we have to call the check raise jam, right? If I bet, I have to call off. So I'm, I'm willing to do that with this hand. Maybe he has jack-10, king-jack. If he has like ace-high flush draw, he might check-raise. Ace-nine of hearts or something like that. King-nine king, king nine of hearts. King-queen of hearts. He did check-raise. All right, I'm just going to call. Nah, fuck it. Just put it in. What am I just going to call? And he's got kings. Aces. Wow, how does that happen every time I have ace-jack suited? Like, it's wild, isn't it? The last, the last tournament we played... Ace Jack suited, flop comes Jack clean, and I fucking the guy has fucking aces. How the hell? That's twice now. <laughs> it's cold blooded. Why didn't just like come nothing? Why do I gotta get cooler like that? That's what happened in the flip too. Oh, that was tilting. We're average now in chips. Fuck me, man. What in the world, though, bro? It's cold blooded. Hmm. Cold blooded. Yeah, no, now all of a sudden we're looking over at the rebuy desk and saying we might have to do that if we need be, if need be. Damn. Man, it's cold blooded. Jack's Jack high last time. Jack seven three. This time Jack seven eight. Three bed pot in position. We don't even have the five outs. He doesn't have kings or queens. He's just got aces. That's annoying. That's all right. We had some luck with the queens against kings earlier. We just gave that back. Kaiser workout machines? Let me look into that. Kaiser, huh? Let's see, Kaiser. Somebody said Kaiser workout machines. Let me look at them. Kaiser. What's well, a Canadian place? Is that right? Okay, I can check this one. It's a decent flop. Decent turn. These Kaisers don't look as nearly as good as you're saying. Hold on. Oh, that card just killed our kicker. Right? 
Nines and threes with a queen was pretty juicy. Now we've just got nines and threes with an ace. No betting. Just take it. Yeah, he had four high. Did not collect a bluff. I don't know. This Kaiser equipment, do you think it's that cool? It doesn't look that cool to me. Let's see. Really, bro? Looks kind of, no offense, but like, a little cheap. Let's see, leg press machine, I don't know. Squat Pro. Going to limp this one. Seated calf machine looks cool. I'm gonna check call this flop. Seated leg curl, okay, that one looks kind of cool, but like, I don't know, I don't love the look of this Kaiser equipment you're talking about. I'm gonna go ahead and bet one chip with three fives. Leg curl pro. Standing hip. Hip abductors. Okay, upper body. He's raising me? Check call. He could have a five of the worst kicker, right? 10 5, 9 5, 5 4, 5 deuce. If he has a straight, he just has a straight. 4 7, 7 9. Had the jack of spades, blocks a little bit of a bluff. Oh, fuck. This guy has me. Just know it. He's never over betting here as a bluff. Four seven seven nine. Check back flop. Check his stats here. Just really think he has me. Six million. I think my hand might be a little too good. I wish I had the jack of diamonds, not the jack of spades, but he just has me and I'm gonna fucking pay him off, right? Three's full. That was cute. I just know. Why do I fucking call when I know? So annoying. I just fucking knew. I knew. I knew. Three fives. It's a fucking miracle three. So now it's like a lot of the hand. I think I have to call. Egg, throw an egg. I have to throw an egg at him for that. Hmm. It actually makes the call makes me feel better because it's the check black flop raise turn in that spot was what it was. It wasn't a made hand. Damn. Definitely, no, I'm just, what the fuck? So yeah, his turn, I could have well, re-raised the turn. Seems silly. Yeah, you want to leave his bluffs in, right? <laughs> These stupid people in the East Jack. Daniel, you could have folded at the event, the top bear, the, the top bear, top kicker with the back door flush draw. You could have folded. Could have been stupid and just folded because the guy raised you. Duh. Duh. You could have folded. Oh, because he had aces, I could have folded. Yeah. You could have folded. You could have folded. Not that hand I couldn't fold. This five one, I really felt like I was beat. But I beat some value. That's the problem. 
beat 5, 10, 5, 9, 5, 4. Not a lot of 5s left. And then I beat, of course, all the bluffs that he can have. Okay, I'm going to look at this Kaiser equipment. I don't love the look. Like at all. What is that thing? Oh, I see. Lat pull the lat pull down machine looks shitty compared to the one I'm talking about. I don't like it. I'm gonna show you because I took a picture of it. The lat pull down machine I'm talking about. Okay, it looks like this from the side. And it like I said, it goes kind of wide and in. Much better. You could have folded. You five. He's playing a six max. They have to have aces because it's a six max. They only three bet with aces because they don't. Nobody plays aggressive in a six max five k. Top pros who has five million in earnings. He has to have aces. He's that be stupid because he's only got five point six million in earnings. He must be a dumb dumb, right? So he obviously has it. He only has. He never bluffs because he's a dumb dumb. What is wrong with you people? Come on, man. Yeah, I don't like this equipment. I'm looking at it. Ace Queen suited, this is enough for sure. We'll likely happily get it in, okay. What do you have? Jack 10? Okay. Fair fight. Oh, fucking problematic now. Okay, still two to one favorite. No diamond, no jack, no ten. Okay, it's black. Could be a ten. Let's see the side. Looks like six. Woohoo! There we go. Ace high winner back in action. And these machines are not combos. I really, like, no offense, whoever said Kaiser equipment, I hate it. It looks just awful. Like, I, like it looks like just really, maybe it isn't, but it just looks so cheap and shitty. Sorry. Just got to be honest. Not at all. Just, just being honest, bro. Military press. I appreciate the suggestion. I promise you. I looked at the equipment and I do not like it but I do appreciate the you know you, you throwing it out to me how are we doing in chips we're a little below average but we're in action light red for 40 more minutes last longer still going with seven remaining Top three will make the money. Not bad. We got 18 people for the last longer. Pretty good. Oh, what did I just do? Fuck. Close. Why would I do that? Now I got to fix the lobby again? Oh, no. It's good. Still works. Okay. What do we got? A new table? God, those two hands. Just so you know, so just so you understand, okay? When I play live, it's different because I can see the people. But when you play online, you kind of stick to GTO theory. That's why with the Jack-5, I don't want to be overfolding that spot. What does that mean, overfolding? It means you're just folding too big of your range, which allows people to just bluff you there way too much. So then you have to call a decent clip, right? The hand that I had is definitely near the top of my range. Pretty close, right? So... If I'm folding that, then I'm overfolding. I'm folding too many hands. And you don't want that. You don't want to be doing that against good players. Uh, live. Online? I'm sorry. On, like, online. Live, I can go with a read, you know, which can sway the decision. 
online, you kind of are left with just making good theoretical decisions, especially with players you don't have a lot of experience against that you know are just good. You have to give them credit for possibly having bluffs. Oh, what do I support now? That's the bad dog. Die. He's got him. Half to have aces. What else would he have? He three bet you before the flop at six handed. What do you think he's going to have other than aces? It's the only hand he could have. And you, I know you have an ace, but there's still three other ones, and he's got two of them. So what you don't even realize, too, is like, okay, the ace jack hand, that's like, I'm not even going to post that one because that's absurd. It's obviously a slam dunk call. Um, like, we beat value hands. Like, if he had king jack, he's going to just do the same thing. You know, so we beat value, we beat bluffs, and here's what's most important. Kings and queens, if he has those hands, we have five outs with backdoor spades against that, so we have equity. Like, you know what I mean? All right, got to defend one chip. That's going to be a check fold for me. You made my night with that stupid voice. Well, when you read a stupid comment, you got to read it in a stupid voice, I think. That's the rule. Question is, with the guy with the threes, he probably wouldn't have. He probably would check back because he's got showdown value. He wouldn't have turned it into a bluff. Top pair out of position. You're in position. The button is pos uh, OOP. You guys don't even know what OOP means. We're bluffing. I don't. I think he's gonna raise me here, or he's gonna fuck with me. If I know anything about this gentleman, he's going to fuck with me. He's gonna try to fuck with me. Okay, we might have the best hand now. If you had like a gut shot with a spade or something like that, we've got pair of sixes, ace, ten, nine. So what do we lose to that called in the flop? A nine. He check raises a nine sometimes. A six or a five. All right, I think we might win. Might win with the ace high. Hopefully he just has king high. All right, he does have king high. Sweet. With the king of spades. I was calling the river, by the way. So good check, Daniel. Not that you need to hear that. You know that. You need seated row machine. Uh, they have one here. I have... That's easy to do. Creating that seated row machine uh, is not hard. You just get a bench and you use one of the cables and you can recreate that with a uh, the right you know grip thing. All right. Let's get back in the game now. See who we got here after this hand. Poți să spun ceva în românește, te rog? Dacă vrei, dar nu știu dacă o să ved, pentru că am așa mult în chat acum. All right, that was, that was Romanian. Um, so Daniel Devore, as we know, 13.6 million in earnings. PDC Mayor, 2.9 million. D. Farmuculus, 760,000. Luna Kingback, 1.5 million. All right. 32 bigs. Oh, look, he raised with ace jack. Oh, what do you call with ace jack? What an idiot. The guy obviously had kings. He three bet before the flop. Why would you call with an ace and a jack? Bah, 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 bah. 
Buck, 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 buck. It's my uh, interpretation of internet chat. <laughs> I know. Thank you, Dragon Pony. I know you have to call it the Jack Five, but it sucks because I really didn't feel like he was bluffing there. But he was bluffing the turn. It just happened to hit a th random three. Like, that didn't improve anything, you know? The three. If the river was a straight card, flush card, like that, you know, you can make a case for me getting away, but like a three? Didn't change the board at all. He just happened to have three, three. Like, what the hell? Agreed, Poop. If you fold jack five there, that's bad. You're right. I'll agree with all those sentiments. I'll tell you what, though. The good news for me is my instincts, my feel, is really dialed in, which allows me to make some really good GTO exploits when I play live, and I'm looking forward to doing that when I go home. I'm going to play some live poker. Off of this stack, we are going to make it 6, 5.5. Six point one. Let's just go six. He's playing a lot of pots. Forty two percent. Although that's one hundred and fourteen hands. We're not folding queens on six five handed under any circumstances. No matter what happens behind us. He's thinking. He's gonna do something, right? Oh fuck, he folded. Okay, what do we got? Ah! Oh! <laughs> Top set again. Jeez. Alright. Please give me a shout out. Okay, is your name Royal Flush? Your shout out has been given. Okay, we're doing okay now. A little below the average. How much do you bench, deadlift, and squat? I don't go for numbers, right? Because that's like what young people do. I try. I don't go heavy. With bench, my one rep max was like 185 once. But now I can couldn't do that. Um, deadlift, I, I don't go heavy. I do like 135 and squat, probably like 140, 150. It's all about form and reps. I'm not trying to like be like, bro, bro, how much you bench, bro? How much you bench, bro? Yeah. It's about good form, reps, hypert hypertrophy. As you get older too, generally, uh, it's logical to make, uh, to change your workouts so that you're doing less like pure strength training like any three rep five rep stuff which is you know you get hurt and you move to more like 12 you know 10 to 15 reps per exercise because you get the burn you build the muscle you just do so a little more safely right i've done programs where you know like a uh, shortcut to shortcut to shred is a good one by jim stepani i did that a while back and uh, what he does is he like you're working out six days a week so like the first part of the week you might do like 16 to 20 reps then the second part of the week, you're doing like six to eight. And then, you know, it changes each week. Like, um, so you're getting a little bit of both to the point where you're doing some three to five rep stuff. But again, you're doing three to five reps on small little isolated muscles. You can really hurt yourself. I still like to test myself once in a while. Hey, Daniel, appreciate your content. Do you, one question on the Jack-5. Do you see any point in three-betting the turn? His range is around the board. He can have a lot of pairs, gut shots, a lot of action killers on the river. Yeah, no, I do. That's a fair... Uh, Elevari asked the question. That's fair. Yeah, you can have some three-bets there with the Jack-5. Absolutely. It is a little bit, you know, at that stack that's overplaying your hand because you're three-betting and getting it in, probably. And if you get it in, you're going to be behind a lot um, if he does play. So the question is... Are you looking A for equity denial? B looking to like not get a bad run out, but sacrificing, you know, him being able to bluff rivers. So it's a it's a close question. It's a fair question. 
I wonder. I'm going to look that one up then. Because you see, because you asked, I'm going to look that one up because that's another fun one. And what I'll do is I'll just take a picture of it. That's what I've been doing. Let's go. Where was that jack flag? Okay, what do I got here? Queen 8. Queen 8 will call. We'll check. Where was that jack flag? Or is it gone now? Oh, no, it's right here, right? Yeah, there it is, jack 5. I'm going to take a picture. Come on. I'm going to fold here. Take a picture. All right. Easier than writing it all down. And Tomos Baldasso, 1.6 million in earnings. 5.7 from Blas. 1.8 million in earnings. This is definitely a probably a jam. I'm just gonna fucking fold it though. That was a that's a theoretical mistake, by the way. Folding king succeeded. What was the flop? Hm, nothing. Might have been drawn dead. I think that's a mistake, but small doesn't matter much. Eleven percent V pip. It's only thirty four hands, but we're gonna respect it. <laughs> so late reg available for thirty more minutes. What would that stack be for those that do? stacks. I'm going to fold this one. Fourteen minutes. Next blind is two five five. So you'll get like ten bigs, I think. Yeah, you can late reg with ten big blinds. We've got thirty. Let's keep these. Would Brian Springman, would pre-GTO DNAs fold those trip fives? Gut says you were beat after all. No, I would never have folded those three fives before. More likely to fold them after doing theory than I would have been before. Before, I just would have fucking called and been like, oh, shit. What was that last hand just now? We're going to come in for 2.2. What was this last hand? Ace five of diamonds against ace queen. Okay, we, well we would have won. Um, seven eight suited. Under the gun, five handed. All right, I'll take the blinds, or defend from the big and pick it up with a c bet, or flop some monsters. PDC mayor says, "Nah, man, I'm coming. I'm doing some stuff. I'm gonna three bet you." Yeah, he does. Four point eight off twenty two. Do, 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 do. Let's see a flop, gentlemen. Okay, this is go time. We will be rebuying or we will be doubling. One of those two things is about to happen. So you could have ace jack, ace queen, ace ten, two tens, two jack. Not, not a lot of like. Well, let's go to open in a straight draw, small raise on the flop on a king nine six rainbow. Trying to put pressure on ace jack, ace ten, really, because we're not folding anyways. We got the straight draw, got the backdoor flush draw, got the pair draw. All right, that's so nice that he just folds. We would have got there, of course. Of course, I would have got there. Would you do TRT as you get older? No, I don't need. I'm not into that.
back in action. We got a stack now, about average. Four or five off suit, okay. Okay, we're gonna be check raising again. Live my life for me. We are going to be check raising this flop. All day, twice on Sunday. going to be betting 40% of the pot. 40% or 67%? Let's do 67%. Two-thirds pot. Two pair, buddy. He does not have an eight. He's betting an eight almost always. Seven he could have. He could have aces. He could have kings. Those are all possibilities. He could also have nothing. Well, not nothing, nothing. Oh, my God. Worst card in the deck. I think we just gotta go all in. Or just go over bet because he doesn't have an eight, like I said. Gotta turn it into a bluff now. Fuck. We can have an eight. He cannot have an eight. There's no world he has an eight. So we have five high right now. Five high. He's got ace high, king high, he might call us. But we are overbetting, so we're putting the heat on him to call it ace high. He only beats Miss Flush Draws, a four that turned itself into a bluff. Please fold. Woohoo, baby doll! Ah, yeah, let's go. That's a that's a hand you have to bluff there. Whew! All right, that feels nice. So you understand why I overbet that spot, right? Because, first of all, I can do that with a 7. I have, again, we're talking about cap ranges, right? Well, we know he doesn't have. An 8 doesn't check that flop on 8-7-7. Seven, seven. It's just not a thing, really. Because 8s want to protect, um, you know, uh, we, 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 we like want to deny, deny equity to just like random hands. Like random overcards. So, if the river was a deuce, we would have just checked and hoped the four was good, right? But when we don't, well, now we have five high. Only way we win this pot is to bluff it, and you just got to do it. The question is, what size? Small sizing is going to get called by ace high, maybe king high for sure. So the question is, can we bet this size based on range advantage? Absolutely. We rep the seven, we could have, and an eight, right? A lot of our range is a seven or an eight, so we can overbet that river in a spot where. All he can have from the, you know, in the top part of the range is a seven and no eight. Back in business, baby doll. We're above average. Back in action. The fold is queen seven. Da -da 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 -da. I think I got my chips back basically from where I was. Mahesh Dale. Mahesh Dale, whatever that means. Love from Brazil, Mateus Ascioli. Gub, oh, hey, that is your right, George Seinfeld. You, you, you do what you like. You know that is your prerogative. If you have the right to do so, you do so. You know. Um, I'm gonna go a different way. Hope that means we can still be friends. Andre Thomas. I'm thinking about moving in with my girlfriend after seven months of being together. Is it a good idea? Maybe. I don't know. This isn't like Dear Abby. I like to open with suited connectors. It's true. I feel wide awake today. Really good. Let's see what the sleep said. I, I mean, I sleep like a baby. Let's see. Boom, 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 boom. Whoa, recovery not great. Oh, because I had some drinks last night? Let me see. And I also worked out. Yeah. Well, recovery's a little low. 36%. Had a couple beers. It's nothing, but 
Sleep goal, though, 100% on the ball every night. This uh, I had to wake up early to play some of the, what do you call it? Um, these 500 mini main heats. That's why I have one that was less sleep than normal. But look at that. Every night, see that? Sleep per day, eight hours, baby. Like 8.3, 8.2, 8.4, 8.18, 6.9, 8.1. Always like eight hours sleep. Like a baby. Recovery, my recovery and my stress levels, it shows when I'm doing the stream, my stress levels go way up. All the talking, all the playing, all the thinking. It's wild how much that affects my recovery for the next day. And what am I using for that? That's an Apple Watch and an app called Athletic. That's it. No whoop. I've done all that stuff before, but this, I love the way this works. You got the, got everything in here on the watch, on the, this. Works great. Quite bad. Is he reading his chat or YouTube? All of them. This is a jam. If it's folded to me by David Peters, if David folds. Oh, he's going to jam. So we can't play. We got David Peters in the house. David's got 10 million winnings on here. Yuri Zivilevsky, another good player. 12 million. Gabriel Mura on 2.7. Our boy Felipe Ramos, 2 million. Then we got Leonard Mao. How much he got? It's 5 million. We got ballers, shot callers. He calling, baby. He didn't call, though. All right. So we're going to open and call off against Leonard. Not against Gabriel. Gabriel jams. I could fold that one. We're going to come with 27%. Check raises, we fold. That guy, that dude's going to be turned in five minutes. Yeah, it's always tilting when you watch me play. You you know, oh shit, I'm just going to fold. Nice hand. Okay. Guy's going to be turned when he sees this in five minutes. Mm. He's not on my table no more. I'm going to lay this one down because we don't want to call off against these two. It's a cuspy kind of hand. <laughs> you overbet that spot because your eggplant is as big as your forearm. That's <laughs> funny. Thank you, the CM Seymour group. Wants to be my PR agent. <laughs> this is King three and Ace Deuce. Well, we would have got jammed on. Probably. Maybe not. Oh, we would have lost. <laughs> we would have been. He made a straight. Check, check, bet now, bet, bet, check now. What is the profit? The profit within the software I set up, anybody could join. It's 500 bucks on the side. It's a side pool for everybody who wants in it. And we've got three, six people left. Top three will get some money back. Just a fun little thing you can do within the software here at GG Poker. GG Poker, world's best poker site. Ace three, ace seven. Buh bye David Peters. Buh bye Buh bye Hello, Yuri. We doing good now. 43 bigs. Average is 48. What is the numbers left of each player? That is the VPIP. That is the percentage of hands they enter. The higher the number, the looser the player. So, at this table, Gabriel who's cold, he's that little uh, cold ice circle or ice uh, crystal. That means he's cold. I think I can go 
I'm gonna go. Well, let's see. I'm just gonna do a min raise. This is a min raise and actually a fold against Leonard. The 10.7, yeah. I would have min raise folded there. Felipe Ramos. You see, his number's quite low. Felipe, oh, it's only 26 hands. We'll take it. Happy to have it. What are we doing with the old house? Well, it looks like I have a... We're going to obviously sell it. We're going to leave everything there. I'm not even going to, like, move stuff out. And uh, I have a friend who wants to buy it, maybe. The house that I have, we're living in now, probably about 1.5, which helps. We don't... Who knows when we'll get it, but it helps with the new house because the new house is, like I said, you know, in the 3.8 range. Little bit extra juice for Yuri in the big blind. Little, little bit. Little bit tax. 2.2, not 2. 2.2. Gabriel moves in. We happily call. Seven begs. Yuri's going to defend because it's Yuri. He folded. Sweet. Or sweet or whatever. It's fine. When do you recharge the watch if you wear it while you sleep? Um, I recharge it usually sometimes like kind of before bed or whatever it doesn't take that long 30 minutes or so charge the watch but yeah the only the thing that's important about this watch is if you want the sleep stats you have to wear it when you sleep this thing texts i can voice texts i can do whatever it's pretty neat i like it thank you gustavo castillo Isn't it crazy, Efro? Spend their mornings in Mexico and nights in Vegas. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I get what you mean. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! That was a funny you just did. I get it. Nicholas Carlson, you remember Isildur? Isildur's a great dude. He was at the World Series this year. It is hard for people to stay wrong because you got to be hungry. got to love it. I love it. So makes it easy. We will call this one. Eight and a half bigs must play the ace five. He's going to jam here with a whole heap of hands that are worse. So from a frequency perspective, as much as we don't love ace five because it's not a big favorite over anything, you just have to call against a small little raise. He's got 9-3 offsuit. Okay. Don't mind being against that. Okay, that's a good start. And that'll do it. There we go. 9-3 off. That's a fold. He's maybe banking on the fact that I overfold. This is part of the reason you can't overfold against good players, right? If they perceive you as overfolding, then they're just jammed with 9-3 offsuit. What if I folded, like, king-5 there? Which I wouldn't have, but... You know, what if I did? Okay, back in business. Above average. Sevens against the ace king. Felipe with the win and the flip with the flip of the win. It's not over yet. 4.55%. A seven. Break time, one minute. Gonna make a coffee. Holy shit. I fucking I mush mouthed you. I'm sorry, Felipe. Oh. I mush mouthed him. Well, at least it was cheap. He can afford it. I'm not gonna play this hand with all these little fuckers behind me. I'm just not going to open because I'm going to get ripped on. And then, like, against Gabriel, I'd, I'd raise and have to call three more. These guys just have just easy rips over my opens, so I'm not going to do it. Luckily, Yuri didn't put me to the decision. Do, 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 do. All right, let's keep on rolling. We're going on break, going to make a coffee. A nice uh, es ex. I'm gonna say, I know you say it espresso. Ex press. Oh, I'm gonna have an espresso. You guys drink espresso. I drink espresso, cause I'm cool like that. You know what I'm saying? Ace ten, ace nine. Take a look. See who wins this one. Yep. 
Rebuys are going to be ending very soon after the break. This is going to be the stacks. This is going to be the amount of players. This is going to be it. Ace nine. All right. So we have a double and we have a bathroom break. We will be right back. Okay. Be right back. Hey, money. I was just checking on you. in some way. <laughs> yeah. She's buying a couch, this a four hundred thousand dollar couch. Is it weird? I'm gonna ask the, should I ask the people if they think it's weird? No, they want you to tell them everything. It's not weird. Who cares? I know you are, honey. You're decorating the house however you want it. I got that. For sure. The, well, the rebuy period is just about to end. And there's 119 right now of, let's see, 119. Started with 444. Okay. Rebuys happen for another what is it? Three minutes? Five minutes. So, like, a couple minutes into this level. Now let's make sure. You don't need a rebuy, right? No, I'm good. I have well, average is 39. I have 46. I ran a really good bluff. You would have been proud of me. You would have been like, oh my god, that's so hot. Really? Yeah. Over bet. It's actually so hot in here. I'm freezing. Well, because you she's so hot. Look what she's wearing. I should fucking show you. Hey, I wore the same thing yesterday. It's so hot. Huh? 
I'm just saying a different thing. Hmm. What's that? Ah, nice little espresso. Hate that. She hates that I do that. Because you do it. Because you you believe it. No, I know it's espresso, but I like to say espresso. You love to say things properly, but not that. Not word. that one. No, I prefer that one. I also say Melbourne correctly because those people there you don't. Have to say lab top. Lab top. Instead of laptop. I say lab top. You say lab with a B. Lab. Lab top. My lab top. Laptop. <laughs> I do say hummus, correct? Yeah, we say it. Hummus. What do we got? Queen Jack off. Take a look at these stacks right now. What? Whoa. What? No fool. What are you looking at? I made you look. Yeah, you made me look. At what? <laughs> Nothing. Pretty though. Beautiful. What a backdrop. You guys don't even know. <laughs> you like the music? Ready to ready to rant? Ready to jam? Does this make you want to like dance around? This music? Not this one. No. You are. She's dancing right now, like Britney Spears. Same exact moves. She's doing it. She'll show you. No. She's like spin. She spins like and spins and, and then. Goes... Yeah. She does that with her. Yeah, Britney. She's like... <laughs> you should show. Do a little dance for the people. I need to like learn it for real. Do like one of the whole thing, one of her yeah. dances. I think I'll fall down this during the spins though. Yeah. She does a really great spin. Sometimes she falls down. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're just turn, tuning in and you do have a piece that you bought within the client, if you're one of those lucky people, let's see. We are still on bullet one, so you are still in action. We got 72 of you who have a piece. Should I name you all? Would that be cool? Like what? Name all of them. I'm going to do it after this hand. All the people who bought a piece. I'm going to give you guys all a shout out. Ronnie and Roger. Luke Gills, what are the odds? Justice Beaver 18. Ship it. Crumb rig. Oh, fuck. It goes too fast. Though. Crumb rig. Let me fold. All right, I got the shout-outs coming. Shout-outs coming. Crumb rig. P5 Anash. I can't scroll so well in here. Sorry. Bro broken Arm, Gutshot Chaser, Seppo, Raptor84, Tanaka. I don't know. Whatever. There's a lot of you. <laughs> sorry if I missed you, but it was more difficult than I thought. Scrolling. You said sorry if I missed you. You named like five people. <laughs> Hmm. Out of 70. 72 names. And it was hard because I, I missed. Like, when you scroll, I don't have a, a mouse. I'm just using the, the trackpad. What do you got going on over there? Are you watching a show? What are you What are you watching? Tomorrow, by the way, there's no tournament tomorrow, honey. If you want to go, like, if you want to go out in the city. What do you want to do tomorrow? Water ski. Water ski. Yeah. You want to go uh, to some island or something? Sure. I don't know. We can do whatever we want. What's a pretty thing to do in Vancouver downtown, people? You tell us. You got to like sign up for a tour and walk behind people? No, you don't want to do that. She's like, nope. I don't love that. The whole tour thing where you can't leave when you, you want. You want to go on a boat? Well, a lot of people are going to say that. They go on a boat. They have cool theories here, I think. All in skiings. Go with the Toronto Blue Jays logo. There you go. Done. Toronto Blue Jays logo. I have a thing for ferry boats. You have a thing for ferry boats? What's no, the thing? That's a quote from a TV show that I bet you some people would know. I have a thing for ferry boats. Uh -huh. What's the TV show that it's from? I want to send this to you. Okay. I have a thing for ferry boats. What is that from? It's a popular TV show. They won't be able to answer for five minutes, so you can say no. Really? Yeah, they won't be able to answer for five minutes. Oh, well, wait, they'll, they'll have a minute. We'll yeah. get a minute. Okay, okay. He says, he... He says... I have a thing for ferry boats. I have a thing for ferry boats. And that's it. I, he's a doctor. We'll give him that. He's a doctor, and he says, I have a thing for ferry boats. They'll know for sure. Can we tell you? Yeah. I know, tell you. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, yeah. 
Derek. Derek the Hotwood from Grey's Anatomy, for those wondering. He has a thing for ferry boats in Seattle. Why are you doing this? I'm playing. I swear to God, I'm playing. Oh, I see it. Yeah, those are where all the seaplanes are. I walked by there. Yeah, because you're watching it land. Yeah, seaplanes, a whole bunch over there. I don't really care about getting on that. Place. I gave all the fucking french fries to that bird today. Did I? Yeah. Oh, he's back. I caught something for you. 18 bigs, button shove. 16 for me to call. How do you know it's the same topic? Hold on here. 5 million earnings. Yeah, hey. I got a call. Hey, oh, whoa, what the hell happened? Oh, my God. First time ever. Okay, call. Let's see. What do you got? Fours. All right. Okay, no five, no four, babe. Big pot. No four, no five. No four, no five. What a slow fucking roll. It's a jack. We won! Three-way pot. Don't, Woo! Don't scare Sam. He's back? Yeah. Oh, my God. The bird's back. You know she woke up. It's cool. the same guy. I don't know. Wait, I have a big stack now, babe. Okay. 16 out of 149. He's really athletic. The rebuys are over. What a big win that was. That was key. That was clutch. Catch in the air like a oh, sweet. Athletic. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. Joao Vieira. Raising under the gun. Hmm. Could three bet this one. Could do. I'm gonna check and check and call instead. I'm gonna check and call against Joao. It's a it's a um, frisky spot. It's a little bit could be could be considered problematic with a lot of turn cards. If he comes with an overbet on the turn, that's gonna be difficult to fade. That's a card that he's so much better for him. He might actually bluff me off this card. Might actually be able to bluff me because range advantage perspective. He has ace king, king king. I don't. Could call and fold to river jams. I'm thinking he's going to overbet here a lot with a king turn. If he bets, it's going to be big. Hmm. He comes for full pot. not going to give me a free river. So, I'm going to fold again. Again, this is a similar spot to the ace-4 fold we made. Quite a river card, though. So, a very similar spot. I mean, he probably bluffed us. He's going to be bluffing us a lot there, but when he isn't, right, what are we doing? We're calling pot and then just, you know, going YOLO. King is a very good card for him. Now, if the turn was a four, seven, nine, six, he's not going to be able to bet that size because we have all the straights and stuff. But a king, that's just the money card for him, right? Raised under the gun. Ace King's well within his range. Huh. Yeah, that's twice we've had to fold top pair on the turn, and both are good, I promise. Both are close. See it coming. Remember I said, I'm going to call small here. He's going to go big on a, on a lot of turns. We needed a better turn than a king to be able to continue. Because you have to think about when you're making calls on the turn or whatever, or flop, you have to be thinking about like, well, what's next? If I make this call, what happens when, right? So now the question is, if he just went all in on the turn, would you have called with a6? Probably not. He's going to anyway, most of the time. So it's like, you're going to put some in, and then fold to the all-in, which is even worse. Because now you're just like, uh, just, I don't know, you, you get what I'm saying. Giving him free chips. He's got a friend. Oh, there's another one. Yeah. Oh, he just bit him and kicked him out. No, he better stop. Toucan, Sam, get out of here. Which one? Wait. He's the good one. I think this is the new one. This guy's huge. He's the new one. Yeah, he's a fat one. Oh, you got a He's huge. I think he was here earlier. Oh, there was a fat one here earlier. Oh, he kicked out my guy? 
fine. You got eight. You gotta be good. This one is like. Oh, see, you caught it in the air. Man, that's amazing. Come on. Wow. Come here, Sam. I don't like that. Get... Well, okay, you gave Sam up. a bunch already. And this guy's fatter. Oh, what are you scared of? I dropped it out the door. He's not, he's really aggressive. Well, he's throwing them all over the place. She's literally feeding the birds right now. Oh my god, he catches everyone. It's good when you throw it nice and high. Uh -huh. Okay, you, you'll get down get those because he's too aggressive to watch. Yeah. They're shitting everywhere. Get it down there. You're fat. He's like, I can't get all the way down there. He yelled, did she? Ah. I feel bad for my guy over here. Yeah, he ate. Well, he looks like he's eating a lot. I think I fed a fat one earlier today, like a whole order of French fries. <laughs> what? He looked at me like what? Can he catch, can he catch like that? This guy is like amazing. He doesn't catch like that. No. This one caught every fry. I threw it. He's so he looks old. Old and fat. That's fun. You can throw it right into their mouth. He's, they're not all that talented. What hand are you guys talking about? Oh, the, the big one that I won. With the two eights. He's so big. He's walking down the floor now. He's at the door. Did we go drinking like planned? She had half of a drink and I had two beers. So, not exactly. Death by chocolate. What is that? He's so cute. Oh, look at his legs. He's bow legged. Hey, Sam. Hey, buddy. He's bow legged. His legs turn in. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Bow legged. Your average stack, 34 big blinds. This one will pay 71 places. 125 remain. I don't know how much you guys what? With the, no, they like french fries. Yeah, they're salty and like... You think they're beggars can't be choosers. You ready to see it? Oh, you made them fall. Sure. Good boy. How do you know it's a boy? He's gonna fall. The other day, she's like, "What if they fall?" Bird, the birds. What if? What if they fall off the ledge? What will happen to the bird if they fall? <laughs> you know, it's a thing, right? You think about an animal, like, "Oh, on the ledge," and then you forget. Oh, wait a minute, that thing can fly. Fly, little birdie, fly. Yeah. You're still on the floor, guy. What's he gonna try to get? Yeah, he's gonna get it. He's like, this is awkward, but I'll find a way. Go, fatty, get it. I'm, if he wasn't so aggressive, I was just gonna get it for him. There you go. Get it. Folding to an open, limping if he folds. See, I got limping. my little guy over here getting my little one. He looks pregnant, she. He, now it's a she? she? I think she's pregnant. Look how fat she is. You're making a lot of assumptions about that bird. I think she's pregnant. Aww. Maybe she's pregnant. She has trouble getting up and down. Lead one time from Yay! the small one. There are some turn cards we can barrel. A jack is one of them. Girls and boys. A jack is a turn card we will barrel. Ace is another one we could barrel. But 
gonna go big. Overbet. One, three, five here. Ace is better for us. We're blocking five, seven. No seven, ten. What we're trying to get him to do is fold like a six, an eight, or a nine, of course. And also charging extra for any sort of straight draw. So if he just has like king seven, we're charging extra. All right, now we made a pair of fives. But him having a seven is very unlikely. Him having a seven is unlikely. He's not just calling with a seven unless it's a pair and a seven. So I'm going to go again and represent this one. And we're going to rep. If he calls, he calls. Such is life. If he has seven, ten, he's going to raise us. Thing is, we could barrel that turn a lot with 7x. Like, if we have queen 7, king 7, it makes a lot of sense for us to go big on that ace. And now we've just got there. So, I don't have a ton of bluffs here. Queen 10, jack 10. Two-thirds, decent size. Bay, I'm in a big bluff right now, babe. I need him to fold. He's got 35 seconds. We know the fives are no good. We know the fives are no good. Fuck me. He has seven fucking ten. Tilt! Alright, I've he, he raised me. So annoying. Okay, we're back to average. Well, most of our bluffs have gotten through. That's the first one that's been caught. I think it was a good play, though, because, again... Because of the size we chose, just a random 7 doesn't call. But we can have a 7 a lot there. So what we were representing was a turn over bet bluff with a straight draw that got there. But you can't rep something that somebody already has. Keep eating it. Oh. I'll these strawberries. Someone asked, being very successful, Shirky B, being very successful, do you have any poker goals left? I've always got poker goals. I've always got things that I could get into. He's check-raising this flop. Huh. Well, just going to call. Okay, that's a good turn card for us. Gave us spades. From Brazil. Plenty of bluffs on a $9.3 million player. I think they want some water. I don't know, babe. Question is, do we raise now? I think so, actually. I don't think he's going to bluff. So the question is, do we keep the uh, straight draw, flush draw bluffs in? I think at this point we just put it in. Got the spade draw. He didn't snap. That's good. Oh, we would have made the nuts. If I knew that, I would have just called. But I think it wouldn't have mattered. I don't think that once I call turn, after calling on king 7-4... I think what his plan was is check, raise, flop, bet, turn. If I call, shut it down. That's what I think anyway. All right, we got Brazilian blood happening now. Look at this. I'm all Brazil. Joao, Rodrigo, Luis, Yuri. I got a row of Brazilians. A row of the Brazilians. We're going to come with... We block 8-7 and 8-6 suited. Not that he has a lot of that. I'm going to come small. Quarter. We have the best hand a lot here. Right? You know, king-queens, king... Well, not king-queens, but... That's a not a good card. We don't have a heart in our hand. All right. Got to respect the position. Okay, that's an eight. That's a very good card for us. Ace eight. We're going to go two-thirds again. 
two thirds. We don't want to hear raise again. But what the fuck is a raise? What is a possible raise that he could have here? Thinking about it before it happens, right? Just in case. Could he have checked back a flush? Nah. We win. He must have had just King Jack or just some Jack 10. I don't know. Who knows? For those being like, Daniel, you play too tight. Folding this hand, watch. That's actually a, You could play that hand. <laughs> too tight. I'm playing more hands than everybody except Luis, who's only been here for 12. Oh, what flopped the king? Hmm. You're giving him water? <laughs> this is... He's so getting nervous. They love him. Yeah. Did they drink it or no? I don't, I'm afraid they're going to break the glass. So I'm yeah. We're going to have like 35 birds here, all like living in the fucking, on our, pa on our patio. They have a whole lake right there, babe. He wanted it. I can see. He, he did? Yeah. Alright, so this allows us to... Well, if, if Joao is trapping us, that's really problematic for us. I'm actually going to flat and fold to Joao's raise because he could be trapping. Joao could be trapping here. And if we raise here, we, we flat, it looks like we're more likely to have aces or kings when we flat than if we jam. Because if we jam, we're trying to get him out, right? So Joao could be flatting here with jacks or tens. Some ace queens. Called. Okay. All right, that's a good flop for us. All right, we're gonna bet quarter pot. We're never folding now. It's a good flop. I don't think Joao is gonna hit this connect to this board very much. He's just gonna fold here a lot. Like, I mean, listen, if he has nines, tens, or jacks, I think. Yeah, then we're in trouble. Nines, tens, jacks, maybe shoves free. He called. The fuck is that? He might have nines or tens. Nines or tens? Now, if he jams, I might have to fold this average stack. He might bet third pot. 58 out there. Well, there's not really a lot of third pots. I only have a hot half pot bet left. Been in some tough spots here against Joao early on. Please check. Fuck, he's bet six. Okay. So nines or tens is very possible. We do have six outs against that have to call this price okay I hope he just checks back but I think we might be dead against nines or tens maybe he has two sixes fuck oh, I'm just so good babe it's crazy yeah. I'm tight like I know I ever all day I just call exactly what people have but I lost, but it, I just, it's like every hand I know what's going on. Wow. It's like, right? What did I say? Tens. So if I would have done the, the, the rejam, I'd probably be broke. I don't think Joao was, but see, I told you, calling under the gun plus one, there's something strong there. I think we did good there to not go broke, babe. Wow, it was a tense moment. Was it? Yeah. Four, five, eight. Quarter pot, check call. Six into... Fucking 60. So what was that? I like how I played that, honestly. Because like I said, I was worried about him trapping. 
raise. Okay. Turn, he bet. 36k. Yeah, super small. But 30, he bet 10% pot. Do, 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 do. I'll be out of your hair in a minute. Whatever, you're not bothering me. I'm just intensely involved. Yeah. This is six max, you know? Yeah. Do, do, do. Three and six. I made a 13. He calls. Yuri raised the 68. I call. Bet 61 on flop. He calls. Turn 36. Yeah, I call. Boom, 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 boom. Dun, 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 dun. All right, I'll take it. We are nearing the bubble, but you know we're not afraid. I really think I dodged a bullet, babe. Two sevens, fucking knew it. I said he's got tens. They still here? Hey, darling. It's a different one. I turned around to get more blueberries, and my big fat girl left. She ate a bunch of blueberries. This, this one's not... Scared of me right now. Hmm. We're out of French fries, so they're going to blueberry. It's my blueberry, don't worry. Right. I don't care. Just this, they don't like, he didn't, she didn't like raspberry at all when you pick it. Hmm. Yeah. You don't want those. I think it's like it mom liked fruit. This, the, the other ones don't as much. So those of you who have a piece, we are close to the money. You are still in. This is bullet number one. We have fallen a little bit below the average, but like I said, I think we did good to still be here. A rough patch of hands. A couple top pair folds. Oh, I got a cigar, a cigarette to smoke. I blow smoke in his face. Hmm. Look, I'm blowing smoke. I'm blowing it right in his face. You can blow smoke in people's face. <laughs> cigarette smoke. I'm going to actually fold because this comes under the gun with the King-10 suited. And 9.9 .9 is pretty significant. That's half our stack. On the bubble, we're pretty close to it. You have to give some credit to Under the Gun Jam Ranges. Jam Ranges. I think my cutout. What were we? What were we had anything? Nope. Still sitting pretty. We're doing fine. 20 bigs. went through like a crazy 15 minutes of hands. Yeah, I know. I was trying to like, I didn't talk to you. Yeah. Sorry. Argo party. What's up, M and Puddles? Are, are they still here, babe? Or are they leave? You got nothing for them? If I jam turn when I had sevens, is he calling? Yeah, I think so. With two tens, I think he probably calls. Yeah. That's what he wanted. 
My f nothing was questionable about the way I played the hand. I played the hand really good. What do you What do you mean? The flop bet is a must, right? It's a great flop for us. On four, five, eight, we got the sevens. We need to deny equity to like king, queen, ace, queen, ace, jack, and we get the all-in player all-in. So he knows I'm not bluffing too, which is good. Are you just fucking dense? Ha ha, he knows exactly what the guy has and fucking calls anyway. He bet 6,000. He bet fucking one big blind on the turn, you dumb fucking idiot. What are you I, mean, he, he, I was trying to catch a fucking six or a seven getting the right price. It wasn't like, oh, I called it. I called fucking 90% of my stack. I called one fucking big, basically. I bet six bigs into fucking 60. He bet 10% pot. I know. I just had to tell this one guy. Why didn't Joao bet? Joao didn't bet the river because he's he's going to count the combos of hands that I call with, and he's going to find out that aces, kings, and queens I all call jacks too, right? So there are 24 combos that beat him, right? One combo that ties, right? And then what else? Nines and sevens he's hoping I have? That's only 12 combos. So in a situation like that, if the calling range is going to be, especially with an all-in player, right? Because the ranges are different. He loses to more hands than he beats. Looks like I could absolutely have aces or kings there. Yeah. Big Town Poker. The, the, the mic is actually fine. It's you. It's not me. Everybody else is fine with it. So you check your own situation. I got this. Is, we haven't moved it for days. It's been great. Why do I drink my water so aggressively? You read everything. Huh? You read all of those. I don't. I, you know how many I get? I know. I just, I, whenever once in a while I see something. I guess people miss the fairy boats thing, huh? No one knew? Yeah. Someone said, somebody's watching. Yeah, so a case could be made for me with the sevens because it's like the worst part of my range. Essentially, well, it's not. I'm going to see bet some ace highs there. Ace, king, ace, queen. I'm probably see betting that flop for quarter pot. Um, so I have those worst hands. With the sevens, if I'm beat, I'm typically going to have six outs. Seven or a six. So that might have been a spot against 10% from Joao where I just check jam the turn. But I just don't have a lot left. Check, he bets six. I have 25 of 31 total. I guess. I guess. But the truth is, Vite Aces, I probably don't even check jam. I, well, I don't know. Yeah, it's a theory. It's a thing. Could be a thing, the check jam. Could have been a thing. Check jam bluff. But the problem is, he could have Aces too. Or no, he couldn't actually because he didn't re-race pre. Never mind. Birds like to dance. They do? They can eat and hear music, right? Don't they, they do this? They do, like you're doing right now. I thought we had the same, remember I thought we had the same bird. They all have pink on their mouth somehow, or red. They all have the red? Yeah. All right, I'll let you play in here. Who'd you say was watching? A friend of mine. Oh, by the way, I didn't tell you. Um, I'm going to tell you. I'll text you. Uh, some more people coming to Bahamas. It'll be fun. I'll, t I'll tell you. I don't want to tell everybody else. I don't hate them? No, you like them. I'm 99% sure you actually like them. Especially her. Always that 1%, okay. huh? No. going to text her.
Yeah. Whatever. It's new people. I mean, just like them, and then you got, well, we know Christian's come in with his family. We've already just established that. Yeah. So, there'll be a lot of kids. They're about the same age, too. What? I thought you saw me snow my armpit. I did see you snow your armpit. 71 get paid, 92 remain. Play will slow near the bubble. Hey, Dan, can Amanda show tits now? Can I show them? Yeah. I mean, like, what? Whoa. Can I actually show them? I see her tits right now. She just showed them to me. Oh, they can see you in the reflection. They're big. <laughs> I don't care if they can see them. They're big? Yeah, big tits. So. Yeah, you do. Let me see. They're big tits. So you're like, you weigh 100 pounds. Your tits are 14 pounds. It's like a third of your body weight. What? I'm gonna go in here and play with my tits or something. Go play with your tits. Enjoy. <laughs> Figure out what you want to do tomorrow. Make a plan. Oh, God. I love plans. Make a plan. Any plan. You just walk out of the hotel. Like, let's just go do something. Okay, yeah. No plan? Just walk. I walk every day. Okay, I hear you. I'll figure it out, but I don't know if I want to go on a boat. No, we don't want to go on a boat. I'm just saying, if there's anything you want to do, tomorrow's the day to do it. Tough spots we had today, but I like the way I played them. I think the problem with the bluff is there's flush draws. Yeah, do I ever think players are stupid? Yeah, sometimes. King three. Page, what is that? Page who? Man, I went too fast. I did read your comment, Page. Well, if I did that one chip bet with the sevens on the river, I would have not done well with it. This is going to be a call. It's going to be a limp jam, actually. He's going to raise always here, especially near the bubble. He's going to put some... ICM pressure on me? Oh, he didn't. Hmm. Thought Joao, in the situation, was going to put a raise in, but he elected to check it back, and now we're going to have a check fold considering the situation. 
I'm not even gonna call. Queen King came of diamonds. So if he would have made it 3x, I would have jammed, but he did not. Three and a half bigs all in, folding. If I was in the big blind with the ace three, I would defend for sure. But the danger is you flat, one of the blinds move in, you're just burning chips. And ace, wow, he just, everybody folded? Okay. Hmm. We got a rampage P from Canada. Is that the rampage, rampage? Probably not. Had some good, interesting spots today. Fun. Feel really good about like the live poker I'm about to play, incorporating what I do. It's just like a good, my, my senses, my spidey senses are really good. Hmm. Online, you just still have to make the right play. But I don't know. I feel really good about my spidey senses right now. Situationally, my, I don't know. Feels good. Still quite a ways from the money. 18 players, three tables, but six max it goes a lot faster because short stacks don't have as much room to hide. The big blind comes around one in every six hands, in some cases five if they're at a five-handed table, rather than every eight or nine. <sighs> that is the Amanda from the poker show back in the days, correct. Not my girlfriend, that's my wife. He said girlfriend. No, married since 2019. The Michael Jordan suite at Atlantis is massive. We won't be staying there. I think it's 20,000 a night or something. Back in that bag again. Back in that bag again. I'm back in that bag again. Ace Jack. Oh. This is one we may just have to put it all in with. Yeah. I don't think we're folding this. Yep, I'm gonna call this 7.6 jam. Unless somebody else jams in front. One of the other two players play, then we get away from it. Because we don't necessarily love the hand three way for all our chips. And the Rangers that jam are gonna be good, right? He called, fuck. That's a fold. Fuck. Man, why don't you just let me take him? Oh, he would have flopped the nine. Ha, ah, I would have been out. Ha, <laughs> ha. I avoided a bad beat. Avoided a bad beat. There we go. If he didn't play the ace nine, which he has to against this stack, I would have busted Luis Faria. If I would have played, I would have been busted. He's not putting in 7.8 to fold for another seven. So, he's still alive. 15 bigs, blinds going up. 36 is the average. We're at that stage now. A lot of people will go bust. 
see what the baby stacks look like. Man, we got stacks. Two point. We got one, two, three, four, five. Five stacks, ten or lower. Whole heat more. Under 15. Back in that bag again. d -Nex, is that your real background? This is downtown Vancouver. I'm glad you enjoyed the Lex, Vel Lex Friedman podcast. I had a good time. A lot of people gave me a lot of positive feedback on that one. Boom, boom. How'd the free roll turn out? I came in fifth. Fifth place. It's fine, whatever. I win 900 bucks versus 2,500 bucks. It wasn't like, you know. Touch my turn out. One bullet. Your chance to win some money if you took a piece is still live. We are grinding. Started with 487. First prize. What are we looking at? $426,000. Okay, let's go for that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Somebody's upset about the way I drink my water. Say to a What if I go? Drink my water how I drink my water, bro. What do you want for my life? I, you can't judge the way I drink my water now. That's that's crossing a line. Hey. Where is he staying? In a hotel? Correct. In a hotel in Vancouver. That's the pool. That's the water. Well, you can't really see too much of the water. Playing well, public house. I'm not sucking as juice. <laughs> Some really, really interesting hands in this one. A lot of good players, especially with short stacks behind, right? You raise under the gun, they flat under the gun plus one when there's like 10 big blind, 15 big blind stacks behind because they're trapping. So in that spot against Joao, with the stack size behind, I felt like, wow, this is, this very well could be like, it's gonna be something. He's not, he's not doing it with like a bad hand. So it could be a very strong trap. The big fat panda. That's a difficult question. It's a very difficult question. I mean, generally speaking, if you're always short in the bubble, around the bubble, you're probably not taking as many opportunities to bluff and not playing aggressive enough. And overall, when you play turn and poker, you want to get to the top three spots. The min cash strategy isn't the way to go. Clint Vincent, does it frustrating me having so many amateurs question your play? Sometimes it's annoying when people say really dumb shit. That's just so obviously wrong. And then they act like they know. Like, it's just the dumbest thing. Like, oh, bro, you should have known. You should have folded the kings. You should have known he had aces when he put it all in for six big blinds. Speaking of kings, we kings right here. Let's go. Add it up. Bankroll. Double. Two kings. We got a raise. Joao might fold, actually. Because this is going to be very strong for us. Because we, we're going to defend a lot here to see flops. 
We really need somebody else to jam here to get action. I don't think Joel's going to call. He might, but, you know, he's a chip leader, so he can be opening with a lot of hands. He doesn't have to be strong here. Yeah, he's going to fold. Oh, he called. Okay, what do you got? Queens. Okay, well, I guess that's a hand he can call with. Bag it up. Bankroll. Slow roll. We want to see a black card. That's a good card. It's, it's a deucer three. Bingo, bango. We doubled, babe. Ding, ding, ding. Bat it up. Bankroll. Oh, my God. <laughs> Back to 30 bigs. All right. Puts us in, uh, what, 83 left, pay 71. More middle of the pack now. A funny snooker story, huh? About me? Playing in New Brunswick? No. The story's a lie. The story's a lie. Never been to New Brunswick. I don't think. Daniel is great at speaking succinctly. It's ah, a big word, succinctly. Can you say, such is life? I can, and you can buy such is life hoodies at contendersclothing.com. You can also buy this tank top, Poker is War. That's the Doyle Brunson saying. It says it on here, Doyle Brunson. Doyle Texas Dolly Brunson X Contenders Collection. Ba, 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 bum, 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 bum. Yes, Alex Murray. My diet has not changed. <laughs> king, queen for Joao. Rodrigo with the ace, king couple of nice looking hands there, eh? Got a break coming up in two minutes. Won't be opening the 10-8 off from the button. Couple of frisky Brazilians over there in the blinds. Stay because of how you drink your water. Someone says, I came for poker, stayed because of how you drink your water. See? Somebody appreciates the... The Daywalker Marulo. Why do you hate your fans? This is what my wife... This is what Amanda does all the time. She says things like that in a way like that that drives me nuts. She says, why do you... Why do you when I don't? But it's like already presumed that I do. Right? Instead of saying, do you hate your fans? You say, why do you? I don't. You can't say it like that. You're leading with your question. Eight out of the money. The money, money. The money, money. The money, money. How is the last longer prop bet going? Oh, we are in the money in the last longer. So the last longer pays three spots. There's three left. The one that I set up within the software. Guaranteed 1800 bucks, 2700 for second, 4500 for first. Sweet. So there's three of us left. Madonna, Sven Anderson, and yours truly. Nice. 18 people started in that one. Fun stuff. I'm a last longer killer. <laughs> I much prefer six-handed poker to eight or nine. It's, it's, I'm better at it too, but I can't explain why. It's not because I'm crazy aggressive with fucking A6 offsuit every hand. Uh, 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 uh. 
We go to break right now, now, now. Be right back. Almost fell. I had myself an apple. I'm gonna have ourselves a protein bar. Fifty third place right now. Where we sit.
Chip leader has 100 bigs. Not too crazy. Apple. It's my, I usually eat snacks 5, 5.30, but hungry today, probably because of the lunch. Didn't have the rice, it just had the salad. No pita. Thank you, Jimmy Shu. Or Zhu. X U. Zhu? Zhu? Q? Ch X U? I don't know. Chocolate salted caramel. I like these ones. They're good. What do we got here? It says. Got 21 grams of protein, 6 grams of fat, 25 grams of carbs. Total sugar added zero. No sugar. Hmm. They're still amazingly tasty. Despite. How do they get away with no when only one gram of sugar? Hmm. Adrian, see, I can't answer that question. Quite fine, but is that even close? Tebow? With all the respect to Ivy and Dewan, is that even a question? <laughs> They're great players. Absolutely, but when it comes to like, you know, being somebody who helps promote the game, they don't do a lot. Trust me, they do as lead a little as possible. Hmm. And I'm not judging that, just saying, you know, that's not their thing. Or I've been in the streets. 30 years now, almost. Oh. Oh, really? Oh. 25 years? Hmm. Streaming. Vlogging. Making content. Okay. We like easy decisions. Seventy-seven left. Seventy-one are paid. Six max bubbles. Don't take nearly as long. The 10 a.m. tourney at Park Casino. What do you think the odds that I'm going to play that? If you guessed zero, you'd be right. It'd be fun to go play in disguise, get to the final table, play the guy heads up, and then take the disguise off and be like, it's me. <laughs> like Uncle Drew style shit. All night long. Give me all your love. We're down to 22 bigs again? What happened? We didn't even play a pot. Oh, the lines went up just now. Okay, that'll make the shorties even shorter. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five guys, 10 bigs are under. King and Jack. Interesting spot. I expect the two openers to be kind of tight on the bubble. So we're not going to three bet them. Probably just folding. Except against Joao, I will limp 
he will raise, I will jam, I will risk being the bubble boy because we play to win. And in a spot like this with ICM pressure, he's supposed to put some on me. And he's going. if he does, he's going to hear from me. Make it 3x and I'll just jam. For sure. It's a good hand to jam with. Even if he has like, oh, he just checked. Fuck. Okay, that's twice in a row. We did not get the chance to jam. Gonna check call small here with the king jack high against an infinite range. Well, a range that doesn't contain an ace probably. Check call again on this turn. Check calling again on this turn. He might have a five, but there's a whole bunch of other hands he could have. Six, four, do six, six, seven, eight, not. He probably doesn't have ace high. So he's betting two into 2.8. That's a big bet. All right. Certainly gonna call. Let me think. Yeah, call is the play. That's a bad card. Because now six, seven, six, deuce, ace, deuce. Well, deuce, that, he doesn't have that. Six, seven, six, deuce. Seven, eight, we beat. I'm going to fold now, but that four just, like I said, if he has deuce four, four, six, four, seven, all we beat now, really, is like some ten high, random ten, six. Yeah, I got to fold now. But I think we have the best hand on the turn. I do. That board run out wasn't what we were looking for. But I think King Jack was good on the turn. Again, when he, for the size he chooses on the river, I don't know that it's a five. Maybe, actually. Because, yeah, maybe it was a five. Could have been a five. Hmm. The last two times we... Watch this. We're going to limp to small blind next time against them. And then we're going to have nothing. And he's going to raise. <laughs> That'll be so tilting. Because both times we limped, we were going to jam. One, There weren't good hands. But ace three off and king jack off. Hands more than good enough to... Limp jam with. Dun. Dun, 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 dun. No, there is no sugar. It was only one gram of sugar total. What does it have in there? The sweeteners. What are the sweeteners in this thing? Stevia. Stevia leaf, stevia extract. Yep. Stevia. Stevia to sweetener. So Joao in a good situation with the chip stack that he has, but doesn't have a lot of like really shorties here that he can leverage against. Well, actually, no, they're actually the right side stacks. Never mind. Back opposite of what I just said. <laughs> 76 remain. Five will go home empty handed. Here we sit. Nice. Where, I mean, 18 base really decent. It's fine. Considering. We got six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's five stacks, six stacks, seven stacks, ten or lower. In terms of big blinds. <sighs> Eric Carrazzo, you can't play GG Poker in the Las Vegas area or in the United States, so you have to tr travel outside of that, and that's what I did.
Rodrigo Celuia of Brazil. João Vieira playing out of Brazil. We have a squeeze from the button. This guy's going for it. What's he got? 416k in earnings. Plano Dreschel. Rampage P. Rejamming. Those gotta be some hands right there, you would think. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Got chili in here all of a sudden. Thank you, Oplix. Wife likes beard. I like beard. Simple as that. Uh, uh, uh. No, 9-5. Nine, 9-5 nine, is a no-go. Non-defend here. They, people hate being at my table when you're near the bubble because I just auto fold and never lost tanks. Or not everyone, but some people. So here we go. Now we've finally got a hand. We're going to limp fold. Okay, good. Oh, we get six, 17 bigs? Oh, we had 18. Duh. Let's go. How long have we been playing here? Five hours. I feel good. I feel strong. Wide awake. No fatigue. Yeah. Because <laughs> he knew I had it, right? He didn't raise a limb because he knew I had it. <laughs> That's funny. Have an all in jam. Four out of the money. And it's folded. Monitoring the situation here. So, one, two, three, four players with ten or less blinds it's not for town pronounced sativa that's a different thing stevia stevia a sweetener CJ Bravo says I'm biased to YouTube. I watch all the chat on a restream app, so I see Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, all the same. I'm not partial to anything. Yeah, that's true, Tebow. <laughs> After if we, if we lose a hand, that's painful. You hear about it for a while until I process it completely. And you can tune into my stream of thought. <clears throat> Good snooker clubs in Vancouver? I don't know. I didn't see any around here.
Dun 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 dun. Dun dun. Oh wow, we are literally hand for hand now. A bunch of people busted all so fast. So Archer Mar Maratosian has 8.7 bigs, and Yoxin Soul has 8.2. Archer, I would imagine, you know, high stakes pro isn't like too concerned about min caching. We are on the bubble, as you can see. Direct bubble. All right. Let's just get in the money and move on. Minimum stack, 8.2 bigs, as I said. Expect now Joao to really just open a lot. What are the payouts? The payouts. 426 for first. Okay? And 71st, 8367. There you go. When am I coming to Greece? asks Panigo Civic. We went to Santorini for our honeymoon. It's the only time I've ever been. I never went to like Rome, uh, or not like Athens or anything like that. Sneaky Weasel. What kind of beer is that, Lee Alexander? Hopefully it's a lager. <laughs> You'd think after days of streaming, people will stop asking the same question. They won't even dignify it with a response. About, no. All right. One out of the money. Now, if we were playing ICM conscious, like care about the money, we would just be folding a lot. Like a lot of really good hands, we'd be folding. This isn't one, we'll fold it anyway. Yeah. There's no point in tanking now, so we must be thinking. Because, yeah. Joao is going to fold a lot here. You have to expect he's opening pretty wide. Joao! Joao! No, Zoomer Firm, I don't. Will I come to Romania again sometime? Kodao asks. Yeah, I think so. We'll see. Figure it out. All right, hand for hand play. Min stack 7.4 bigs, as you can see in the top left hand corner. Biggest 83. But we're in it. We're in it. We are in it. Once the bubble bursts, you'll start to see some people firing chips in, but at this point Joao has the chips to play and everyone else kind of waiting, at our table at least. Or jamming when they have a good hand, like he must have just now. Plain O Jashol. Thank you, Cody Sears. Appreciate you. Jake Goodwin, get the masterclass. It'll teach you how to think about poker. Absolutely. Masterclass.com. You can learn about a lot of different things too. How to cook from Gordon Ramsay and Wolfgang Puck and all that. They got all the... So this is an interesting one. I'm just going to jam anyway because I'm not afraid of the bubble. But this would be a fold if we were playing ICM conscious. If we actually cared about ICM, I would absolutely fold King 8 here. But we don't. So I'm just going to do what is a chip EV... This is plus chip EV to stick it all in. Just raise for 12. 
He ra I mean, he rates to have just like, okay, obviously you can tire in any two random cards. King eight does quite well against that. A lot of it folds and that picks us up a nice little pot. Now, what I just did there, I promise you, that is absolutely not correct financially, but it is if your goal is to win the tournament. If you're trying to squeak into the money, you just fold because you're up against the chip leader and you feel like, oh, I can't mess with that. But we're not, that's not what we're here to do. So that's like exhibit A of like, I'm not afraid to go broke. Hmm. In order to win, in order to succeed, you must be willing to die. Thank you, Sahil Sethi. He says, you're an inspiration, respect from India. Appreciate you, Sahil Sethi. Do I still hang out with Regev and Oren? I haven't in a long time. They live in LA. I should text them, see what they're up to. Regev is not a phone guy, not a social media guy, impossible to find. Oren a little more. Easy life. All right, so the short stack is 6.2. Archer has 6.5. Another guy was 7.5. Jesse Lonis, 8.3. 8.7. There's a bunch of stacks under 8. I just hope the bubble bursts soon. Get it over with. So, if you wanted to look at that King-8 and say, Daniel, that's a punt, you're right. That is a punt. Financial punt. And those of you that have a piece of me, you understand that I do that in these spots to win the most, to give myself the best chance to win first place. That's all that I was thinking. Is it a plus chief chip EV move? Is it a plus ICM move? No, it's a fold. You just have to fold everything. Like, can't risk going broke if you are smart. Because you're looking at, as I said... It's an $8,300, $8,367 decision that we just gambled on. Like, if we just don't play a hand, we're almost, we're a lock to get the 8,367. A lock. That money is ours if we just fold every hand, right? Because it's not going to take, we have enough blinds to succumb, to survive. But again, that's not what we're here for. I'm looking for the big money in the top three spots. CJ Bravo Whiskey, why don't you open up subs on Twitch because I don't want to be a Twitch partner because if you become a Twitch partner apparently you can't stream everywhere and I stream on YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, Twitter, X, whatever, all simultaneously. I'm a little bit of both uh, when I go on vacation. I like, uh, they call me busy. I like to explore a little bit and I, I go for a walk every day. Um, but generally speaking, we just chill. Is this a pretty active table? Yeah, I'd say so. I think, well, the thing is, when you play six max, you know, your VPIPs goes up. It's not the same as eight or nine, which would be in the 25% range. I think when you're playing six max, you're, you're closer to 30, which is where we're at. Very keen. How does buying a piece of my action work? Well, it's very simple. In the site, um, there's a staking feature. You click on staking and you'll see a whole bunch of people that are selling pieces of themselves. And you can just use your GG money. You can buy a piece in the client at the end of the tournament. If they cash, you get a percentage of whatever you bought. And then it just shows up in your account automatically. Oh, wow. Big one had aces and nobody called. Huh. Luckily, we didn't have ace jack suited again.
How short is the shorty? Okay, Archer is down to 5.1 bigs. So he is grinding. Probably just does play smart. I see him. Dean Eggs does not give a fuck. That's correct. What's ICM? ICM, independent chip module. It basically designates, it's designates how much each chip was worth in terms of value. But generally the way people use the term ICM, it's about folding so that you can move up and lock up money kind of stuff. Still on the bubble. Eventually something's got to give with those shorties. I mean, whole bunch of players under 10 big blinds. This is the first buy-in, Babo. So if you bought a piece of the staking, you are in it. You have a chance to triple your money right now. Or no, almost double. Because mine was 5k, so 8300, one and a half x if ish. You have an open rip, okay. Poonster is has from an ICM perspective, Poonster has to have a very good hand to call there, like incredibly good. With 11 bigs, he's like locked up that 8300, so he'd have to have a very strong hand to call. Plano Jeshol has been showing. That he's also, I mean, either he just has getting monsters, but he's shown like a willingness to, to take a risk and gamble. Like he's not trying to squeak in the money. That's that's what you can ascertain. He opened ripped on Joao, he opened ripped there. Like, I mean, it's possible he just had aces both times, but. Chances are he didn't. Ace Joao, here we go. Fuck, this is the hand. Handed, oh, Joao folded. I will call the small blind jam. If he fucking jams, do I fold this? Wow. Well, we said we don't give a fuck about bubbling, right? And this guy is showing a real propensity to just fucking play, so let's go, bubble or not, whatever. He got yeah. I'm not fuck. I'm not fucking around, buddy. I'm not here to fucking be scared. You think I'm scared? Who are you trying to fucking ICM pressure? Okay, we need no ten now. It's a paint card. Who are you trying to push around ICM? What I just did there another massive mistake from an ICM perspective. That is a big big mistake to call there. But I'm not afraid, right? Now we're big pimping. Ha <laughs> ha. We got the average stack. Big pimping. We go for it, ladies and gentlemen. We gave these guys who are trying to squeak in the money an opportunity to, to do so, but see, like, I'm surprised. Plano, he could have just opened there for two and then fold my jam. But he elected to just put max pressure on, probably not realizing that I'm crazy and I'm going to play ace-check suited. I'm going to put this in. <laughs> ICM is for poor people. Nacho Barbero. <laughs> his, his famous quote. He was like in an ICM spot and he kind of punted it off with King Jack or whatever. And he goes, ICM is for poor people. <laughs> it's not meant to make fun of poor people. It's just a joke. You know what I mean? Are we in the money? Still no. All right, Arthur's down to 4.4 bigs now. We're focusing. What's the chip lead? Tall man, 73. I'm not folding no ace jack fucking suited, bro. 
Shit. Hmm. Finally, I had ace jack and the guy didn't have aces. Ha! Bubble, bubble, bubble. I think Archer doubled. He must have. He's got 6.5 now. That's fine. Or maybe he just stole a blind. Yeah. Yeah, because he had 4.4 or something. So he must have stole the blind. Archer Martirosian. I will raise this hand. Don't mind if I do. And if they jam, I'll fold. It's fine. Mm, just fold, Rodrigo. It's bubble time. You have to play smart. Fuck. Damn, bastard. Bastard, Rodrigo, sell you on. You must have had a hand. You couldn't have done that with nothing, right? You know I'm crazy. You know, hey, S.A., you know I'm loco. So you better not be raising me light there. The little itty bitty sacks hang on for dear life. Shortest stack has 4.7 big blinds. That's D. Mycolitis. He probably won't be playing too many hands. The odd thing is, is that when you're down to like three, four bigs, you actually want to fold even more to get the money because you're more likely to min cash anyway, even if you double. So if you had, let's say, 15 bigs, you're like, okay, I can play because now I'm building a stack, right? But if you have like two or three and other people have half a big blind, they're more likely to go broke before you. Min caching is from an, is, makes more sense. It makes more sense to play even tighter and wait for the other player to go broke because you're so far behind anyway. But again, if you got 15 bigs and you pick up ace-jack suited or whatever against the, the guy jamming light, there's jacks. We'll jam this one. Don't care what y'all do. I'm not folding. I don't give a fuck. Okay, we win. No jack, but that's fine. I'm playing a lot of pots on the bubble, ain't I? Feels like it, but I'm getting get some hands. Four big blinds now for the shorty. What's he saying? Oh, the guy's taking it seriously. He's so, he said, so tough. You were saying, who are you trying to push around? And on Lex Friedman, you talked about if your mom would be proud of you. It's just a joke, bro. To say. Oh, let's see. I'm going to say sorry to him. Got 
guy can't take a joke, bro? Bro, plain old Jashol. I gave you props, okay? Because I said, you know, you are not afraid to go for it. I give props to that. That's good for you. Well, this guy's on one now. All right, well, <laughs> okay. <laughs> you have no idea what it's like to be grinding. Do you have any idea where the fuck I came from, son? Now you're starting to be disrespectful. Because, bro, I fucking grinded when I was a teenager to my early 20s. Blood, sweat, and tears in Las Vegas playing one fucking table. I didn't have 20 tables to play in micro steak. I had one fucking table, right? You know? Just every pot, every, every, every turn, every session I'm in, I'm basically like, uh, all in for my turn for, for my for, for my bankroll, you know. I grinded my ass off. I just happened to become successful. So don't hate, don't hate the game, don't hate the player, hate the game, or whatever you want to call it. Okay. Okay. Oh, everybody's telling in the chat. Hey, you're watching my stream. I'm giving you free fucking looks at my whole cards. And you talking shit? Come on, bro. Fuck that guy. At first, I thought he was joking. This guy's on one, huh? Plain O Jashol. I don't even know who you are. Who are you? What's your name? What? Is your name plain plain o jash o? Okay, let's just hope he goes broke now because he's being a jerk. You're not being nice. Have fun. Poker's fun for everyone. Maybe not you after jamming with ace eight when you should have just fucking open raised and folded if you were smart but you, you're not because you fucking jammed that's not my fault that you fucking punted don't blame me for your punt bro <laughs> sinister cartel <laughs> he's the head of a cartel don't blame me for your own punts Don't blame me for your own punts. <laughs> now we're talking shit to the guy. <laughs> In the chat. Chatting with plain old Jashol. Okay. All right, let's see. Okay, we got a min race here from Rampage. We're calling. Are we in the money? Yeah, we are in the money. Oh, we're already in the money. Okay, not that it matters too much, but it matters a little bit. But a small bit. Okay, check call. Maybe pay attention to the hander in, Daniel. Just gonna check. Not gonna look for value here. What did he have? Let's see what the hand was. Ace Queen suited, okay. Glad we didn't turn that jack. He says, I don't know the poker grind. How stupid. What a stupid thing to say. 
that I don't know the poker grind. It's not a great flop. A lot of hands he defends big blind with, hit this queen jack board. He's trying to tilt me now. <laughs> who is this guy? I want to know who it is. No. Thank you, GCCCC. We are in the money. I didn't even realize it, but we're in the money. Time to go for it. We have an average. We have above average stack. Hmm. He says, poker grind you don't know. Could you imagine how disrespectful that is? It's like telling people like myself and Doyle who came before you that you don't know the poker grind as if you know fuck all about me when I was 17 to 25. Well, 17 to 30. Grinding a small bankroll up and down all over the time, going broke 20, 30 times before internet poker where you could sit in your own fucking living room in your underwears and play high stakes poker and just be like, oh, whatever. I had to go to the casino, rent the hotel, all that kind of stuff. You don't know the poker grind. How about that? You don't know what it was like back then. So you can't talk. I do because I've been in both environments. You know, I grew up in a time when it was rough and gruff. You couldn't like, well, leave it there. Yeah, <laughs> We didn't have people fucking giving us fucking solvers to teach us how to make every fucking play. We didn't have computers and, and outputs and stuff like that. We had to figure it out on our own back in the day. It's a different kind of fucking intelligence that most of y'all wouldn't have fucking succeeded at. You included. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Okay, this will be a... We're gonna raise call... Oh, okay, we're just gonna... No, we're just gonna jam it in. Jam it in there, Ace Queen. We're already in the money, which means the Poonster range is gonna be much wider. Right? He's not going to have aces and kings and ace-king all the time. So you got ace-ten. Okay. Now we just need to hold. There's a queen. So we need no jack. Fuck. Still alive. That's all right. Win some, you lose some. Damn. All right. Would have been nice. We'd have 41 bigs, but we're still there. See, that's you got to just hold those hands sometimes, too. What is this one? Throw some water on him. <laughs> Good hand. Nothing you could do there. Win some, you lose some. Poker tough. Ooh, I see a diamond. 8-4 diamonds. Nice hand. Plain old Jashol. Showed him what's up with the flush draw. What happened to my chat? Hmm. Something's up with the chat. Oh, here it is. It's back again. A whole bunch I missed. <laughs> yeah, y'all don't know, man. I'm not a grinder now, but I was. Whatever, dude. You just don't have no clue.
What? Excessive use. Hello to Norwegian fans. What's up, Moby Dickhead? Oh, ass got... You know, you can say ass. Yeah, he's... You have no clue. Crum Yug, I do see you. But you don't under. Uh, why am I? Why am I engaging with this fucking jack off? Shut up. Just leave him alone. Whatever. Let's <laughs> move on. Let's defend our big blind. Play poker. Not the worst candidate in the world to check raise flop with, but I'm probably just gonna check fold because of the heated back and forth with this player right now. <laughs> Just fold. Go ahead. Oh, we would have gotten in trouble. Dun, 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 dun. Alrighty. Folds to us. We jam the King-10 against the six big blind from Bossers. Folding to that jam with the king 10 off. Seems bitter. Yeah, you know, some people are just jealous because they didn't succeed. Like he's still grinding, he says almost the same amount of time as me. Right? But he still sucks. It's not my fault. You know, he's, it's not my fault you didn't make it, bro. What can I tell you? I don't know. You you know not everybody's as talented as me. You know? Ace three suited, we're go against Oh we we have two overcards, that's good. If I told you you had a pair, I wouldn't have loved it. Ace or a three, one time. A jack or a four. Jack four, ace three, ace four, jack three, ace four, jack three, ace four, jack three, ace four, jack. Come on, big boo. Fuck. Damn, we gotta win these fucking all ins, man. Lost the flip, lost the fucking two to one favorite. Come on. Hmm. Not fun. I would have had fucking 22 bigs. Ah. Would have been average again. Unfortunate. Damn, ace three suit. I would have a fucking lot of outs, right? Uh. How's the last longer going? I'm still in that. Three left. I'm the shorty. Sven Ard Anderson, Madonna in there. I was doing fine. Just got to win that next all in, right? Just got to win the one when we're all in. That's what matters most, and we will. We will. We will run it back up, people. Average is only 27 and a half. We're not, you know, it's we're at we're getting to that crap shooty stage. We just gotta run hot. So let's just, but, but in all seriousness, thank you, Jeff, Tui Tiger Thomas. But okay, in, in all common reality, the truth is I started in the late 90s, okay, with no bankroll. I didn't start with a bankroll. I grinded a bankroll playing 510 and 1020 limit hold them in Toronto. Built up a bankroll, go to Vegas, lose it, back and forth. 
back then, you didn't have any sort of bonus programs, deposit bonuses. You had to play one table. You had to wait to get a seat. You had to go to the casino, first of all. You had to wait to get a seat. You get seated. Hopefully, you're at a good table. If not, that it is what it is. You can't table hop. You're in a table you're in, right? You sit your leather ass, play 25, 30 hands an hour, right? Work your butt off on a short bankroll. Try to move up in stakes. Going broke and back and forth all the time. Having to pay for food. Having to pay for rent. Having to, like, you know, survive while also just doing the grind, right? <laughs> you want to compare that, right? Compare that to, listen, having a nice monitor set up, okay? So let me see. Having a monitor at home where you have 20, 30 screens on, where for a big period of the time in the early 2000s, people were just being paid to fucking fold, okay? If you just played 20 tables and played a lot and had like, you know, VIP status, you would just get a lot of money back, right? But like in your underwear from the comfort of your own home. And most importantly, you could play micro stakes and play multiple, so variance was less of an issue. All right, we'll see. I'm gonna go with these tens. Like you could, so you could circumvent variance to a certain degree, right? Where you play one table, like, you don't hit the long run there, so luck plays a big role, too. All right, two tens. We are all in. Two in. Just one time, this guy says. Oh, he's calling, too? Wow. What's he got? Seven high? And the kick is good. I <laughs> get it. And the kick is good. <laughs> the kick is good. <laughs> you get it? And the kick is good. And the kick is good. <laughs> Punt. <laughs> say sorry but I don't mean it <laughs> got the ace eight on the button I'll call Bacchus but I won't call Rodrigo if he decides to raise fuck we just fold called okay gonna take a free one against small we will call Against check, we will check once again. Okay, that's an interesting card. Supposedly, better card... F well, I don't know. Does he check back some king highs here? Yeah. King nine. Okay, he's betting full pot. Break time. Who is this fucking guy? I would destroy, I would take all your money, son. Everything. I would take every penny you have. That's mean, isn't it? You want to be broke? I don't know if you're in Mexico from whatever, but you know, I could take every penny you have. And donate it. Take care of, ah, whatever. Let's just leave it alone. Okay. He won't tell me who he is. What do you want me? What do you want from my life?
right. Let's get back to work. 29 is the average. We're still sitting here with 18, doing okay. What's the chip leader got? Chip leader has 112. Wow. I guess after the bubble bust, you know, people started to gamble. Stacks go up. 54 remain. We're sitting 36, sitting pretty. Hmm. What's the average, as I said? 29 bigs. We have 18. Plenty. How do I put a fish tag on a player? Put a fish. I'm gonna put a fish on there. Let's put, oh, I'm gonna put big mouth fish. Holding, shorties, shorty jam stacks. There's two of them. Although bases is playing pretty tight. 15% of hands over 80. We have a fish in the big blind, so fold to the fish. Put big. How do I? I'll write a note. Okay, I'm gonna write big mouthed fish. <laughs> now I wanna go like this as a show. Big mouthed fish. There it is. That's my note. Keeping really good notes now. Big mouth fish. AT Queen 10. I'm going to fold this one too. There you go. You can look at it yourself. <laughs> Leave that up on screen. <laughs> Bases after 80 hands. Well, the bubble two will affect, you know, the V pip. You see, it's only at 14. A lot of that could be just bubble. A lot of that could just be just how the person plays. So you have to sort of take that with a grain of salt. A little drama is good for the stream. I figured that West Coast. I don't know who it is, but whatever. Well, we fold to either jam, which is the what rampage isn't gonna. They're, they're, either plays are gonna be jamming. If Poonster limps, I'll just check and take a flop. Ah, uh, you're gonna have to fold. Six max goes quick. We are playing 30 levels today. We will get down to a, close to a final final table or ish.
FT will be tomorrow. We play through 30 levels. Whoever's remaining, finish tomorrow. Like the shirts from Contenders. Thank you. Appreciate it. I like them too. I think they're cool. A lot of those fun pseudo connectors early in the day when we have two, three hundred big blinds to start. We look, we look forward to those. Now we're looking more for made hands. Big pairs, ace queen, ace king, ace jack, stuff like that. Big, big, big cards. We want big cards. Ace jack ahead of 910. 910 has 910 diamond now. There's a diamond. There it is. Whoop! There it is! Boom, 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 boom. Of the 18 runners in the last longer, three remain. All of us in the money, as I said. Sven Anderson, Madonna, and Daniel Magrano. Oh, you hear the boat? Boat's leaving, bro. Boat is leaving. Okay, we got King-9 against Ace-3. We got another easy decision. I like easy decisions, right? Easy decisions. So what? If we got a bad hand, that's all right. We move on to the next. Patience is a virtue, after all. 31 big blind average. I won? That is huge. That's huge. I mean, it really doesn't sound like much, but being able to get a walk in a spot where you were folding is really nice. This is a limp in the small. It folded to me. Although with boss bases, I could probably raise it. If this 16 number means anything, you know, but it doesn't, as I said, because you have to factor in the bubble time. But against, like, a overly tight players, then you can raise a little bit if they're going to fold hands, like, 8, 9 off and stuff. Not saying he would, but... Is there a money jump? I'm wondering if that's the issue. I think he's tanking for the money jump. There's like a $1,600 money jump from 
48 to 47. And there's 50 left, so I get it. Yeah, that's what the tanking's about, guys. The money jump, you see? $1,600. The new house is in Lake Las Vegas. It's not in... This is gonna be a rip if it's folded to us. If somebody else goes in, we're not. But we will rip the button with the pair. Anybody else comes in before us, we fold. If we're first in, we stick it in and pray. We jam and pray. These guys are really grinding that pay jump. We're not. We're going to go all in right here. What's up, babe? I'm all in. Well, we don't know. We didn't get called yet. Hopefully they fold. I'm all in on the button. Hmm. They folded. Sweet. Okay, babe. I'll be here. Are you going somewhere or are you staying there? Okay. All right, ace-jack suited. This will be a call off against everybody. Wow, look at the average. The stacks are so short right now. Might just be a jam, actually. These stacks. I think it's just a jam for 15. That's what we're going to do. Grip it and rip it. No cheap flops. Those guys are grinding that money bubble. He's going to grind the money bubble too. This is a fake tank. It's not the bubble, but there's a bu money. No, it's not a money ball, but it's a jump. All right, look at that. We flopped aces and jacks. That would have been okay. Okay, we're up to 17 bigs. You pick up a couple pots, you know, 2.3, 2.3. Poof, big percentage of your chips. Average is only 26 bigs now, guys. Only 26 bigs. Wow. That's a short situation. We got ace five against nine three. There's a three. There's a five. Okay, fish cake's gone. We lost the big fish. Plano Jashol. The fish is gone. Adios. Adios, amigo. Okay, new table now. 49 left. We got Limitless, Victor Malinowski. Oh, and then we got Sven Anderson, who is the player that is in the last longer with us. Oh, and Victor, too. Oh, no, he's out. He's on a rebuy. And Madonna's the third one. So let's take a look around the table. We got Sven Anderson, has 2.5 million in earnings. We got Victor Malinowski has 12.8 million. Wow. All Smiles has 839. Philip Ketzer, 3 million. Zivakov, second in chips, has 149K. All right. So, here we are. 48 remain. There's an ace and a king. This one's going to be a min race. Or jam over anybody. We're literally on, a, on another $1,600 money bubble. <laughs> P opens, we jam. Otherwise, we're going to min raise. Min raise, get it in. Min raise. If you sleep at me, it will be all. All you can eat. Folded. Now I wish I made a 2.2. Charge the big blind a little more. See that flop. All smiles. Are you all smiles? Right now? Or are you frowning?
Good situation. Trolls, calls, we jams, whatever. Do whatever you think is best, all smiles. I'll be all smiles, no matter what. He folded. Okay, what was the flop? Ooh, we would have went with that one. Three diamonds, we had the king of diamonds. Up to 19 now. All right. Slowly but surely, climbing our way back into this the guy. Average is 27. And we are, we have passed that other money bubble now, so I expect play to speed up a little bit. The next money jump is not for another, till 35th, and that's another 2K. And again, this doesn't matter for me, like I don't care, but it's worthwhile to know and understand for other people how it affects what they might be doing, right? I think so, Clint Vincent. You might be right on your on your thesis. Forty six left. We started with four hundred and eighty seven. I think we played quite well today. No big misses, I don't think, that I want to take back. We'll take a look at the session after. Make sure, you know. There's a couple spots I wrote down, some tough spots against Joao. Is Joao still in? He's got to be still in. He had a big stack. Yeah, he is. He's got 40 bigs. It's a very winnable tournament, guys. Philip Kett said, what's he won? World Festivals. I didn't... Magic Pig Detective says... I could make money on Twitch. But the truth is, I'm only streaming for a couple weeks here. It's not something I do to make a living. Thank you, though. I, I'm not a partner also because I, I stream on all the sites. I don't want, I mean, on all the platforms. I don't want to be, you know, when you do Twitch partner, you can only stream on Twitch. This would be an annoying one against the jam. We'd have to fold, but not be happy about it. You know? It's good. All right. This is a good flop for us, kind of. We do have range advantage because we are the Razor. So an ace high board is, you know, we have an ace, a lot of ace in our range. He's going to have less. There's a jack. Do I check this back? Or do I charge a seven, a five, or a draw? I'm going to check and call a small bet. Just take the money, please. Okay. Could have charged the five. I elected to go with the more low variance route. Up to 21. I'll take it. What do we have now? AC Ducey. Average is 29. Thank you, J Jules. Says he loves the stream. They're chill as fuck. Hmm. Got a new bottle type for you. Little glass bottle, Evian, which is naive spelled backwards. Get it? Oh, <laughs> you're naive. It's just tap water. No. Bum, 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 bum. Well, definitely folding to that. A rip, an open rip, huh? So, what did I say the next pay jump is? At 35th. And there is 44 now. Okay. 
Okay, Sir just won 1 million in an online tournament. Good for him. Bravo. Must be some good poker players here left in this tournament. We're going for it all the way to the end. To the end. Chris Brewer in the house. Still grinding. How's that last longer money looking? We're in it. Three players get paid. We're in the top three. 18 left. I'm going to do last longers for all the tournaments, guys. So when you play, and you're going to play one of these on time, make sure you check in the lobby. Look for Prop Bet. Click on that, and you'll see my Prop Bet that's open to everybody. DS Scott, why min-raise ace-king in that spot? Why let the big blind outflop you? Because here's the thing. There's a lot of hands I'm going to min-raise with, right? Some of those I'm going to fold, right? So I'm raising with like queen jack, min-raising so that someone jams, I fold, right? Well, you can't min-raise with queen jack, right? Because you're going to fold. And then when you actually have it, make it two and a half X or three X because you have ace-king. Like, otherwise you're giving away, you know, the, the your hand strength, right? So you have to keep... Your race size is uniform for the most part. And in this situation, when you're only on 16 bigs, the min raise is pretty much what you're gonna see. You know? It's just it's just it's just the way of the world. It's just the way that it is. I'm talking. Double right now would be fun. We have Min Biet, we have Little Rays, we have Jack75, Philippe Ketzer. Take it down. We've got the 9 and the 8. This will be a defend against the Min Rays. See the flop. Visit 9. And proceed from there. Unless Philippe does something. Here we call. Boom. Straight. Oh, there's an open and a straight draw. Double gutter. Double gutter, straight draw. And maybe an eight or a nine might win too. Small bit. Cool. That's a bad card. Now we're check folding to size. Could have check raise flop and went with it. All right? Six, ten. Now it's not even pure. What do we have? A straight? Go for two thirds pot. Two thirds pot with the straight. What are we hoping to get called here by? Not much. I mean, if he checks back turn, look, we're lucky there because if Victor would have bet turn, we're out, right? We're not gonna, we wouldn't have played because we have nine high. Okay, so 23 bigs. What happened here? Average is 30. Pretty good spot. Grinding, grinding, grinding. Every chip counts. Here's an ace queen suited. This is a, this is one that's good enough to go with against anybody. Absolutely. This is a yeah. We're jamming. If I'm gonna min raise, and then we're calling off against anybody. Definitely calling off with ace queen suited. Will he or will he not? Okay. Ace four, ace queen. Hold, baby. Doo -doo -doo -doo. <sighs> baby doll, that's a big one. Woo! We busted Victor. All right, thank you, Victor. Whoa! <laughs> Hello, we got thirty-eight bigs now. Somebody's big pimping. We're in new territory now. We're in we're in a spot we can oh never mind. I was gonna open, but 38 bigs. We are eleven out of forty. Hello. 
Hello, Moto. Average is 31.9. We got 38.1. Let's go. 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 Oh, yeah. We doing good. Oh, yeah. Chip leader of the the fun little last longer now. Thank you, Parky T. You've been watching me play for eight years. I've been playing longer than eight, if you can believe it. Okay. Oh, now we have 30 bigs? How'd that happen? Lines went up. So average is only 25, 26 bigs. Lines will go up. Six max. It happens fast, y'all. Luke van der Beek has 2.8 million in earnings. Congrats, Luke van der Beek. Thank you, Todd Levine from Salt Lake First Nation. Balatiu, do you know Romanian languages? Pui sigur că vorbești românește. Ce? Ce crezi? Că sunt român și nu vorbesc niciun pic? Ah, casi. Cum se poate? That was Romanian. Ace eight. Okay, what's what's the sitch? What's the sitch? A lot of different options here. I'm going to take the low variance approach and take a flop. Low variance approach. Unless it's three bet by Luke, then we will fold. All right, we're going to call here. We're under repping our hand to a little slight degree. So on ace high boards, we can do some stuff. All right, I'm going to check and probably peel with ace eight, depending on size. If he goes big, we fold. Again, small, we call. Would it be nice to have a diamond in our hand? Okay, so that's pretty small. We have to call once. There's a queen. That's a good card for him. That's a good card for him because there's not as many hands with a queen in it that I peel the flop with other than like queen jack, queen five, queen four. Those are all possible, but he can have queen nine, for example, which I don't. He can have king queen. He can have ace queen. He's probably just going to bet here and take it. Yeah, that's fine. Take your money. You earned it. Sometimes out of position, you just have to respect the range advantage. You know, he has a better range there. It is what it is. We can't just, like, fight for every single pot. Sometimes you have to lay down. This isn't one of those times. Wait a minute. So let's go 6.6. We're going to leave 20 big blinds back, and we will call it off with ace-jack. Don't love it if he jams, but certainly not going to fold. Or maybe we will, actually. Yeah, actually, we will. Maybe. Hold on. Let me think. Mm -hmm. Fuck. It's one of the worst hands I'm three-betting here. fold. What was the flop? Oh, ace-6-6. Six, six. Every time I have ace-check, they have aces, right? <laughs> what if he had them there? I don't know. I don't know about that one. It was close. So you have to ask yourself if he's not bluffing, right? Okay, let's say, what is his value? Has us crushed, right? What are his bluffs? His bluffs are generally going to be ace-wheel suited cards, right? There was an ace on the board. We had an ace in our hand. Makes both of those things less likely. We're going to go to... This is a thing, by the way. If somebody behind jams, we fold. Could actually fold if he jams, too. Maybe. All right, we picked it up. 4.9. See, the raise sizes and everything become smaller as the stack gets get, get, get shorter. Earlier on, you see the raise, like if somebody makes it 2, you're making it 10, you're making 11. Now, on these little itty-bitty stacks, you got to come in with much smaller, you come in much smaller 3-bets to give yourself some room. Folded the ace-jack there, because 4-bet there is pretty strong. 4-bet is like a jam. I mean, it's the same thing with my stack size. The question is, when we balance the bluffs, all the bluffs, 
that he has are all ace suited wheels. That's that's the bluffs. So we have an ace. An ace came on the board. Doesn't leave a whole bunch of combos of those. So what else does it leave? Ace, king, ace, queen. Aces, kings, queens, jacks. Maybe tens? Maybe tens or nines? I don't know. Close-ish? But all things being equal. I think the range is, again, a four-bet range in that spot. Even though it's five-handed, it's going to be a good hand. You know? We're not ahead, I don't think. Unless, again, he has the ace suited bluffs. We have an ace, an ace came. Count all the combos. There's more that have us crushed. Hmm. That wasn't me being wimpy or ICM fold. That was me saying, okay, I think I'm dead. So we'll fold. We got about an average stack, which is pretty good. 26 bigs is the average. We got 24. I know, doesn't sound like a lot, but that's where we're at. Level 24, still kicking. The last longer is a side bet that I open up in the client. Anybody can join it, and it's 500 bucks on the side. And uh, it's just the, the, amongst the people who play, there's no rake, and the, the money goes to your account as soon as, the, as soon as the tournament's over. Patrick Leonard in the house, sitting on 22. Mm -hmm. What's Patrick got on here? He's got 3.6 million in, in winnings. Four aces? That's good. Hello, Patrick. King, queen. Okay. We could do some things here. Oh, we win. That's fine. That's fine, too. You missed the limping piss pimping segment. Yeah. Who is captain? I guess so, yeah. Felipe Ketzer is the captain. All right, guys. We have a shot. We are right in the middle of the pack. 36 remain of 487 who started. Oh, we're on the bubble, actually, of another pay jump. 1,600 bucks or whatever it is. Or 1,900, 18-something. That hand with ace-jack off. If I had ace-queen off, I don't think I'd fold. I think that's like right on the borderline. Ace-queen... Ace-king, the pairs that I have. That's enough. Everyone's yelling, fold, fold, fold. Fold, everyone's saying, fold, fold the ace-jack. Good fold I get from some people. Some people saying good fold. I have to ask the check because, you know, they, they know better, right? What was this board? Queen seven. Six, queen seven. All right. So we're six-handed table now. Six tables of six. Dead smack in the middle. Not ten bigs, Uni. I had 20 bigs left when I folded the ace-jack. Beer Blaster. You're not really getting 5 to 1, though, because you're basically... It's basically like an all-in. You're not just like, hope, take a flop, see what happens kind of thing.
Gotta get lucky to win these now. Chip leader's got 91 bigs. Second is Philippe Ketzer. What does this guy look like again? Can't see his face. His cards are covering him. See if I've played with him before. Hey, we made the pay jump. 30, top 35. We're guaranteed $11,306. That means those of you that had a piece, you're going to more than double up your money. 7655. Okay, 76 is a winner. Ba ba ba. Look at his face. You can tell a lot about a player based on the face. I think I'm crazy, probably, but I'm not. <laughs> I can't explain it to you, but like, it matters. Too deep. Too deep to go into that mystic, down that mystic path. You love and you fo, 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 fo. Lewis 98 um, at that stage when I make it 4.9 with the ace 10 I'm, that's my that's gonna be like my standard three bet size bum 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 yeah you don't have to raise as much to force people to make the tough decisions when you when you have 24 bigs and you make it 5x they're like five big blinds it's like fuck you know, they're in the jam or whatever. James Davis, could he have had King Queen when I folded the Ace Jack? Sure, I guess that's that's one of the bluffs too. You're right. King Queen is one of the bluffs. But even against King Queen, right? Like that's what we're hoping for. What do we we win? We just win with Ace Jack. I mean, pretty close. Two eights. All right. Two eights might be an all-in scenario. Okay. It's actually we're just gonna. I think we're just gonna call. Let me see. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting one. Do we stick it in with the eights? He did raise under the gun six-handed. A lot of big blinds. I'm just going to call. That's a good fucking flop. Have ace-king, bro. Just have ace-king. Betting 1.1. That's an ace. That's got to be. That's got to be him. I think. He's got to bet this card. Unless he has a king. If he actually has a king, queen, king, jack, he might not bet the card. Bet 2.5. I think it's just a call. Got to get that 7.5 now. Come on, put it in, Sven. He's in the last longer, too. To move up a spot in the last longer. Come on, Sven, do it. Have an ace and just fucking try to get value. Hmm. Raising him. 0 0.1 bigs. Ha ha, he's like, he might fold. Watch. He called. Ace 10. No good. Ship it to Sherbert. Woo! Big pot, baby. Woo, running hot. Running hot. All right. Hello, we're 10 out of 32 now. So does that hand make sense to you? What do you have, ace-10 off? I guess I should have jammed pre, but... I mean, not that I should, but... I would have won pre. He wouldn't have called, actually. Never mind. We did best this way. Ten of thirty-one. Another two K pay jump in two more spots. 
Very happy. Oh, so we're down to two people now in the last longer. Myself against Madonna in the last longer for an extra extra few bucks. How many bucks? 4,500 for first, 2,700 for second. Extra money in the last longer. Dean Egg's on his way. Setting up last longers, winning last longers. Let's go. Chair is comfortable, by the way. I'm going to min raise this one. Certainly worthwhile. Question is do we call off against, not against Patrick, we'll fold against all smiles at 11 bigs? I think I might still fold against both. Yeah, I think it's a fold against both. Felipe, I expect to defend a fair, fair bit here. 3-bet not as much, unless he's just, like, going for it today. But no, he calls. Okay, not a great flop for us. Because that connects to a lot of big blind calling hands. So I'm actually going to check back this flop. And we'll be folding this turn if he bets. There's just a lot of hands that, like... We don't beat a lot of hands, even if he just has two random cards, right? Any ace is ahead of us. Any 5, 7, 8, 10. We beat queen jack, which we have a queen. We beat jack 9. We beat some goofy king highs. He's overbetting turn. Easy fold. Okay. That's a good play from him. When you check back flop, he's going to overbet because he has massive range advantage now, um, which makes sense. The hand just makes sense. Guys, sometimes you just have to say, a hand is good. You win. Nines against threes. The nines hold. We have lost another player. I think we have another money jump up to 15K. So those of you that bought a piece staking in the software, I sold 25% to you guys. You have now three extra money. So you have tripled up. You're welcome. I'm going to fold this one. I'm not a big fan of a 10-6 off. Some may argue that it's still a defend, and I, they're probably not wrong or whatever, but it's in my folding range. It is what it is. It is what it is. This will be a limp and fold to a raise. We'll limp the small, fold if Patrick jams. Limp. Patrick jams. We have a fold. Ba -dum, ba -ba -ba -ba. Mm -hmm. Go for it. I don't mind. Take it, Patrick. It's yours. Come on, Pads. Go for it. Don't be scared. I never have anything. Yeah, you win. Good hand. Good hand. Hey, listen, it costs us half a big blind. We're going to do that with very good hands, too. So you can try to get away with seeing a flop there with mediocre suited double gap or whatever you call them. 26 remain. We are 13. 26 remain, ladies and gents. We're doing it. Guys, we are doing it today. Big prize money up top, 426. We will go for that top prize and the bracelet. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm He trapped me. Well, what can you do? You got Ace-10 there on that board with that many big blinds that Sven had.
Yeah, master class in the A10. I check, 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 check. You trip me. Now, pads is gonna need a nine. Nine ball corner pocket. Slow squeezy deezy deezy deezy. Is it a nine? It's a ten. Oh, very close. So we lost pads. Players are dropping like flies, ladies and gentlemen. They are dropping like flies. I believe we're going to be down to four tables now. New table. Okay, we get to wait a hand. We've got Zivakov, who is the chip leader with 60 bigs. Doesn't sound like a lot, right? Pedro Gra Gargnani. I remember him. Good. Okay, so let's take a look. Zivakov has 149K on here. Okay. Pedro Gargnani, 8.3 million. E. E. Washu 99 has 317k. Gods of Mongols has 35k. Matthew Stumpf should have a decent 6.3 million. All right, let's go. Do I have an agent? I do. Brian at Ballsbog at Poker Royalty. Did I win the last longer yet? Come on, what's uh, Mar Maradona? Madonna is still there with 13 bigs. Still hanging around, hanging around. Kids got alligator blood. How am I 15th now? I guess people were busting. Average is 37 bigs. Okay. Bunch of people went broke really fast. Sorry, dudes, dudes. Dudes, dudes. He says, we ignoring super chats? Not cool, mate. I'm not ignoring them. They go through so quick. I, I didn't even see when was the last time you did one. I don't see it. Maybe it didn't go through. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I try to I try to engage when I can. <laughs> Twenty six bigs. Feel very comfortable, even though you says you see we're below the average. Fifteen out of twenty three. Next pay jump at 19. Oh, we hit another pay jump. Wow. So we did it. We went by fast. We're at 17.7 is what we've got. Next money jumps up to 20. That's for you guys at home who have a piece and are sweating your action. You bought a little piece of me in, in the lobby, in the chat, or in the, the client. And now you get to watch your money at work. Huh? How do you like? Do you, am I doing good for you? I think I'm doing good. I'm doing my best. I feel like I'm playing well with your money. No, I'm not disrespecting it. Folded the ace jack. I did take a food break, Sapphire. I had the chickpea place again. So what happens sometimes is when the you know, you get through a period where it's a little bit crapshooty, a bunch of people go broke, and then the average goes up. So now we're, remember we were down to like 25, 26, now it's 37, which is decent. Six max. Here we go. Pedro Garagnani has the big gold stack of chips. Breaking six minutes, nits, nits, six minutes. Okay, so six minute break, then we'll have Level 26, 27, 28, 29. So we're going to be done a little after 7, like 7.15, 7.30. So we've got another hour and a half, and then we're done for the night, and we come back tomorrow. Final table. Let's go. GG Poker. World Series bracelet on the line. We're in it to win it. Stack looks like 786,000. Didn't realize. Ooh, it sounds so fun. 786K. I don't even know what the blinds are. I don't know. You just, I just use big blinds and play the same game the whole way through. 1530, we go to 17535. Interesting level. Doesn't matter because we play in big blinds. Because that would be awkward, right? 35K big. Like, how much does the min raise? How much, you know, I don't know. What's the percentage here? They just play in big blinds. 
Like you can see the stack if you want, all the stacks and money, or you can see them in big blinds. A little easier in big blinds. <laughs> What's the story behind the beard? My wife likes it. The Big Fat Panda asks, do you get a real bracelet for these online events? Like they ship it to you? Or is it just an online badge? Nope. You get an actual World Series of Boca bracelet. They mail to you, to your house. Um, Terrence Chan won one. So he's going to have, they gas for his address and he sends them, they're going to send him the bracelet. Because he won the limit, hold them. Thank you, Jorge Sanchez. 23 players left. We're a goal all the way. Do da do da do da 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 Wow, I am, the sh well, pretty close to the short stack of the table. First prize is $426,000, I believe. I think that's what it said. Four twenty-six up top for the winner. <laughs> Can I ask why you folded Jack-10? Isn't that a good hand? Situationally, no. Not under the gun. Six-handed, six max, with some killers behind you. If I'm in the cutoff or the button, for sure. But under the gun, you gotta play a little more snug, just in general. There's just more hands likely to three-bet you behind, and you know, you don't have to play every pot. I'm actually the second tightest player at the table in this tournament. We got some guys playing lots of pots. 36, 37 V-pip. Yours truly at 29. What is your agent for? My agent is for any sort of sponsorship deals or agreements I make with different businesses or appearances and all that kind of stuff. So he has a company called Poker Royalty that does all that. Meanwhile, we're going to defend this. Unless it's three bet by somebody else, we're going to see a flop. And then we're going to look to attack some low boards, potentially. Well, that's not a low board. This is a check fold, unfortunately. We don't have a club. The gut shot isn't like hidden. I mean, a queen comes. It's not like a... There's nothing special about that. Uh, he did raise under the gun. He's playing a lot of pots, but again, against big, even against small, I think I'd probably just fold there. Ace-8 suited. Ace-8 of same suit. Jack-7 suit. This will be a limp in the small, potentially a limp call, depending on size. Okay? Anybody raises, we fold. Any of these two guys come in with a raise... We fold, otherwise it's going to be a... Okay, good. All right, I didn't really want to limp. I didn't feel like it. I want to have the nuts when we play. Stone cold nuts. Yeah, we're not limping at these stack, size, stack sizes, Tommy Yangblong. Limping is pimping is for the early or deeper stages. We got ideas early. Thank you, Through the Looking Glass. Appreciate the super chat, whatever that means. Mm, 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 uh. 21 players left. There's another page. I'm coming soon, 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 soon. It's coming soon, 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 soon. A page up's coming and so is the break. I believe it's a break. I can go make pee pee. Pee pee. Mm -hmm. Just to make sure. I don't want to like go and there's one more hand. There isn't, but I don't know. I'll watch. See what's happening between Stumpf and Gods of Mongol, who has an ace against the King 10. Acey Deucey raised, King 10 flatted. Okay, break time. Mm -hmm.
There you see the leaders. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Sent out a tweet, let the people know. We still going. To the end. Maybe it's like, four. do we play, it says break at level 30? Does that mean when level 30 finishes? Okay, so we play through level 30 or seven players left. I think we'll probably get through level 30. I don't know. How many players do we have in this thing? Like I said, 487. And we are down to 20. we go i think we've got about another hour in us do we we get another hour of great poker i think i'm playing i'm very happy with the decisions i made i mean i didn't fold the five jack because it's theoretically good but like i'm just saying i'm really in tune my instincts are really vibing like a feel for where i'm at bluffs got through except for one where i think i ran into the nuts against joao Vieira. four tables of five right now Oh, there's a pay jump. So. Pay jump of... What is that? About close to $3,000 pay jump for the next player eliminated. Gonna have to look at the chat a little less, guys, because I want to pay attention. So let's finish strong this last hour. Get a sense for what's going on here with these animals. Zivakov is from Croatia. Yes. Pedro Garagnani. 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 I don't, know. don't know if it's Garagnani or Garagnani. One bullet. The, those of you that bought a piece are still alive. Rolling with Dean Eggs. Madonna is the short stack. He is the one we were heads up in the last longer for. It's another $4,500. I don't believe you guys have a piece of that, unfortunately. I think that's a side bet thing. Nine seven doesn't beat 10 seven. How much was the river bet? I have to look at that. Have to look. Okay, we're gonna min raise here. Min raise, fold to three bet. Okay, what was the bets here on this hand? Bet 30K call, bet 45, bet 75. All right, got it. Everybody just fold, I'll take it here. Golden Lot, I try to make the game look simple. It's a lot simpler than you need to make it. Right? Pretty simple. I'm telling you what I'm doing. Raising. Hope they all fold. If they three bet, I'm folding. King nine suited, five handed. This is going to be another raise. Back to back hands. 
Once again, this is a hand we're opening with a, in the sense of steal from under the gun. And if somebody three bets, we will fold. It's good enough to steal with, not good enough to defend at this stack depth against a three bet. So good situation so far. Everybody folded the big. We'll take it or leave it. I mean, I prefer fold, but if he calls, that's fine too. The only thing we don't want to see is him raise or jam. That would not be good. Okay. Well, there you go. That's uh, that's what we call a favorable flop. We're going to go small. Quarter pot. Oh, we don't care what he does here. I mean, actually, I want him to play because we have a monster. Pair of nines, over card, king eye flush draw. This is a big spot to double. If he check raises, I'm putting it in. He did. All right, we're putting it in. After a moment, we already know we're putting it in. All in. There's queen nine. All right, we need a king or a diamond or a jack. King, jack, or a diamond. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Be there for d -Nags. Be there for d -Nags. King, jack, or a diamond. That's not a fuck. What a fucking flop. Damn. Fucking huge pot, son of a gun. Fuck. You gotta win those fucking hands. Son of a bitch. Hmm. I'd be big pimping with 40. Oh, that's what a, such a great flop. And then he has queen nine. We don't, we need a king or a diamond. That's it. We didn't hit it. Definitely gonna be in this one. I don't know what to tell you guys, but I'm just going to call and leave point three of a blind. I'm going to check. What does he have? Eight, nine. Fuck. Come on. Come on. Now he's got a fucking diamond, too. We need a jack, king, or an eight. That's not... It could be an eight, but that's a diamond. We lose. Ah. <sighs> As soon as I tweeted it. <laughs> Superstitious now. Fuck. Wow. Well, that was a good opportunity, guys, to win a bracelet. And 426,000. Raise under the gun, king nine of diamonds, he calls, flop, check, raise, put it in. Hmm. Just thinking, you know, it's just a cooler. I mean, I just got a hit there. King or a diamond, it's a coin flip, basically. Nine, three kings, 12 outs, plus back doors. Oh, well, guys. So those of you that just turned in right now, it's your fault. <laughs> just kidding. All right. I don't know. Tomorrow might be an off day. Might play some Russian cash. I will play Russian cash. I'm not sure I'm going to stream it or not. That's going to be the end of another stream. Hmm.